Good morning, good morning, welcome to Sewing Street. Um, hope you're well this morning. We've got two guests today. My word, it's gonna be jam-packed. One of which, lovely Tracy, I've never actually even met before, and she's been on Hobby Maker all morning. So I still have a better, so I'm literally gonna be meeting her during the show at nine o'clock today. We've got lots to bring you, starting with, of course, our early bird special. Lovely Becky's back on cameras, by the way, everybody, with Mr. How long have you been off for now, Becky? Two weeks. It feels like longer. It feels like ages since we've seen Becky. So, um, yeah, we've got a lovely team in. We've had a bit too much fun this morning, haven't we, Ben? Um, Becky Swan's here. We've also got um, my crafter's companion, and we've got the um, Owl and the Sewing Cat. I love the name of her company. What a great name. So, £6.99 is your early bird special. Now, those of you that know 505 spray, this is from the same company. This is from Odif, um, and it's 404. So, this is still a repositional spray. This is still, you know, a temporary hold, but this is designed for paper. So, you can use this with drawing paper, you can use this with stencils, you can use it with templates, with tracing paper, with tissue paper. But what's quite creative about this? is that you can also use it with things like leaves. You can le use it with um, plastics and bottles and things like that. So it's, it's really quite creative. Stuart Hillard, I think, actually got this in for us. Um, every single time we put together different hours, Stuart always asks to put this in. Stuart always asks about 4 hour 4. Um, yeah, Ben's new and he's learning, so he always asks Stuart, what tools, what things would you like? And he really likes using the 404. So for stencils, for templates and papers, can be temporarily um, attached, holds item in place, ideal for pictures, for photos, for other uh, creations in place. So if you're a paper crafter as well, those of you that love um, Paper crafts are our sister channel hobby maker, crafters companion. Definitely get yourself your 404 spray whilst it's on early bird special. Remember, this is only whilst stocks last or for today. So today and today only, we are going to be putting the price back up to where were we? 9.99. That's a good saving, isn't it? So it's been reduced down to 7.99, and Ben has decided. Obviously, he is the uh, the deal fairy, isn't he? So he's taken it down to six pounds 99 today there is a lot going on so if you have opened your order nice and early this morning on pre-order on the website um yeah we've got a very very busy show it's only me on my own this first hour oh and my last hour as well we've got three hours of guest back-to-back -back demonstrations for you today just six pounds 99 your repositional adhesive so i suppose this is going to be great if you're doing dressmaking we've got a dressmaking show with tracy at 11 o'clock today um, and you've got paper patterns you know like thinner paper patterns you can stick it down cut it out reposition your patterns when you're cutting out your fabrics if you're using it just to hold templates in place maybe i wonder if anybody's ever used this for rulers that don't have the sticky grips you know like the um, creative grids i wonder whether you could use this as like a ruler temporary hold because it's not going to leave any residue on your fabrics it's not going to damage any of your tools either but if you wanted just to hold something in place maybe um templates while you're cutting around them especially some of the ones that we had yesterday uh with amazing janet claire that would be amazing are you on facebook ben um is it working for you hun Let's have a look and see if we're on Facebook Live this morning. There you go. Good morning, everybody. You're watching us. Here we go. I found you. Good morning. Oh, Kerry's watching. Kerry, how are you, lovely? Kerry's watching. We've got Claire watching this morning. Christine. Just £6.99. Hello. Your adhesive spray for just six pounds ninety-nine. Okay, should we have a look at today's menu? That is, um, that is your early bird special. We have got lots going on. We're going to do a little bit of Christmas. 
Um, we've also got a little bit of, of beautiful brand new launch dies from Crafters Companion at 10 o'clock. So nobody has ever seen, even seen them, even on Crafters TV. 10 o'clock is a world premiere launch, which is um, going to be brilliant with lovely Becky. Uh, the sack, the Christmas sack behind us is lovely. It's absolutely gorgeous with the reindeer. Um, have you seen it? Have you spotted him behind me? And I love the fabrics, the kits that she's put together. It's so beautiful. Isn't that lovely? And especially, you know, we're all in a bit of a, a strange time at the moment. So if you are just after, just getting yourself sorted, a few Christmas makes ready for, um, of course, we're, it is it is really sort of um, creeping upon us now, isn't it? Uh, and we've also got dressmaking patterns with Tracy Dennis as well at 11 o'clock. Uh, a lot of people who were asking about different brother machines, we've got the embroidery machine and the sewing machine in stock, which we'll be having a look through with some other goodies as well at 12 o'clock. If you do want to get in touch with us today, uh, of course we're live on Facebook, or of course you can send in any messages via our website um, or email as well. So this is the website. If you want to jump to sewingstreet.com, you can watch live, you can message the studio, ask any questions to the guests uh, on the web, or you can scroll down and you can find all of the fabulous fabrics that we're going to be bringing you. Um, ben, you've put together a brilliant show. I mean, this is lovely, isn't it? I love that Renaissance garden range. It's down to the last five of the mega bundles. We don't have many of those remaining. So if you do want the Renaissance bundle, um, shop ahead on pre-order. There's some lovely autumnal prints that we've got coming up. There's panels, complimentary bundles. And then, did you see our under £15 show last week? It was really, really busy. So because of that, um, Ben has actually gone one step further and he's done an under £10 pounds section for you which we'll probably do about half past the hour so stay tuned then we've also got all of our lovely christmas patterns there you go oh hang on we're gonna get more stock of the brother don't worry don't worry don't worry i think somebody um who's purchased this morning um has glitched the system on the uh, the brother sewing machine we will definitely be able to steal some hobby makers stock potentially so stay with us for the 12 o'clock show you've got the owl and the sewing cat dressmaking patterns there um and lots of lovely fabrics as well coming up how beautiful is this panel I i'm definitely feeling the weather has changed to autumnal. I've got my boots on now, I've got my boots. Right, so, can we start with the most beautiful Renaissance range? This is Henry Glass, and it's so pretty, isn't it? Thank you, Charlie. I've even put it on a, a mat so I can transport it around to the right position for you. I made myself a little wheel of, um, uh, of Henry Glass. It's stunning. Renaissance range, so you're getting lots of lovely paisley prints, beautiful florals, you're getting vine prints in there. Yesterday, if you watched the show with Janet Clare, it was really lovely to hear from you know a quilt designer. And I was asking her all the questions about what sort of, um, what sort of prints she puts together and why it's important to have different scales of prints in quilts and um, you know the quality of the quilting cotton etc and she was saying it's important to have the different scales of print so that your eye goes on a bit of a journey if you had all large scale prints then um, it would be too busy on the eye in a quilt so designers like Henry Glass like Janet Clare they think about that as they're designing a collection now don't get me wrong we have got these available by the half meter so if you want to use one of them for a beautiful blouse or a dress or a skirt or ho however you want to use it but if you are thinking about doing a whole quilt this is more than enough you've got seven and a half meters of fabric in this bundle for less than 100 and uh, well you've got 113 pounds on your screen 112 pound and 35 pence that's 56 pounds 17 pence on split pay you've got green creams ivories pinks polka dots it's absolutely beautiful 56 pounds and 17 pence for seven and a half meters of fabric. Isn't it gorgeous? Okay, do you know what? Um, we've just done the early bird. This is a little bit of a, a second early bird because we have got some smaller, but well, we've got one smaller bundle and we've got some of these fabrics by the half meter. I think this is gonna be the last chance to get the mega bundle because some of these have sold out by the half meter now. There's five left. 
Should we get all five at home? We have got, enough of you have got this in your basket to see the sell out, hence why Ben has done it. If you want it under 100, that means now you split pays under 50 pounds. No pressure, it's there if you want it, but what a deal. Remember, I'm gonna just open up one of these because it's quite deceiving when you see them all folded up like this, but actually you are getting half a meter half a metre of every single one of those fabrics. It's a lot, isn't it? It's a lot for your money. And that is such a pretty, I think this would be lovely for um, a bedroom. I'm thinking like uh, bolster cushions, even just adding detail to pillowcases, uh, white pillowcases that you already have, adding a little trim on the side, making a bed runner, can really, really change the, uh, the room completely. This is stunning, really stunning. Yeah. You've got the um, really beautiful small ditzy print as well. Don't need to worry about directional prints with these. What about for bags as well? Bag making, if you've got Stuart Hillard's bags for Lifebook, this would be a lovely one for, for um, some lovely tote bags, weekend bags, if you make to sell. They're really lovely fresh colours if you want to make um, toiletry bags, makeup bags, very pretty colour palette. And in fact, I actually found, those of you that do want to make a big quilt, bearing in mind how much you pay for a quilt kit with seven and a half metres of fabric, you could be looking over 150 pounds. Um, and you're thinking, oh, I need some inspiration for it to do. If you actually go to the Henry Glass website, there are free patterns which you can download, which are designed around the Renaissance range. So have a look, use the sources on the Henry Glass website there's some beautiful quilt ideas which would look amazing with um, this range it is lovely isn't it Charlie I mean even if you you're not using them all together you've got a selection of really pretty polka dots in there aren't they gorgeous seven and a half meters so that's um, 14 50, is that how many oh my gosh my maths 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. You're getting 16 fabrics for 99 pounds. I mean, that is brilliant. All of it is going to be sent to you under one postage and packaging cost. You've opened your order for the day. We've got lots of you have got it in your basket. We're now less than seven pounds, a half metre. Massive saving today. Did you just say six pounds and 18? Oh. Oh my gosh, that is brilliant. Six pound and 18 pence, a half metre. And it is, remember, quilting weight cotton, really beautiful quilting weight cotton. Now, they are available individually underneath us on the website. Some of them now are really, really limited, hence why I said I think this is gonna be the last time that you'll be able to get the mega bundle. I don't know whether we've dropped it under 100 before, so definitely make the most of it whilst you can. Um, we've got eight of you who've got it in your basket. There are three bundles left final chance in fact two left two left now have we done a project with this do you know i wonder whether this has even been made into a project it's the first time i've seen it and i know that ben was saying straight away oh my gosh there's only five of the mega bundles left i know how popular it has been but there's now only two so if you are umming and ahhing about it um definitely take the plunge make the most of it whilst it's here even if you're thinking about oh that one's lovely that one is really lovely. So if you jump to Henry Glass website, I think that one's my favorite. You could fussy cut this, couldn't you? One left, by the way. Here we go, so here's Henry Glass's website. Um, there are a couple of patterns that are available that you can download for free using this range. So if you want a bit of inspiration, uh, if you want you know, to see this quilt in action, and the great thing is, oh, it's gone. It has gone. Well done, everybody has got it. If you love these colours and you love these prints, we have got a mini bundle. So it's got three fabrics. If you want a bit of a snippet, if you love this and you missed out, to me, to you, to me, to you, we have three half metres. Now this one, your Renaissance garden in that lovely, pretty pink vine. My favourite one. And then you've also got the big paisley print as well. Look at that. 
I like the fact that you've got different shades in the background as well, that rose colour. Oh, that is really pretty. Yeah, I like this one. All three together. Oh gosh, Ben, what are you doing? Crash the price. Maybe a fold, one of um, Wendy Orlando's foldable tote bags. You only need half a metre of each, actually, so then you've got another half a metre to use with it for what you want. £19.99. Good morning. Hello, Donna. Happy birthday from John. John's saying that you're an amazing quilter. Please can you wish wife Donna a very happy birthday. Happy birthday. Ooh, that's strange. It was my friend Donna's birthday yesterday. Another Donna's birthday. Happy birthday, Donna. Um, we've got lots of treats for you today. I mean, that is a really big saving. Another fantastic prize. Thank you, Ben. Three half metre pre cuts. Already cut for you. When's your birthday, Becky? On Sunday, and you're going to be on holiday. Becky's off to Marbella tomorrow. Oh, I tell you what, this is the perfect time, isn't it, of year when it's just gone cold here, jet off to the sunshine. I keep thinking, John's got in lovely Catalonia. He's going to have a lovely tan, isn't he? Does he tan well, Charlie? Yeah, I think he does. Charlie's looking after the cats. They're both doing well. Luther's really taken a liking to uh, to the new residents of John Scott's property. Luther and Charlie are best friends. Um, oh, they sit and watch TV together. Ghost, he's out at the moment, so they take it in turns to go out and party. So Ghost is out patrolling the village at the moment. Are they huge? Do you know when I, I remember when I was um, I lived in a little rural village and there were always sightings of like. Black Panther cats. I bet it was John Scott's cats. I bet it was John Scott's cats. Um, all three, this is the final chance now to get this bundle, 19.99. Don't worry, Ben. They will. Um, don't panic, by the way. If on the website you've tuned in today to get your brother's sewing machine, don't panic. They will reallocate stock. Basically, it's been on this morning on Hobby Maker. Um, our stock that we'd allocated to our show this morning, just to see us tick over until 12 o'clock, have all sold out this morning. Um, I think a lot of people have been waiting for the machines to come in on the show and to have a show. So if you've bought them this morning, well done. If you've seen that they sold out, don't panic. We will make sure there's more allocated. Um, okay, so. That's your Henry glass. Shall we do a bit of autumnal fabric? I've got William Morris. I don't think it gets any more autumnal than a beautiful William Morris. Now, didn't Stuart Hillard put these together? I thought Stuart Hillard did this. Ben, you told me Stuart did this. <laughs> so Stuart physically put them together and Ben um, type down the codes these are lovely because this one right hang on this one isn't William Morris this is a uh, um, uh, canvas that's a cotton canvas it's not no it's not these are these three are this is a William Morris look best of Morris this is quilting weight Colton William Morris this one, absolutely beautiful. What range is this from? Is this from the Best of Morris as well? Oh, hang on, Ben. Is this, right, so this one is official mode of fabric. This one isn't mode of fabric, and look at how wide it is. But that is definitely a William Morris print. Um, that's extra wide. That is wide fabric. <laughs> Sorry, I should listen to you more, Ben, shouldn't I? I was right. You were wrong, but it's right. I see what you've done though. This is going to be really good. The price is less than 30 pounds, less than 30 pounds for all four William Morris. So that is a William Morris print. I'm with you on extra wide printed fabric. I say extra wide, not like the um, extra wide backing fabric, but it's wider than 112. Look, do you want me to measure it for you? Because that is a lot of fabric, isn't it? Oh, my word, there's three left. Oh, my word. This is going to sell out. If you want it, be quick. Um, Fifty-three inches wide, 
53, which is 135. 135 centimetres wide. Your regular sort of quilty weight cotton is 112. So yeah, you've got a lot, a lot for your money there. That is a lot of fabric. It, is it a quilting weight? It's, um, it feels like it's got coating on it. I don't think it's as heavy as a canvas, but it's definitely got some sort of coating on it that feels a bit more robust. It's going to be lovely for bag making, hence why Stuart Hillard probably picked it out. And then you've also got this one, which I think is called Honeysuckle. You're right, Charlie. This is from Moda. Two Moda fabrics. £29.96. There's only two of those. Oh my word, there's six of you have got it in your basket. Now, we have also got a complementary solids bundle, which is going to look great with your Li Riley Blake range and also with your um, William Morris. So we'll do that in a moment as well. £26.96 for two metres of fabric. So, oh, have you? We've got a bigger William Morris bundle as well. Tracy's here. I can't believe we're literally going to meet on the telly. How are, how are you? Good show this morning. She's been up really, really early as she went on air at 6am this morning. So um, she'll be joining us in about half an hour or so at nine o'clock. Very excited for the show. Um, right, so Ben, talk to me. We've got these two prints. They look very similar on the overhead. They are different. Subtly different. Can you see that this one's got a blue and this one's grey? So, hang on. I'm not questioning you. This is Morris & Co. It's called Hawkdale. It's the first time I've seen this scroll print. It's absolutely lovely, isn't it? Was this from the uh, latest range? Something that was recently launched? Oh, lovely. So you're getting... Go on. Right. If you were to purchase all of these individually, forty-five ninety-three. This is going to be a brilliant price. Thirty-nine ninety-nine. Thirty-nine ninety-nine. A half a meter, one meter, two meter three meter three and a half meters of fabric 39.99 let us know what you're going to be making with your william morris bundles this is a big william morris bundle all for less than 40 pounds and they really go very well together i like the um colors that you've put together and uh, ben is very proud of himself with this one. Let me show you how wide as well they are. You get a lot of fabric there, don't you? And it's strawberry thief, and it's strawberry thief. One of the most iconic William Morris prints, which makes it five pounds 71, a half meter. Bearing in mind, this is William Morris. That is actually crazy. And these fabrics, they're, they're wide. Uh, they're wider than your regular quilting weight fabric. $39.99. Did Stuart put this together with you then? No? Yes? He picked the colours, he picked the colours. He picked the colours live on air. And, and Ben said, and I, yep, just wrote them down for you. <laughs> I like that you've got your little computer set up at home where he does his scheduling, puts all the bundles together, looking at pictures of John. Um, right, so there are William Morris. Please, 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 can we have a look at this gorgeous complimenting bundle? Because we've had a lot of compliments on the beautiful panel that's behind me. This is a Riley Blake panel, um, and it is absolutely stunning. As we're thinking about, you know, heading into autumn, imagine having a lovely, well, this could go on a wall, this could go on a, a table, this could be draped over the back of a sofa. Um, and if you just want, to put some borders around it, some patchwork around it and make it larger. That could be the central block of a bigger quilt. Just keep putting borders around. Get yourself your complimenting one and then we'll do the panel after. So 
This bundle is the ultimate autumnal bundle. You've got in here your gold, you've got your brown, you've got your different three different shades of green, you've got your burgundy, and you've also got your orange. $25.99 is the price. Um, bearing in mind, all of these colours, I mean, they're going to look beautiful all together, aren't they? But individually for different projects. My friend, she's... Um, amazing at changing her themes of our house depending on the seasons and at the moment she's gotten really into decorating all her house ready for autumn uh, lots of pumpkins lots of leaves lots of garlands we've got some lovely um, ideas from crafters companion later on with becky as well at 10 o'clock uh, but if you want to get yourself your fabrics you could do butterflies couldn't you with the new butterfly dyes that we have we've got flowers and butterflies look imagine doing this in autumnal colors that would look so pretty. Just $25.99. And look, this is Riley Blake. We have these all individually. Have a look. Imagine if you've just got half a meter of this and you're complementing bundles for linings, for backs of cushions. Don't be dipping into your designer stash when you could be making it go a lot further just with your solids. That's what I say. This one's lovely as well. The same one with the lighter colour. Maybe put that one with this one. What do you think? Those two together. Um, how about this? Would you pull on the golds? Or would you go more of the greens? Or the broon have a look these are all underneath us we will hopefully get a chance to go through those whiz through them individually but your bundle today is 25.99 how are you getting on with your sewing machines ben i will do an announcement as soon as they are live don't worry as soon as they're live on pre-order I will let everybody know. So that's your complimenting bundle. Um, shall we do the panel that's behind me? Uh, Becky, I might need you to show the top of it because all oh, because yeah, it's um it's a big panel, isn't it? You've got the most stunning colours as well, and it actually says autumn, the year's last loveliest smile. I think that is so pretty. And it is the, uh, the time of year we've seen the leaves falling off the trees, those lovely warm colours. Beautiful, beautiful panel. And because obviously it's Riley Blake, it's really lovely quality cotton. Now, obviously we've had it hanging up behind us. It's sold very, very well on pre-order, $15.99. Now, there's literally five left. If you do want to put it with some of the solids, maybe, you could do borders around the edge. Um, you could simply just bind it as it is and have it as like a little um uh, a little throw to put as a lap quilt you could back it with a fleece couldn't you just 15 pounds 99 it is the very very last of stock though and i don't think we're going to be getting any of these left i think that this is it don't think we're actually going to be able to get any more Bearing in mind, we're just heading into autumn now. There are some of the Riley Blake um, fabrics from this same collection that are available underneath us on the website. So if you do want to have a look underneath us, we will run through them individually as well. But just $15.99. Look at the details. It looks literally like it's been drawn, doesn't it? Quality of the printing is gorgeous. All of the coordinating fabrics are underneath us on the web. Charlie and Ben are agreeing that this would look nice in my house. It would. Um, I was talking to Jenny Jackson the other day and she said that she loves textiles on the wall. Instead of paintings, you know, having textiles um, looks gorgeous. Nice one to practice your free motion, your free motion quilting maybe. Uh, they are all, all the complementing fabrics as well are available underneath us on the web so if you do get the panel today maybe have a look at some of the complementing fabrics right there's two left there's two left if you want it shall we do some bundles under 10 i did say at half past the hour we'll do it i'm gonna go for this one first because this looks interesting ben this is really cool so did you say this is under 10 half a meter oh hang on are these fat quarters? 
Oh, what are you going to make with this? They are really super soft. So you've got your ochre, it's like a fleece, it's a jersey. Uh-oh, okay, so hang on. If we do this, we've got to do it really, really quick. If you buy it, brilliant. If you don't, it's also fine because we're losing a lot of money on this. This is also the Henry Glass half a metre. What are you going to make with it, Charlie? A cushion. A cushion with this. Uh, and then what are you going to do with your fleece? Because this is like a jersey. This is like the fluffy, beautiful... Um, that is amazing, isn't it? £11 and 27 pence. If you do kids dressmaking, these make the most adorable little hoodies and le leggings. I mean, obviously it would be very, very for little little people like Maisie. This is not supposed to be under 10. Really not supposed to be under 10. We are losing a lot of money if we go under 10. Um, are you gonna do it or not? The system won't let him do it. <laughs> oh no. Okay, because Ben, you did say, you did say. <gasps> oh, hang on, so this one isn't either. <laughs> Go on, just do it, just do it. <laughs> he says I am gonna get into so much trouble. 9.99, absolutely make the most of it. You're getting two beautiful fabrics. Remember, this is more of your sort of dressmaking. Oh dear. Did you put this bundle together yourself? But did you do it with the intention of taking under 10? Oh, sorry, that's my fault then. I preempted the under 10 too early. I just grabbed anything off the desk. Oh, 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 oh. 9 99 Isn't that gorgeous? We're fi it's fine to be fair if you don't buy it. It's fine. <laughs> it's fine. Ben won't get into trouble if we don't buy it. So, yeah, we'll move on. It's there. It is there. Ben, it's not very often that you say that. Tell everyone not to buy it because I'm going to get into trouble. Um, Please, now this is all me. This Ben is saying, please don't do it, Vic. But because we did that one, now these are both quilting weight fabrics. So if you want to make cushions, if you want to make bags, if you want to do um, a small patchwork project, then here you have got half a meter of Henry glass, half a meter of your solid. Oh, honestly, the huffing and puffing that's going on in the gallery and the crying. It's gorgeous, and this is so on trend at the moment, isn't it? Obviously, um, that's way too low. Just so you know, that is, um, it's way too low. And that's uh, thanks to our Ben, if management are watching. Thank you, Ben. Half a meter of this lovely bird fabric. What's this called? It's the first time I've seen this. Isn't it so pretty? What are you going to make with yours then, Charlie? He's putting through a stuff order straight away. Yeah, the bird fabric's really nice. I think you've spent a week at John Scott's house. So this is very John, isn't it, as well? I can imagine him with some really big opulent cushions on his fancy. He's got a chair that's... The back of the chair is literally as tall as the studio. It's so high. This would look beautiful. Oh, my gosh. What are you going to do when you're home? Charlie's uh, sleeping in strawberry thief bed sheets at the moment, living the life. Right, you're getting both fabrics, $9.99. Uh, our bundle selection. We started with a bang, haven't we? It's always like we weren't supposed to be at that price, Ben. Hint, hint, hint. The prices of fabrics going up and up and up as well. Everything's on the up. Should we do the ones that are supposed to be under £10? I love these passion fruit ones. We've got one, two, three passion fruit colourways. Um, which one do you want to do first? 
Should we do the green? So there's got, we've got the green fabric and then the purple complementing bundle. Right, so going under, under ten pounds today. Hello, Margaret. Good morning. I've got the coffee. I haven't finished it yet. I've made this at like half six this morning. Mmm. So when I was on holiday um, earlier on in the year, oh, you be careful. Ha, um, we did. We had. We ordered a sangria. And it wasn't just sangria. And I said, I thought sangria was like red wine with fruit in. And they said, oh, that's antique sangria. The sangria that they bought for us was had rum in it. It was like, a, a, I don't know if it was Prosecco or white wine, but it was a white um, or rose drink, light, very light color. And it had rum in it. It had passion fruit. It had basil. It had, um, this was in Portugal. It had, Oh, maybe, yeah, maybe they had it in um, Crete. I didn't have it then, but there was oranges in there. It was the most beautiful sangria I've ever had. I do like passion fruit. 9 99 with that beautiful plum colour as well. Did you have the, the drink, what was it called? Um, no, like that. No, yeah. Racky, oh, they used to bring you out racky after every dinner and it's like this horrible shot, which they then also brought out watermelon as a chaser. So you were supposed to have like your shot and then you were supposed to have fruit afterwards. Oh no, no, no. Becky's all ready for our holidays tomorrow. Don't, no, well very early in the morning to be talking about racking. If anybody's been to a Greek island, you'll know what we're talking about. Um, nine pounds, 99, half a meter of each. And if I open this out, you can see, again, it's this wide, it feels it actually, doesn't it? It might be 112 wide. Um, but with that lovely passion fruit detail, nice and fruity. I know that we're moving more towards autumn now. Keep this in your stash ready for summer. Keep this in your stash. Shall we do the other colours? We've got the pink and the blue. Pink. <laughs> oh, we love you, Ben. Ben's very, very kind. You'll you'll get on along. You'll get on just fine with our Ben here. Oh yeah, and he's very handsome as well. He wanted to let everybody know that he's also very handsome. Charlie has been uh, pumping some iron in the uh, in the gym this last week. I don't know if it's that top, but my word, he looks. He does look pumped, doesn't he? He said, "Oh, don't you make me shy." Doesn't he? Even Becky noticed. Becky thought he'd been eating his spinach the last two weeks, like Popeye. Um, 9.99 this time with the pink and the green. Oh. So he's set up a, a whole gym in John Scott's garage. He's really living the, the life of Riley, isn't he, in there? Are you, so, so have you bought a bench press that you've put, you've set up in John Scott's garage? Yeah. Have you got a place for it at home? Yeah. <laughs> Made a place for it at home. Now this one says it's lime. It says here, garden passion leafy fruit on pink with lime. Oh, lime fabric. Right then we've also got the purple very quickly because we've only got 20 minutes left. We've still got more under 10 bundles to bring you. I like the background colour, that blue. It's lovely, isn't it? £9.99 with a lavender. Oh, interesting choice, Ben. I like the lavender with it. Just £9.99. Again, another one to do your foldable tote bag from Wendy Orlando. Now we've also got, are these, um, what sort of flowers are these please, Ben? We've got the yellow and then we've also got the purple. They're folded like fat quarters, they're not. Let me open them out. 
passion flowers. Garden passion. And then just picking out this lovely raspberry. Nine pounds 99 meter of fabric, half a meter of each. With your green leaves as well. I really like that. Yeah, it does pick out. You've picked that perfectly to pick out the uh, the raspberry that's in the centre of the passion flowers. Keep these ready. I know that we had the vacuum bags on yesterday. Keep these all ready for summer for next year for all of your mates for summer. Have you not seen them? I think they've sold out. You know. No. You've got here the passion flowers, and half a meter of your imperial purple. I think you've teamed this one with. Yes, Imperial. I like the fact that it's slightly sort of muted. Do you see what I mean? It's got that background that's got a really lovely, um, almost looks like a denim look to the background, doesn't it? 9 99 a half metre. Well, two half metres, remember, sorry. So they're already pre-cut. Those of you that are multi-buying, you will get both. Oh, I could just eat a passion fruit, said Christine. So. When I, I went, a few years ago, I went away um, on holiday and there were loads of passion fruits at breakfast, you know, like your all-inclusive breakfast, there was bowls of passion fruit and I literally got addicted to eating like 10 passion fruits a day. And they're really expensive here, aren't they? I came home and I was on a mission to try and find passion fruits and they have to be in season, in the supermarket, you can't get them in every supermarket, I think I had to go to Waitrose or something and got a tiny little punnet for about a fiver. And um, they never taste as good, do they? You're right. I love anything passion fruit like syrup, passion fruit flavour, anything. Oh, that's a bit of me, Christine, as well. You're taking us back to summer and you're getting our Becky all ready for our holiday. She's off to Marbs, to Marbella tomorrow. So our very good family friends, they've moved to Malaga, which is obviously where you're going to fly into, isn't it? So it's about half an hour away. So we're going to try and get a sneaky little, hopefully, deal in like November time. Because apparently it's still really nice and warm in November. So we might try and get there, go and see them. Um, I've got one more under 10. One more under 10. Now, this is garden passion. Um, this is all garden passion range. These are your seed heads. They're so pretty, aren't they? So pretty. This would make a lovely cushion front. Bind it with the green. Make, I know I've said it a million times, but we've all got Wendy Orlando's pattern, haven't we? That foldable tote bag, half a metre of each is what you need. Ideal, ideal. £9.99. <laughs> yeah, we're clinging on to a bit of summer, aren't we? Shall we do, right, they're all under £10 bundles. This one is so pretty. What's this? What's this lovely floral bundle you've put together? Do you know what it is, Ben? Let me tell you if I can see the designer. It's Moda. This is Moda. <gasps> They're individual, not, yeah, I've got four, right, this one ends in 40. You can never have too many fabrics like this in your stash. I think they are so pretty. If you are making um, lovely little bits for your sewing room, I'm thinking pretty little uh, purses. I still like a coin purse, do you? Having my car, a little coin purse for the, the car park and things like that and the trolley. Seven pound, 49 half meter. I mean, Moda is very indulgent to say, I'm gonna make some scrunchies with it. But how pretty is that fabric? It's called Grace. Ah, yes. Living in loveliness. Uh, those of you that love our Kerry, I can see her in a dress like this. Oh yeah, for kids wear. That'd be lovely. Maisie would look very cute in a little dress like this. Moda Grace, small floral print, ditzy prints, and for smaller piecing as well, if you are fussy cutting, or if you are subcutting into like half square triangles, this with white, it's gonna look lovely. 749 and a half metres. Now your chance, the majority of the, the fabrics we've done this hour have been cut already. This is uh, going to be cut off the bolt for you. 
we have four different colours. We've got it ending in 15 as well. This one's got the pinks more prominent. Uh, it's difficult to see when you see them back to back, but let me show you from the difference with this one. So this one's got more yellows in it. It's also got two shades of um, like a deeper sort of pink. Oh, I like this. You now, Alison Marion does a Mummy and Me aprons. Imagine doing matching aprons and then matching apron for a dolly or a teddy as well. Have you watched the new Pinocchio yet? With Tom Hanks? It's really good. I love Tom Hanks. He's amazing in everything, isn't he? Did you know he collects typewriters? There's a fun fact. Uh, seven pounds, 49, half a metre. Uh, ending in 14, please, Ben. Same print. What does that mean? Oh, this has got blue. Same but different, same but different. Seven pounds, 49, a half metre. 112 rat wide. Becky liked the sound of that one, by the way. Seven pounds, 49 and a half metre. Mode de Grace also comes in one other colourway, which has got that lovely blue as well. It's got yellows and pinks. Don't forget, by the way, we're 10 minutes away from Tracy joining us from Owl and the Sewing Cat. First time I've had a show with her. We've got some Christmas makes show, lots of different kits to bring to you. Seven pounds, 49 and a half metre. They are gorgeous. They're very Liberty-esque. Do you know what I mean? Liberty is very famous for small ditzy print florals. This has got that feeling, but it's Moda, so it's still absolutely beautiful quality. We talked a lot about Moda yesterday um, with Janet Clare as she works and has worked with them for the last 12 years. She says they're a lovely company to work for. Um, right, so Ben's got a couple of fabrics that are named after him. Go on. Is it because I'm talking about Janet Clare, you're getting a bit jealous? Yeah. <laughs> is it one of these autumnal ones? So, there is a fabric called, yeah, Wild Beauty. Wild Beauty is how we can sometimes describe our Ben. Um, these are lovely and autumnal. They, they match in with the panel behind me, which I don't know if it's sold out yet. It's worth having a look on the website because um, these will go perfectly with that one. It's a different range. It's not a Riley Blake, but it will go absolutely perfectly with your autumnal. Wild beauty. Is this only 6.99 and a half metre? That's really good value as well, isn't it? Oh, uh, that's really good. Yeah, there's a couple of these wild beauties. Um, outside of the Riley Blake range that are lovely, that still are gonna look really, really nice with all your autumnal projects. £6.99, a half metre, that's really good. Green as well. Which one's your favourite, Ben? This is almost like an aqua background. This would look nice with Tula pink, wouldn't it? It's a similar colour palette to Tula. Oh, sorry, hit my microphone. My, my, my um, necklace is hitting it, I think. Ah, sorry, I'm doing that on purpose now, aren't I? No, Maria. Maria, what bag? What picture have you put on the fan page? She says, have you seen the bag on the fan page? Charlie's going to have a look now. Charlie's going to have a look. Uh, £6.99 and a half metre. I do look at the fan page. Not on the daily, though. So um, did you, when have you put it on? Let me know when you put it on. Well, Charlie's going to see if we can find it. It's Maria. So, don't forget, Renaissance Garden is available by the half metre. Some of it is now very, very, very limited. Have a look on the website. Should we do the Riley Blakes? 
Yes, right. This one, I'm going to go for my favourite, which is IBYV67. So, this has been very, very popular on pre-order. There's only five left. It goes perfectly with the panel that's behind us. That is gorgeous. It is the matching collection. There's the panel. Here's your half meter pre, uh, your half meter fabrics, which you can purchase as much as you want off the bolt. If you want a lovely dress for autumn, you want to make yourself a nice skirt for autumn, a nice shirt. Just check with your dressmaking pattern that it's you know it works with a, a cotton as opposed to you don't want to try and make a sweatshirt out of this or a dress that needs a lot of drape but it will still work for a lot of dressmaking patterns it's lovely and it will behave itself when you're sewing it if you are starting dressmaking this is a good one to start with um Kawa said hi vicky please could you place the autumnal plain autumnal fabric um becky would you be able to bring me the bundle of plain autumnal fabric please thank you um, no problem, absolutely well, I'll do that for you. Uh, we also have this same fabric but in a cream. This one is UPYV43. There's four, only four units, only two metres left. Thank you very much. Okay, right, who was it? Sorry, there we go. So, we have done such a grand job of getting these literally matching in. So you've got your golden, you've got the brown, the green, the burgundy. This is all a bundle, by the way. There's your green. Three shades of green. Oh, I love that one. That goes really nice with those flowers. That one's HBLJ83 um, if you want that individually. That's really, really nice. That goes lovely. They all go really well. That's the whole bundle, $25.99. There's only five left of that mega bundle. There's 12 in baskets. Are there any of the panels left? And I just get one of these because look at how well this goes. Again, panel has now sold out, but look at how lovely these are together. It works so well. What's that one called, HBLJ83, out of curiosity, do you know? Because that's one of our core fabrics, that's one that's always gonna be on the website, so if you want more of that one, it's called Paprika, Paprika. Um, right, couple of minutes, let's whiz through these. We've got AVYZV09, your leaves. So if you are picking out a fabric to maybe do as a binding with your panel or a board around the edge, make it go even further. 749 and a half metre. Ah, oh, yesterday, Wendy Orlando um, bagged Tula Pink butterfly fabric. Oh, wow. Honestly, there are so many of you in here who have bought that foldable tote bag. How did you find it? Are you gonna make more? I think it's one of those bags that once you've made one, you'll then make 10 and then you'll need 20. And then you'll think, right, I'm gonna make them all for, as gift ideas for Christmas this year. Because it's a great pattern, isn't it? And let's face it, so useful, so useful. There are a lot of projects that I think, oh, I'd love that, but, but am I gonna use it? Do I need it? Whereas actually, that's really, really useful. Should we do this one? Um, this is PHYV08. Is this one, that lovely sort of paprika tone, that ties in really nicely with this one. This is UPYV43 and this one's PHYV08. Um, Love that. Smaller scale print, really, really lovely. There's the other fabrics as well, all available on our website. We've got IUV08. Thank you. Yeah. So, um, seven pounds forty nine half metre. Uh, orange leaves, beautiful colour. Although, if this one's sold out, 
Because we've got a bit of a, I don't know whether to, to tell you all, because we've got a bit of a surprise later. Don't know when to reveal it, but um, yeah, just watch this space. Watch this space, literally. £7.49, a half metre for your orange. Um, we've then got I R Y V 42 please. Oh, I like this one. This is very Lynette Anderson, actually. It is a Riley Blake fabric, and um, I think this would be really nice with like nice buttons, some embroidery, maybe um, as a board around a, an embroidered cushion. Add some lace, add some buttons. Add some metallic threads, make it Christmassy if you want. So much that you can do with all of these fabrics. They are quilting weight cottons, multi bind it'll be cut off the bolt to you and then finally we've got EBYV01 please Ben did you find uh, Maria's picture on the fan page been looking for it couldn't find it Maria it's a tulip pink butterfly bag <laughs> no Yesterday, she, she uploads it yesterday. She come up. Sometimes mine comes up in a funny order. Mine doesn't come up in chronological order, you know. Why is that? Is it to do with algorithms? I just like saying that word, algorithms. Seven pounds, 49 and a half meter. I am really falling behind with technology. Honestly, I'm really bad. Oh, have you found it? No. Um, Becky, do you know how to do a reel? Yeah. I need to learn how to do a reel. Oh, Charlie's found it. Charlie's found it, Maria. It looks great. Oh, I love it. Love it, love it. Let us know if we can show it on it. Um, okay, after the break. We've got lovely Tracy joining us. Um, by the way, don't forget, underneath us is all of the Renaissance range from uh, Henry Glass. The mega bundle completely sold out. That will be moving across from pre-order onto show deals. So if you do want to check out on the web, have a look at that. Um, still working on the Brother Masso machine. It will come into stock ASAP. I will let you know as soon as it's live on the web. Um, but Tracy's going to be joining us. Lots of goodies. Christmas goodies as well. So stay where you are. We're back after this. Hello everyone, I'm Delphine Brooks. I've been part of the Sewing Street family now for over a year and it's been the most incredible journey so far. Some of you may already know that I like all things sewing, anything from quilting to toy making, needle felting, and of course applique, which is my favorite. The best thing about being part of the show is being able to share with you my imagination and bringing you new ideas and new designs and patterns and seeing how you interpret those designs and make your own work and then sharing your images of those is the most rewarding part for me. I'm currently working on lots of new ideas and exciting projects that I cannot wait to bring to the show and share with you all. But in the meantime, take care everyone and happy sewing. Stuck for ideas for the perfect gift? Why not get them a gift card? You can buy Sewing Street and Yarn Lane gift cards loaded up with anything from £10 to £500. Shop our gift cards online at www.sewingstreet.com or www.yarnlane.com or purchase them via our UK call centre on 0800 001 4433. If you're a Sewing Street or Yarn Lane customer, no matter how many times you check out in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. So don't wait to add the item you want to your basket and check out. You will only pay one PMP even if you check out multiple times in one day. Sewing Street have our very own app. You can now watch and shop from anywhere. Simply download the app from your app store onto your smartphone or tablet, then log in or create an account and you're done. You can watch us live from anywhere, browse all our recently played items and pre-orders so you never miss out on any show deals and message the studio to say hello at any time. And remember, you can check out as many times as you want and only pay one PNP all day.
heard about all the different ways you can shop on Sewing Street, you can shop on our website, sewingstreet.com, and you can also order by phone by calling our friendly UK customer service team. Just call 0800 001 4433. And don't forget about the Sewing Street app. Here you can shop all of the Sewing Street products as well as watch the live shows from anywhere. You can download the app onto your smartphone or your tablet by simply searching Sewing Street in your app store. And one final thing, no matter how many times you check out on Sewing Street in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. Happy shopping! We know that shopping online can be a confusing and sometimes daunting task. And sometimes all you want to do is talk to a human being. Our family-run customer service team are on call 24-7 full of friendly, warm-hearted individuals, all trained to make your shopping experience as easy and enjoyable as possible. Not only will they take your order, they'll also help and guide you on your shopping journey, so you never miss out. Follow Sewing Street on Facebook and Instagram to keep up to date with what's coming up on the show, as well as being the first to know about our amazing offers. Get involved with our competitions that are exclusive to social media. And pick up some top tips from us too. Hello, welcome back. Christmas here this hour. We've got some really, really lovely patterns from Tracy. In fact, they're all brand new. We haven't ever seen these before. So it's the first time I've even met Tracy. She's been mad busy this morning over on our sister show, Hobby Maker. So a really quick change over. Lots of goodies to show you. Um, and we've also got a bit of a deal. So if you want to get yourself a bit of a production line, get ready for Christmas with, I mean, there's nothing that you're gonna need to add. This is gonna sort out all of your Christmas decorations ready for gifts, for craft fairs, for yourself, for loved ones as you go. So if I show you the projects, because then we've got a whole bundle, so you can get them individually, but trust me, you're getting freebies. So you've got, can you hear the jingle bells? It's officially Christmas. Um, so we've got six patterns to show you. This one is your Santa advent calendar. Um, look at how beautifully presented they are as well. If you're getting them as a gift for somebody uh, who sews, then this is lovely. You have got in here your pattern to make that lovely, ooh, uh, to make that lovely um, calendar with a Santa Claus. I think we've got it in the background. Oh my gosh, it's huge. <laughs> it's so much bigger than you actually think. Tracy, <laughs> I know that you're busy dressing all of this set for us, but how are you? I'm good, thank you. Good! Really good. These projects look absolutely beautiful. Thank you. So the Santa Abbing hand that I'm talking about is behind you. It's huge. It really is huge, yes. It's got lots of pockets, long legs, lots of bells today that you've probably heard going on. So yeah, because then you can put something nice in there, whether you're doing sweets, chocolate coins, yeah. or whether you're building up Lego bricks to make something, yeah. or whatever. Yeah, so really nice. It's Long brilliant. <laughs> um, so this one is the, the the pattern that you have, which you can get individually for your advent calendar. That's just nine pounds fifty. As I said, though, yes, if you just know that you want this one, grab it. But we have got a bundle on all of them. So we also have today the reindeer applique cushion. Oh my gosh, he is so cute, isn't he? Oh, he's got little mittens. He's got um, pom-poms. Hang on, let me just grab him and I can show you. This is another lovely one to do with, I mean, this has got cord fabric, felt. You can mix up from your stash if you've got um, any felt or course you make cottons or look, ribbon. He's so pretty with his pom-pom around the edge as well. His little tongue hanging out. Is his tongue or is he a little smile? I think it's a little smile, isn't it? He's so cute. Um, £9.50 again. £9.50. Everything that you need to know, all of your templates, all of your instructions are within your pattern. 
then we are going to be doing a bit of a demo today on the Christmas stocking as well. If you want your classic Christmas stocking, you're always going to need your Christmas stocking. Hang it up on a mantelpiece, put it on the side of it, um, on a bed. I, I think you're never too old to have a stocking, are you? Do you still have a Christmas stocking? Oh, and you could personalise this if you want. You can embroider onto it. You could um, applique names onto it. You could put bells on it. We love putting bells on things, don't we? Speaking of bells on things, wait till you see the mantelpiece runner. Oh my gosh, it's amazing. £9.50 for your classic stocking pattern. Then we also have individually I'm whizzing through these and we can go through them in more depth with with Tracy as well of, of exactly how her patterns look if I'm being honest I don't want to open them up they're all so beautifully presented aren't they this is your mantelpiece now we've got it set on the uh, the desk here it's another beautiful project if you have got a stunning fireplace here it is if you've got a, st a fireplace uh, a bookshelf uh, a mantelpiece where this can hang oh my word even the top of a wardrobe or something, it's going to look great, isn't it? I'm thinking we've got um, top of our kitchen. There's like a space before the cupboards start. You could have these top of the kitchen, couldn't you? And if you open the cupboard doors, it jingles the bells. It doesn't matter a bit. It's just Christmas, isn't it? Um, would that annoy you? I love having bells and things. Pom-poms and bells. Oh, yeah, we do go full out at Christmas. I love it. And Kieran's one for very classic Christmas, you know, white lights only, whereas I'm like colourful lights, loads of tinsel, bright pink Christmas tree. And he always said, when we have kids, you can do that. So now I'm like, yes. Last year, even though Maisie was only a tiny baby, I still went to town with bright coloured lights and a pink Christmas tree and things. Um, so this is the mantelpiece pattern. We are doing a bundle if you're getting all six. So if you're loving all of these so far, watch this space a couple of other ones that we've got the um cute christmas elf and look at him sitting up there on the shelf oh he looks a little cheeky little elf doesn't he oh nine pound fifty and i really like choice of fabrics as well even if you've got yourself we had yesterday on the show some natural cedar cottage at osnaberg um Yes, all of your little fat quarter packs that you have, lovely Christmas fabrics or just some solids, it's going to really work. And you're going to be able to make lots of little Christmas elves for all of the family. Just £9.50. And then another one that we're going to be working on is your Christmas present sack pattern. Now, we've done a bit of a, a mix and a matchy here, I think, because look, so the applique pattern from the cushion, we've appliqued onto the sack. But look, you're also getting in here applique to be able to do a beautiful fire um, scene with prezzies under the table, with all of your little mittens. All your fabric requirements, everything that you're going to need to be able to create the project is on the front of the pattern. And then there is a bundle. The reason that I've skipped through all of these quite quickly is because if I were you, I would absolutely get all six because you're going to get a freebie. Not only are you going to get all of those six patterns, so you're going to get the sack, you're going to get the Christmas elf, you're going to get the uh, mantelpiece dressing, you're going to get the, the stocking, the cushion, the advent calendar. You're also going to get for free your hanging Christmas tree pattern, which looks like this. How lovely is this? How lovely. And I suppose once you've got the pattern, you can make them individually as little um, little trees for the, the Christmas tree decorations. You could have this hanging on the back of a door. You could have this just hanging on a wall. It's lovely, lovely decoration, isn't it? Very cute seeing this sort of, um, uh, the cotton that's used, it's really pretty, isn't it? So that one's your freebie, 49.99. You're gonna get all of those with a saving as you are gonna get that bonus free paper pattern. So all of these come, as you can see here in their beautiful folders, all the patterns just 49.99. Now, this is the first time I've ever seen this. It's the first time I've ever seen a company come on and offer an alternative to a paper pattern. This 
I was saying, do you know, um, um, I'm, I feel like I'm falling behind with the technology a little bit with the whole TikTok generation of reels and all sorts. But I can manage a USB. This is a USB, goes into your computer, and you can literally get all of these patterns in one little USB port straight into your computer. You've got there the present sack, the reindeer cushion, the Christmas elf, you've got the mantelpiece runner, you've got the Christmas stocking. You also have the bonus pattern on here, don't you Tracy, as well for you your do, Christmas yes. tree decoration. Yeah, so exactly the same as you get on the printed set, you're going to get on a USB. You do you get all them. of your templates as well? You get all the templates, yeah, and you can print them over and over again. Oh, brilliant. Just $38.99 as well. I tell you what, that is a really good option. One, it's going to save you money, but also save you space. You can find them all there as well. You've got all six patterns. Um, remember that free one is included in that as well for £38.99. There's loads of you have got these in baskets, but I think we're excited to see them all in action. Um, it's lovely to meet you. So true. You had a manic morning. A busy morning, but yeah. that's okay. It's good to be busy. Up oh, really, really early. <laughs> yes. Um, is this the first time we've done Christmas with you here? It so is. Straight? It's the first time we bought Christmas here, so it's very exciting. So yeah, as you said, we've got lots of different projects. We've done them in kind of the Scandi sort of look yeah. um, for our samples, but obviously you can make these in whatever colours you want. They're great for scrap busting as well. So if you've got loads of little bits of fabric left over, it's a great chance to kind of use them up. But they work equally equally as well in kind of the bright colours mm -hmm. that we're seeing around at the moment mm -hmm. as well. If you want to bring of that bring a, bring of that into the yeah whatever the theme you have Christmas, yeah. I mean, so, like the sack here is you know kind of a PK work. Hopefully, we'll get a chance to. Um, have a little demo of that later on so that's a really nice chance to use all your little bits up yeah and you're going to get the templates for all of these if you're buying them as a collection so you can then mix and match you might want to put the reindeer from the cushion onto the sack or mix and match them around so yeah you've got a whole set like you say you've got the elf you've got the christmas stocking we've got the long advent calendar we've got the mantelpiece one it's not quite long enough here to kind of show but hopefully you get the yeah. idea mm -hmm. it just looks really lovely over a mantelpiece mm -hmm. or over a shelf when it's come up to christmas and of course we put bells on the end yeah of it. yeah and absolutely and the stocking actually is a lot bigger than you think it's a really good size stocking yeah, as well because if you're thinking of putting books and stuff like that in there all of a sudden it gets full up so yeah. we We'd spent ages kind of deciding what size stocker we wanted to do and we've played around with it and this is yeah the most popular one we've done by far so we're bringing you all our popular Christmas presents Christmas ideas all together um, can we have a look at one of your patterns then so when you open yeah. it because it's so beautifully presented I love the the the, uh, the the cardboard folder that it also comes in so you can keep that for next year as well and the year after making it and make again of course yeah we really want people to use our patterns over and over again that's the whole point of doing it this way is that we want those to be used and people do all the time so we've put them in these lovely envelopes so the instructions on the front you've got a nice string and washer on the back and it's a gusseted envelope so that means that you've got space when you've cut your, fab your patterns out you can put them back in there oh that's a really good idea so do you have an angel policy at all yeah so you can make for charity and yeah. you can make for yourself yeah but just avoid making and selling okay yeah, so for commercial use um but all our instructions are printed like this lots and lots of photographs to take you every step of the way mm -hmm. through your project then our patterns if you're buying the printed ones, they're on our very heavy duty paper, which is great. So again, you can use them time and time again. They're full scale, so there's no enlarging, there's no um, work, making sure you've got the right scale. We don't put a load of measurements, we give you the actual pattern piece. Oh, so you good. lay that on the fabric and you cut it out. So you can't really go wrong with it, because sometimes I find that, you know, measurements are great, but there's always that time when you cut it wrong. <laughs> and all your templates are obviously on there, which you can use, say, swap those over, put them on the cushion if you want to, mix and match them up. So yeah, that's our printed patterns, all come nicely in those envelopes like that. Is the one that you would start with as a beginner? Would you probably um, start with the stocking? The would stocking's you say? probably going to be the easiest, because the way we do it is such a quick way yeah so I'll show you how to do that in just a sec um then uh so just to quickly go through the yeah. other version because the other way of buying them is on the USB which has been really really popular so inside they're lovely engraved USBs with the collection that you're buying oh, because we have a nice. whole yeah we have a whole number of different collections and they're like courses that we would teach really but now you can get it all on one USB so together. do you do workshops then Tracy I have done in the past yeah. at the moment we haven't got a chance to do them but in the yeah. past I've spent years teaching yeah okay. so we've 
done all of these so we kind of know how long they're going to take we've perfected them to things that people find easy hard um, so at the moment we're discussing the craft stuff which is brilliant we're doing all the Christmas stuff but then I'll be back at 11 with the dressmaking like what I'm wearing so we'll get a chance to have a look at those then as well so it's craft and dressmaking from the Allen Sewing Cat um, so on the USB the point of the USB is you can print them at home A4 printer you don't need anything more than that just a regular A4 printer doesn't take a lot of ink I've separated the files so you've got one file that's got the instructions on and one that's got the printed patterns brilliant so you don't have to print all the instructions if you don't want to you can just work off your USB on your laptop or however you'd like to work what we're trying to avoid is this where we all end up with loads of tissue yeah. paper patterns yeah. we never use them again no. we use them once and with this kind of work and um, the crafting stuff I find that what was happening was people maybe losing one part of the pattern which is really annoying you lend it to your friend <laughs> lovely every intention of giving it back but you always lose one or two pieces from the pattern so when you've got it on usb you can obviously print it over and over again so if you lose you know the elf's ears or the santa nose you can just reprint that yeah, piece yeah that's really good that you've got it handy and it doesn't take up i always think you know i don't have a designated sewing room do i have space to keep all of these lovely patterns that's great that's a yep. space saver. Have just them all lined up yep. on the side. You've got a list. You've got photographs on the front of what you've got. So when you're looking for inspiration, like it's Christmas, what am I going to make? Pick out USB. You've got all the pictures on the front. You've got a list on the back, and away you go. Brilliant. Like that with all of our patterns. And I'm not going to miss out on my freebie with this. You've you're still not got your miss freebie. Out on your freebie. You're going to get that. In fact, it works out even cheaper to buy it that way because obviously you are printing them yourself at home. But I've done it without lots of colour, without lots of shading, so it's going to be very, very easy. So I'll show you just quickly how that works. When you print it you'll then have your guide pattern, which will be this, the cover. So the first page that will come off is this. So this tells me that this particular pattern is consists of six sheets of paper. It will just print it automatically for you, but this shows you how to lay them all out. Mm -hmm. So when they're printed, they're gonna come like this. So there's most of the pattern's gonna be white, so the paper's gonna be white, so hardly any ink. And this one here, you can see five and six. So these are just these last two pages here. So I can see they need to go side by side. So they print like that with this grid dotted line. I'm just mm -hmm. going to fold that edge over, line up those two triangles like that, and then you just tape that ah, together. Yeah. So that's the bottom row. And then you carry on, obviously, until you've got your big pattern, and then you cut it out. But yeah, you can print it as many times, lend it to friends, you know, print a copy for friends. You can, when it gets yeah. tatty, because say, hopefully you use these over and over again, you can reprint another copy. That's the really nice thing with the USB. And like you say, the storage is nice. Um, but even on the printed patterns, because they're A4 and because it is a nice gusseted envelope, it means there's plenty of space. So you can still store them really nicely in your shelf and see straight away what you've got. And I've even put the requirements on the front as well. So if you're making it again, or you want to know how much fabric you need or how much trim you need, it's all written on the front just for quick reference too. Brilliant. Okay, so that's the USB and the printed. You're going to get exactly the same things. You're still going to get your freebies and you're still going to be saving money, most importantly. Absolutely, it's only 38.99. Remember, you're getting all of those patterns. And that is going to pretty much sort you out for Christmas, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So you've got seven in total. Well. Right, so should I start by doing the stocking? Absolutely. Just a really quick demonstration on this one because it's the simplest project ever. So I've got two fabrics here and we cut it out like this. So the pattern's already done for you, so you don't need to worry. Okay, this is gonna be my main fabric here. What I'm gonna do is I folded it in half, just so I've got a crease line so I know where the center is. I've taken some ribbon and I've just threaded the bells on. I haven't stitched them on, I've just threaded them on because it's nice to have those jingle jangle bells. If you want to, um, I've been watching you on Hobby Maker this morning with your oh. embroidery machine, and I was thinking if you want to personalise them, if you've got oh. an embroidery machine, or if you want to applique names or embroider, at what point would I personalise them? Would you do it whilst it's like this? Yeah, you can either do it now, because then you can see exactly where you want it to go, or sometimes I'll embroider the name first and then put the pattern over the top and cut it out. If I'm a bit worried that I might not get it central, or I want to kind of fussy around, you know, make sure it's dead around the center bit or something mm -hmm. so yeah you can do it either way and um, if I was doing it on the fabric I'd just mark the shape out roughly first with something that would disappear obviously a vanishing marker pen something like that but yeah things like this are then great you know yeah. once you add Embellish. people's names on them and it's a really lovely thing to do anyway, so that's our main so I've just pinned those bells ribbon down I've done it just over a centimeter down from the top okay and then I'm going to take my lining pattern. The lining is much longer, you'll see, because we want to have a little cuff that runs along the top. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to line this up like that. So we've got our cuff distance on there, which is two centimetres down. 
we believe. All of so it. Just gonna it's all in the pattern, isn't it? All, all of our measurements. So I'm just going to pin it like that, going over top of the ribbon. So make sure the ribbon's just poking out so you've got a bit of that. So I'm going to do straight line first. So I'm going to stitch just along here with a one centimetre seam allowance. Always keep one centimetre for all of our patterns. Uh, unless they're particularly small soft toys and then it will always tell you. So what I'm going to do is just a straight line all the way along here. So bear with me when I just whiz down there. I know that you're, you're a big advocate of these brother machines as well, aren't you? Mm, yes. I always sew with brother machines because they're so easy to use and very intuitive and just so reliable. So this here is my go-to machine that I bought with me. It kind of always is in and out of my car, <laughs> going somewhere. I feel like you can grow with it though. I mean, you're obviously, you, you sew on the telly, you make lots of different things, dressmaking, whether it be crafts. It's one that I think you can grow with as well, isn't yes, it? Yes, definitely. It's got so many different feet and things like that that come with it too. And loads, I think 250 different stitches yeah. and it does do writing, it's a small writing but it still will do that small writing without going to an embroidery machine. But that's nice um, to be able to do monogramming isn't it? Yeah, yeah really nice. Labels and things. Really nice. Um, so I've stitched along that top edge there, okay now we're going to open it up like this Yeah. and I'm going to fold it in half that way so we always, as we know, always look at right sides together. You would obviously press that at home but we're just going to cheat for TV sake. What I want to do is make sure that I've got my seams lined up here. Okay, so that's what I'm watching for, just to make sure they're really nicely lined up. And I want my main fabric to come to the top because that's going to be our cuff. And then I'm going to pin and stitch all the way around the whole thing. Oh, you can get yourself a right little production line going if you've oh, got, you know, so lots of grandchildren, children who all need stockings. Exactly pets even. Yeah! <laughs> but if you've got people coming to stay, it's really nice just to make a little stocking, isn't it? And obviously you could scale this up and down in size if you wanted to. We only, ha only had this um, conversation the day that oh, you're never too old for a stocking. No. My children are 25 and 23 and my husband was like, still do we have still stockings? need to do a stocking? I was like, I just couldn't not do a stocking. It would feel wrong. And I think they would really complain. Yeah. <laughs> never know what to put in them, but it's just such a nice thing to do. Oh. Okay, so I've stitch pins that and now I'm going to stitch it so I'm actually going to stitch I'm going to start here I'm going to taper that in and I'm going to follow all the shape around so it's shaped here like a proper foot shape so make sure you get that shape right so we're going to come in here stitch all the way around the whole thing and I'm just going to leave an opening so I'm going to leave an opening here because this is my lining fabric okay. so I want it about here I don't want it towards the top I'm going to have it about there sometimes if because we've all done that thing where we get so excited and we just carry on stitching. And Even on really tiny stop. projects, yeah. I still end up still sewing all around. So yeah, in. double pinning is a double good... Double pin is what I always try and do, just to kind of remember us, to remind us to stop and start there. Okay, so I'm just going to whiz around to this then, so bear with me while I do that. I'm doing it in a contrast thread, just so that hopefully you can see it a bit more at home but obviously when you make this you would um, use your own matching thread to go with it. What sort of fabrics do you think are going to be best for this then? Do you, uh, is that like um, a cotton canvas? Yeah this one is but I mean we've done them in velvet. Um, you could even do some patchwork if you wanted to couldn't you? Make your own patchwork fabric yeah. and do it. You can do it in a regular cotton as well you could put wadding behind it. Oh yeah and do some quilting. Yeah. I'm just going to come and that's the nice thing with all of these projects is to say they're brilliant for um, scrap busting. So what you, bits that you have left from one project are going to be perfect to go on to the next one. Maybe the pockets on Santa or the hanging Christmas tree. Um, keep all your scrap bits of fabric. I know, I know we usually do, but it's definitely worth it with this collection. Yeah, even though these are you know big cuts of fabric, you could. There's nothing stopping you from using smaller cuts and piecing them together and making quite a scrappy one. Yeah, yeah, that'd be lovely. You know, add bows to them. And, yeah. You can even do mini ones for the Christmas table that you can put some um, knives and forks in or hang them on the back of the chair. Oh, that's a good idea. So, yeah, I'm, I'm sure people know at home how to, if, if you wanted to scale up and down, you can just do it on your, your printer, can't you? Yeah. So that's an option with the USB. I, I'm intrigued, Ben. I'm intrigued to know which is the most popular option. Are people going for paper patterns or USB? It's the first time I've seen the USB patterns. That's a really good idea, isn't it? Really, really good idea. 
Yeah, USB is in the lead. Mm -hmm. I suppose, look, with the saving that you're making as well, you're still getting your freebie pattern as well. Don't forget, it isn't just the stocking. You're also getting the sack, you're getting the elf, you're getting the mantelpiece pattern, you're getting the big stocking. You're also getting the cushion, which is lovely. Um, you're also getting the extra large Santa advent calendar, which is amazing. If you had to purchase something like that in a shop, I mean, they're really expensive. We've got a lovely Christmas shop near us. It opens every year, just Christmas. And um, items like this, they're, they're really, really expensive. Make your own. Uh, then you've also got your, your hanging Christmas tree freebie as well. So six patterns in total. And the really nice thing when you're making your own is because you're making memories, you're making family heirlooms. These really are the things, you know, that advent calendar, you know, it's, it's a great big one that I hang on the back of a door and it's the kind of thing that you just bring out bring every out year, year. year. I remember mum making it, I remember grandma making it for yeah. me and you just bring it out yeah. and just creating those memories which is really what Christmas is all about isn't Absolutely. it? It's making something a bit different and a bit, a bit unique. You could make the elf with you know, granddad's shirt, you could cut yeah. up and make it into his dungarees and things like yeah. that and just make it really personal to you. If you've got a machine you can embroider on the front of his dungarees, the name or on the feet and just really enjoy that time of taking time and making some special decorations. Yes, yeah, absolutely. Oh, that's a lovely idea. Right, um, so. so I've stitched all the way around uh -huh. and then we just need to just go like this and just clip the curves always whenever you've got those concave curves. I've done a few on there already. And then, that is it, we can turn it through. Put your hand in, right to the bottom. So if you wanted wadding on that, you could just put some wadding behind. Put it behind your main fabric so okay the easiest way and then you're going to get your nice cuff i think you just love that jingle bell on the oh place. i know it's yeah like... they're saying they love it in the gallery <laughs> <laughs> i Surprise. promise they're saying they love it in the gallery <laughs> take that pin out now okay so you would then just stitch that close so that's our opening that we've got left here mm -hmm. so and do you do that on the machine yeah, yeah you can do it on the machine it's on the I mean, lining, if you isn't particularly it? want to um to do it by hand you can but obviously if we bought that in a shop they wouldn't sit doing it by hand they would also be doing it on a machine it is really important to do that i had one year someone make one and they forgot to do that and then of course the, their main present got stuck in between the lining mm -hmm. and the stocking mm -hmm. so they didn't ever find their main present in <laughs> the afternoon right so then we're going to push that one back inside you would press it at every stage so we're going to really pull that lining right down to the bottom that's why it's good to clip the curves, isn't it? So it gives it that lovely crisp seam. Yeah, any time you've got curves like that, it's really, really important that you clip them. And you'll see that they don't pull out very well otherwise. So what I'm doing is just going to fold it so that we've got the cuff at the top because I just think that gives it a really nice finish. And that's where you can add your embroidery or your Christmas ribbon or rick rack or pom-poms. Okay, give that a nice press. So there was only two parts in the stitching to do that. We'd stitch along the top and then we stitch all the way around the whole thing and turned it through. I mean, that is so, a great beginner's project, isn't it? It really is. So, so quick. Anyone can do that. It's the kind of thing you get the children making their own yeah. stockings or grandchildren for Christmas. They love it. My Absolutely. son made one. He, he, he doesn't really sew, but one year he was like, yeah. I want to do it. And every year we get it out and it's so lovely. He's like, every time, he's like, oh, yeah. it's so nice. If so, you yeah. do just want the Christmas stocking on its own, by the way, it is available £9.50. And then absolutely Absolutely, personalise it, add names on it. If you've got an embroidery machine, embroider onto it. You can really make it your own. I love these little pom poms as well. You could put a trim of pom poms along the the, the cuff, couldn't you? Oh, that would be nice. I bet there's some really lovely um, personalised ideas. But if you do want your Christmas stocking pattern, it's just nine pound fifty, and full size templates are included. You can make them for all of your family, lots of friends as well, and upscale them, downscale them for, yeah, I'm, I'm imagining all the little pets having ones with their names on as well. Cute. Right, so that's the the, um, the stocking. Are we gonna have a look at the sack then? Do a little bit of a plique? Yeah. This does also come as part of the bundle, but remember the sack is also available individually. So what plique templates do we get in here? You do we get, get all of the All of the templates. Brilliant. I mean, you might see the one in front of you, we, so 
that's the reindeer cushion. We've actually taken the same template and put it onto the sack as well. So if you're buying it as a collection, it gives you the chance to mix and match. Maybe you're yeah. making it for two children or two grandchildren. You they're can like mix the same and match. But different. Them. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> you, they've got to be the same size, though, otherwise they'll complain. So this way you've got the same size. You're just swapping the design on the front. So whichever one you kind of prefer. And the same with the cushion, because it's lovely to have yeah. some nice home decor cushions to get out. As oh, well absolutely. At oh, I change everything at Christmas. I change <laughs> even, you know, like the spoon rest by your kettle. <laughs> I've got a Christmas one. Aww. I've got Christmas cushions. I've got everything. Yeah. Oh, I love it's so digital. nice to do it. It is. I can't wait. But and you have to start early. It may seem like, you know, crazy starting no? in September, but it's going to come. We're going to blink. And then there's nothing worse than making your decorations at the last minute. You no. want to do it and enjoy it and gift it to your family and friends yeah. to have around. So, yes, yeah, so you're going to get all the templates to kind of do this fun sack for yourselves. Amazing. So again, inside you get all of your templates which are full size, whether you're going for your USB option of getting all of them, um, getting the paper option of all of them, or just the applique stack, uh, sack uh, pattern on its own. Absolutely go for it. It's just £9.50. Do you need a pressing board? I was just trying to see if there there's one. That would be fine. Yeah, fine. Thank you. <laughs> um, now, do I need to get some Bonderweb? Is this Bonderweb down? Yes. So we will use some Bonderweb on this. It's the best way to do it, particularly when you've got those small little pieces. Bonderweb is really cheap and it's the kind of thing that's great to have in your sewing yeah. box so just get a few meters oh we do it by the roll oh, do you? we do yeah. the five meter rolls <laughs> i think before we've offered was it the 10 meter roll or something stupid we had a massive roller bond web so if you've got some in your stash and another oh, one yes. this is a really good stash built uh, buster isn't it yeah it really is so you can just use this and it is like having a it's the type of thing to say that we would teach on on like a course and we did it so mm -hmm. you're going to learn through this if you're new to sewing you're going to learn lots of different techniques or even if you've been quilting for a while but not necessarily done you know applique or cushions or drawstring for a while it's a nice little refresher um because it you'll cover lots of different processes when you're doing this so we saw earlier with the sack you're going to get the full scale pattern and it's got all the templates on there so you can then work from those i'm going to go over the using bond web just in case you kind of haven't done mm -hmm. it before so to do that all you do you take your templates that come included in the pattern like this and then for each bit you want to draw around it so say we're doing the mittens here now are you drawing on the smooth or the glue side on the shiny smooth side yeah. sorry the smooth side not the shiny side the smooth <laughs> side that is really important it does explain all of this in the instructions also if you have any questions or anything like that just go to annasewingcat.com we've done blogs on how to use bond web how to work with different fabrics there's a blog there how to print the patterns everything oh, that you can think of to kind of help you um so alanstonecat.com all those details will be there for you now one thing that is important is don't do this with a friction pen don't do this with a heat erasable pen yes that's an ordinary biro <laughs> isn't it it's just a regular biro yeah just draw around i've done that before where as soon as i've gone to heat the bundle oh, it's no. just all erased yeah, yeah. Oh. oh that's frustrating <laughs> kind of thing that you only do it once yeah don't you? <laughs> um but yeah, so I've just done one of the mittens, for example. So just draw it out. Don't worry if you're, some people are like, oh, I can't draw, I can't trace. It doesn't matter if it's not dead straight. They're all gonna be a little bit different, a little mittens. bit quirky. They don't have to be dead straight and flat. I think it's fun when they're kind of not. Now, are you cutting exactly on the line here? No, I'm gonna leave a gap around it. So just a few millimeters around it is kind of all you need, really. Um, but just so then you can use the make the most out of your bond web really so you're cutting around but leaving a gap that's really important that you do that because then you're going to take your chosen fabric this is the fun part it's like a jigsaw puzzle so you've got loads of different fabrics um and have fun laying them all out i mean my workshop looked like an absolute mess by the time i finished but it was a fun mess <laughs> no, it didn't clear up but it was fun doing so i've done one and now i'm going to do the other one so i'm just going to lay that onto the wrong side of my fabric so always make sure you've got the right and the wrong side together double check this because you don't want it stuck to the bottom of your iron <laughs> Oh, and not on when you're using the fancy Alisso iron. No, <laughs> no pressure, but this is our fancy iron. <laughs> we don't want to bond away on it. Um, yeah, anyway, then that is iron on. Yeah, and that's it's not going to go anywhere. straight away. It is because the reason we're using the bonder web is that if we tried to pin these, it's just going to move and bonder webs will make us stick it down and make our lives a lot easier. So when you've done that, now you want to cut around the exact shape. So we're just going to work our way around, cut in every bit. So have some nice sharp scissors. Cut around again. If you wobble off the lines like I have, it really won't matter too much. 
and then keep all those spare bits to one side. It's going to be like a jigsaw puzzle. Mm -hmm. Actually, I might just lay that on top. And do it all. So we've got lots of little bits here. Barbara says, good morning, Vixen, everybody. I'm watching from a very sunny Croatia. <gasps> oh, lucky oh, you. <laughs> Barbara, I'm very jealous. <laughs> they said, it's all right for some, isn't it? Oh, <gasps> well, thanks for taking the time to stop and watch. Yeah, thank Appreciate you. Appreciate that. Thank you. <laughs> Um, what I'm going to do now is start piecing it together. So this is the fun bit. It's like a jigsaw puzzle. Um, we're going to take some ribbon to make a little washing line. Have you given us a, a little guide of where to put things? I suppose it's up to you how you want to position it's exactly it. exactly but... up to you, but the guide is on the photograph, so you're always yeah. going to have your colour photo showing you how we've done it, but yeah, by all means play. So we've just put Santa's clothes above it, but you can do whatever you want to do on yours. Have fun. But yeah, or some people, sometimes the first time, I understand it, you're a bit nervous, so you might want to copy it exactly. So what I'm doing is first putting the, um, the ribbon on. Don't forget, all the patterns on the USB are the, exactly the same patterns as what we're showing today. Someone's asked about the, what patterns are on the USB. So you've got the present stack. You've also got, I wonder whether, Becky, would you mind coming really close to the front of this? It comes with a little engraved um, uh, uh, part on the USB as well, so you can see exactly what. Because I've got a drawer that's got a few USBs in and I don't really know what's on them. Whereas this is really, really clear to see. So you've got the sack, you've also got the cushion, you've got the Christmas elf. You've got the stocking. Oh, you've got the mantelpiece runner. You've also got your uh, Santa advent calendar, which is huge. Look at the size of that door. Look, that's not a mini door. That's a normal door and a huge Santa. And then you've also got your free hanging decoration as well. All of that for £38.99. Patterns are on there. Print them off. Any questions that you've got, of course, get them in. Um, get them in whilst we've got Tracy here. Yeah, please do. Um, so I've pinned the ribbon on here and I'm just going to stitch through the ribbon to hold it into place. I've also, the, the little label here, if you've got an embroidery machine, fantastic. So we did have the one on Hobby Maker earlier. If you've got that, that is great. You can then write on there. Um, but also the Brother Machine, the one that I'm working on here, the FS250, it does do lettering too. So you could always write something here, your family name, you know, the Smith Family Christmas or something like that. I've just used a little bit of ribbon here for this one. So I've just cut that off nice. and I'm put that in the centre. So now you've just, uh, you've just bonded web those down, but you do need to stitch them, don't you? Especially yeah. because you're going to be using the sack, aren't you, over years and years? Exactly. And you don't want the bits to fall off. So yeah, do stitch that. But that's the nice thing. I mean, some people like to just do it by hand, which is brilliant. Um, my hand sewn skills are not fantastic, so I tend to do mine on the sewing machine. Um, and certainly if you're trying to do it for speed. But um, this is the kind of project that you really could get the children involved in. Maybe you're making a sack for granddad or something like that. It would be lovely to, to do. Um, and just use all your scrap bits of fabric up. Absolutely. Oh, there's nothing stopping you. I mean, you've got solid fabrics there for the fireplace, but you could really hunt in your stash and find some of your favourites. Imagine doing like a William Morris quilting weight fabrics with lovely strawberry thief oh, fireplace. That would be or, nice. Yeah, yeah, I mean, you could go to town with all your favourite yeah. fabrics, couldn't you? Oh, if anyone does that, please can send me a photo. Like yeah. a really pretty one, because we tend to stick within our colour ranges a little bit, yeah. don't we? And we've kind of done the Scandi theme, but it'd be really yeah. nice to see some others. So yeah, if anyone's going for a different theme, I'd love to see some photos, so do send them in. Um, so yeah, I've done the ribbon very roughly, but let's start putting some pieces on. So this is Santa's vest. So to get the bonder web off the back now, so it's stuck on, we've cut around it like we did earlier. Best way is just to score it with a pin and then you can go in and you can take off those bits like that. And then you can start having fun and building oh. it up. He's got some dungarees. I like the fussy cutting, that looks great, doesn't <laughs> it? I was like, oh. Well, in the pattern, we've actually allowed for a uh, Christmas pudding, and that's all designed on there as well, but I just thought for speed today. And that's, that's the nice part, is that you can play around with that. Oh, yeah, well, you've added buttons. Yeah. You could add, yeah, lots of different embellishments. Yeah, we've got some wooden buttons that we normally just put on here. These are Santa's Y fronts. And we're going to put, <laughs> let's put some little white felt going across there. So I've actually got sticky back felt here. Um, just because they're small pieces, so it'll make it a bit easier. I do love projects like this that are just really sort of creative and crafty, aren't they? Yeah, you can't help but smile when you're yeah. doing it. It's really fun. So it's just like a doing a little jigsaw puzzle, really. So I'm going to cut those. So this, these will just stick because they're sticky back felt. 
like you said, another nice one that you could do with kids as well and say, right, where do you want these? And then obviously you use the iron and press them down, but everybody gets a chance to do their own little yeah. picture, their own little scene. So we'll hang those on there. We've got some mittens. Take those off. So we're just getting rid of all the bonds of web and then I'll iron it. And then um, you can stitch around it. So stitch around it, say either by hand, you could do on the machine just a straight stitch like we've done, or you could do like a blanket stitch. If you like doing blanket stitch, there's a really nice one on the machine that you could do actually. There's some great stitches on that machine, isn't there? If you've got any questions about the brother, brother machine, it's worth getting them in today because Tracy, you you know a lot about these <laughs> machines, don't you? You work on these machines. Yeah, all the time. So yeah, any question, just give us a shout. Thank you, because there's a lot of people who've got them in their basket. If you've got them in your basket and you're wanting to check out, bear with us. I know that we're just trying to get our stock allocated over from our, our sister show. Um, all of our allocation sold out this morning. Um, Fab Demos, what is the sewing machine that Tracy is using? Margaret, it's the Brother FS250. FS250. It's a really nice machine because you've got lettering with it, you've got 250 stitches there in total with that machine. Um, so you can then personalise your work. It's got a needle threader, it's got a drop in bobbin, it's got loads of feet um, which are great. Um, comes with all your standard feet but then it's also got another seven extra feet um, that are great for kind of dressmaking if you're doing dressmaking. Um, so you put back at um, 11 o'clock when we do some dressmaking demos as well. Are you going to be using the same machine for your dressmaking yeah. then? That's it's brilliant. go-to machine. Poor thing. It's like, oh, in the car again. So well, <laughs> I can't believe it's actually our most affordable machine. Um, I've got a friend actually, Jazz, who's going to be watching at 12 o'clock because we are going to do uh, a, a quite an in intensive look at it at 12 o'clock um, and throughout the show in fact with Tracy so I did tell my friend Jazz to watch it because she's looking for a sewing machine she says I don't have much space I want one that's portable one that I'm going to be able to put away but one that I'm still going to get the results if I'm trying a bit of all sorts if I'm trying a bit of dressmaking trying a bit of quilting um, and I said, this is the machine you've got to get. It's also yeah. got monogramming, which is really cute to be able to personalise the little names, isn't it? Yeah, it really is. And really easy to use too. Okay, so we kind of, you can see it starts building up like this. It's just the good, fun part. So yeah, as you say, we fussy cut it on the, on the vest. But if you want to, um, you know, there's a little Christmas pudding template that you Aww. can use to go on there. So I'm just putting a little bit more felt at the top here. Like that. It's worth it if you've opened your order and purchased your patterns. Have a look on the website. Literally type in Christmas on the website. I bet there's lots of lovely fabrics that you could get, um, especially whilst you've already opened your order and paid your post and packaging. Definitely. There's some really nice Scandi ones on there. Um, you could get some metallic thread, couldn't you? Yeah, that would be really lovely, actually. Okay, so then you would stitch all around it. Just so I can get the construction done, I'm going to leave that. I mean, you will get the idea you'll be, be able to stitch around um, all of those little pieces say so either by hand or on the machine you straight stitch use a contrast if you like if i grab the sample again you'll see that we've used the contrast white thread um oh my on God. our sample we'll just could you put it on your own right oh yeah that's it that's perfect <laughs> there you. we go so we've used a contrast white thread here on those and that's a little christmas pudding that is included we put a little hat oh, with a pom pom cute. on the top. So it's a chance to kind of raid your haberdashery box. Yeah, absolutely. And, and you've just done a straight bits. stitch round. I suppose you could have got a, a great array of applique stitches on the machine. Yeah, as there's well. a really nice blanket stitch on there. There's a triple stitch on the machine, which is brilliant for it. Or to say, or do it by hand. Yeah. You know, each one of the family sit there and, and do some bits. Um, but yeah, and we can use that for lots of the others. So we've got bells that are here, we've got buttons on there, we've got beads for the eye of the Santa. So, and he's got bells and shoes and ribbon as well. So it's a really fun chance to raid that haberdashery box. All these little bits don't cost that much money, no. but it's really nice to have projects oh, we all that you can that use stash. them on. Yeah. yeah, and you never know when you're going to use them, but these kind of projects really mean that you can make the most of it. So that was that one. Let me just show you when I've got it here. The, so you can see we're building up the reindeer one. We got halfway through him before as well so you can see him like that and then he'll just need a couple of buttons for his eyes you can have him looking to the side look into the middle or looking cross sides into the middle if you like but yeah you're gonna get those templates and then you would stitch around that 
And when you've got those templates, I mean, you're going to be able to use them for like for all lots of projects. You could put him on the front of an apron, couldn't you? Yeah, exactly. And the really nice thing is that you don't have to spend a lot of money on fabrics. Then this is a base cheap fabric that we use quite a lot um, because we don't need any fancy fabrics. We're making the fabric yeah. ourselves by That's putting nice. the design on there. Yeah, so it's like a linen based fabric. Um, yeah, get so yourself some Osnaberg or, or Calico even. Exactly. Yeah, and you're cotton. making it interesting by yeah. doing it on that fabric you don't need to have spend a lot of money on expensive fabrics well have you used cord for the face of the yeah yeah we do we a needle cord yeah so yeah mm -hmm. don't just stick to your cord to fabrics that's a really lovely texture as well to the cushion using yeah. cord and then using the ribbon again for his mittens that's so cute isn't it so so cute really cute um, right, so what we're going to do, I've left my line in somewhere, so we'll just, I'll just talk you through the next bit. So what you would do then on here is you've got these little tabs. Now on your pattern it shows you how to do that, um, exactly where to snip it. So you snip it one centimetre and you fold that back and I've pressed the line. This is where our drawstring is going to go to make your sack. Right. And we've got the same on this one. Okay. So I'm going to just stitch those that little tab back. So I'm going to stitch close to the edge on there. Put that one down. Is this a lengthened stitch? Or um, not? I'm doing that just for speed. Okay. But you would normally just use your normal like 2.5 yeah. yeah. stitch length, yeah, for everything. And do your forwards and backwards, reversing to lock your stitch in at the okay. beginning and the same at the end. So then we're going to do the same on the back one. We want it to go that way. The nice thing with this fabric is that actually there's no right and wrong side of it. But if there was, you need to make sure that you're folding your tabs because we want the raw edge is going to be onto the back of the fabric. Right. And the raw edge there onto the back of the fabric too. So I'm then going to stitch down there. Is that all marked on the pattern? It is, yeah. All marked on and say so step by step, photographic instructions as well. And those instructions are exactly the same, whether you're... Um, buying the printed patterns or whether you're buying it on a USB as well, you're going to have those same instructions. USB is definitely in the lead. Those of you that have got your USB in um, your basket, be careful because there's a lot of people now checking out. Um, you've got six projects all in there that you're going to be able to use time and time again. Come back to your USB, even in years to come, if you've, you've made um, you know, in one colour decor, then you've got friends who've got a specific colour or, um, like you say, as memory cushions or memory stockings, that would be really, really lovely to do in, in old shirts or um, however you want to do it. Yeah, exactly. And that's the nice thing, you've got the, all those, however you're buying the collection. Mm -hmm. So we're up to collection 11, I think, now. Um, Oh, buy wow. them, keep them, and then keep using them. Do so, Tracy, where are you based? Where's so in, Owl of the Sewing Cat based? Where I live in East Sussex, live in Bexhill on the coast, right yeah. on the coast, and then our office is at Vine Hall, so it's like 20 minutes kind of inland, yeah, in the countryside. Oh, it's, nice. Yeah, we rent an office on a lovely converted farmhouse, so it's really oh, beautiful. I think we're in, we might be in, I think we're in the cow shed, what was a cow shed yeah. once upon a time. <laughs> it doesn't sound very nice, but he's made it really lovely, and there's lots of small business around yeah. there, so we just work from there, so that's great. Yeah, so in sunny Sussex. <laughs> So I'm going to put the two right sides together now. Okay. okay. So you'll stitch around all your pieces and put the right sides together. And I'm going to stitch around all sides. Always do your forwards and backwards at the beginning. So, and the nice thing with this one is you can see that um, if you did lose any parts of your pattern, if you've got the USB, you can print it over and over again. If you're buying the full scale patterns, Obviously then you don't have any printing to do at all, you take it out, it's heavyweight paper and it's ready for you to use and if you're doing it that way, don't cut out your templates, just keep them as they are on the paper um, and that way it hopefully avoids you losing kind of pieces and you're ready to go there and you can use those templates, draw them straight out onto the bonder web and away you go. And have 
fun, most importantly. Oh, and exactly. I think that's what's really nice about doing projects like this now. I think it's nice to be able to do them and then, you know, you enjoy all your festivities, you put your decorations out at the beginning of, of December and they will look so beautiful. Enjoy it. They are really good, fun projects to do, aren't they? Yeah, and it's really nice to have something different that's not on the high street, that no one else is going to have yeah. it in their house. Yeah. It's a really lovely thing. Um, to do and just enjoy the season, the build up to it. Rather than getting stressed and going out and about shopping for decorations, just make your own, just raid your haberdashery box, raid all your scrap fabrics. I like you said, it is nice then you could enjoy. bring them out year after year and see your sewing journey as well. If you're just starting sewing, it's nice to then bring them back out and say, oh, remember when I made this and this was the first one I made. I've made 30 more now. It's really nice to be able to see your journey as well. You should date these as well, shouldn't you? The back yeah. of your cushion or your sack, you should put uh, a little date and personalise them. Yeah, definitely. And get the family involved in it, even if it's just choosing the colours. Yeah. Or, or, and gift, gifting is lovely to do with them as well. If you're going to someone's house for dinner, how nice, make them like a mantelpiece one to put, or a cushion that they can put in the front room. It's yeah. really lovely, I think. <laughs> So when I stitch this, what I did do is I stopped when I've got to the snips here. Okay, so you're going to stitch down from the top down to here. Do your forwards and backwards knot and then start again from here. So I have used the black thread just so that you can see it, but use a matching one at home. Now I can't find my lining. <laughs> Sorry about that. <laughs> Not sure I'll find it in a minute when I'm finished. Probably. But what you'll do is exactly the same with the lining. So you can do the same thing. But with the lining, do leave an opening on the bottom, okay? So leave a, the bottom edge open. And then you would turn this one the right way around. So we're turning it right side out now. So it's a nice big sack, this one, so you can get loads in it. But there's no reason why you can't scale it down. And oh do no, it's a good size, isn't it? That's a lovely size sack. Yeah. And you can press it all. Um, so these are the lines where our drawstring channel is going to go. So I've pressed those, but you could mark it with a um, vanishing marker pen yeah. or a, some tailor's chalk or just pens if you like. So you would have the line in, which is going to be exactly the same, and you simply, the, it's going to have the same channel on the side as well, because that's now neatened like that. And you put one on top of the other, okay? When they're mm -hmm. on top of the other, so with the right sides always together, but it is all written in the instructions, then you're going to stitch around the top edge to join the two together, mm -hmm. which is going to be very kind of similar to what we did on the stocking. So put the two together, right sides facing, stitch around the top, and turn it through, okay? pop your lining back inside just like we saw with the stocking so you turn that onto the inside and then you simply do parallel lines of stitching here for your drawstring it's a really lovely sort of workshop skill builder actually having the collection of patterns you're learning lots of different techniques just looking around with the sort of toy making applique yeah. you've got you know for anybody who's starting sewing i love i just love that advent calendar it's brilliant <laughs> um the what sort of skills are we going to be using then in the uh in the, the advent calendar so on here we've put uh, transfers for the numbers yeah. you could cut them in felt you could do it with embroidery if you've got embroidery um you're going to learn how to make the pocket get those nice and even and just about doing the faces really on these uh, they could do with a bit more blusher on their cheeks now I think because it's getting towards winter so yeah. you've got a little bit of blusher on their cheek but they're fun to do so yeah you've got some toy making you've got applique you've got this which is a more practical project but mm -hmm. it really looks lovely over yeah, a nice fireplace it does we should um, hold that up really yeah. so you can see so you that you kind of have that over your fireplace and then the end <laughs> whilst we trash the set <laughs> so we go so then the ends would then fall over naturally like that as well. So it comes out every year in my house. Doesn't that look well. gorgeous? I it, love this. And we just do that with some fresh leaves and branches. We get some holly and stuff and put that over the top and a few candles. And it just looks really, really lovely. And then are these templates or are they measurements? They're templates. Templates. Everything has got a template. They're, okay. I don't give measurements for anything because yeah. that way I think, well, there's less chance of error. Yeah. I'm sure I'm dyslexic. So I okay. quite often have problems doing that. And I don't yeah. want to waste my fabric. Yeah. So with all of that, even the sack, I could easily just write the measurements. But no, we give yeah. you full scale. Brilliant. A0, A1 whatever the size is the same with the Santa there's no cut a triangle like this or cut a square like that uh -huh. it's put your template on the fabric and cut around it just so that there's less 
chance of error. I think you're going to use that all year round for, for different fabrics. Oh, yeah. Birthdays. Exactly. You do it in different colours for summer, birthdays. And then have a summer table bunting. run out to match as well. Yeah. We do it on the, so you've got a tablecloth and then we just have those all the way around the edge. But it's just the proportions that work really well on here and then we've used three different mm -hmm. fabrics to run through it. I mean, I made that one, this particular sample, quite a while ago now, but I find it doesn't date. I drag out every single Christmas and just jazz up my fireplace. Oh, you know, these traditional colours, you cannot go wrong. When I think you're looking at your reds, your greens, I know a lot of people love their reds, greens and golds, but imagine then this Halloween, yeah. in your Halloween colours oh, as well. Oh, that would be fun, wouldn't it? Yeah. We could do so it in Halloween spiders hanging up yeah. there. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So there's lots of these patterns, actually, that have got transferable skills that I think yes. you're going to use all year round, not just for Christmas. Exactly. And the cushions are really easy envelope cushions. So if you're mm -hmm. new to sewing or you're teaching someone to sew, that's a fantastic starting place. And you've got the templates that you're going to get here, but you could easily make your own templates um, for different, if you were going to do it with an Easter bunny or something like that. But what you've got are really good set of projects, like you say, that are going to cover a whole range. This drawstring bag, I mean, this is how we made scrub bags. And yeah. you know, when we were doing it back then, it was a really quick and easy way for us to kind of make yeah. loads of those. The Christmas tree, hanging decoration, something that you could do by hand. So maybe you're getting the children to do that. So if you buy in the collection, you get that little one yeah. as well for free. It's just really nice hanging off a door or kitchen cupboard or on your front door if you don't want anything that's going to you know, yeah. deteriorate. Something like that is lovely. We made it in bright colours before and that was lovely, like bright pinks and reds and greens. Oh, oh gorgeous. Sounds weird like they were clash, but actually it just no, really worked, it worked just to give it that different look and put silver bells on it then. Oh, so it's all exactly. about using the fabrics, using the haberdashery that you've got or that we all want to buy. The little trims, the bells and the ribbons and all that, they're not expensive to buy. No. And these you can use. And really like effective. Yeah. Absolutely love it. Thank you very, very much. We'll have a bit of a recap of all the patterns, don't worry. But just so you know, as you said, the Owl and the Sewing Cat isn't just sort of craft mates like this. You're also uh, very, very, very successful with uh, all of your dressmaking patterns as yes. well. <laughs> now, did you say it's your first, fourth trip to Sewing Street? Fourth trip, I believe, yes. And have you done so, um, dressmaking shows here yes. before? Yes. So what patterns are we going to be looking at in the so 11 o'clock hour? Uh, today, the one that I'm wearing, we're going to be doing Love that. so then we've got a it's long like a kimono jacket. isn't it, it is, yeah but it's a tie front one so it's really nice simple but i would wear this going into evening now yeah. i'd wear that out for yeah. christmas lunch so we're looking at styles that are really easy to make but are transferable from summer to winter as well so we've got a whole array really nice collection and lots of demos as well that we've been doing at 11 o'clock oh well there's uh, lots of patterns to bring you isn't there i think we've actually scheduled the whole range <laughs> for you to see so there's lots and lots of choice so definitely stay tuned for the 11 o'clock show thank you very very much thank you. right so just to remind you this is your probably the most well it is the most affordable way of getting all of those patterns you're getting all six patterns remember you're paying for five you're getting one for free i know you're paying for six get one get an extra one so you get seven oh, there pay you go for, pay for six and you even save money on those if you bought the six individually they will cost more than that collection price so you're saving money anyway on the six, plus you get the bonus extra one, so you get seven. Oh, there you go. Sorry, <laughs> graphics roll. You get seven included, 38.99. Of course, you've got the um, elf, you've got the cushion, you've got the sack, you've also got the advent calendar, you've got the mantelpiece, you've got the, the stocking, and also bonus Christmas tree hanging decoration as well, all for 38.99. And having them on your USB, one, space saving, but also two, it means that you can print them out in a couple of years if you want you can print them out at your convenience you can um, use them as and when you need them as and when you want them um, and come back to them if you're missing a piece it, it, you can print just that one part off if you want you can upscale them you can decrease the size of them if you want make little stockings there's so many different ideas if you're getting your usb port and this can literally just go straight into your usb port in your computer it will load up you've done all of the files all separately as well tracy haven't yeah. you yeah yep so all you clear. can print the instructions or keep them on there whatever you want to do and you can print the pattern as many times as you want amazing mm -hmm. amazing thank you very very much so that's your usb option we do also have the paper option which remember come in this really really lovely packet so you can keep those patterns nice and safe you've got your sack there big sack you've also got your christmas elf you've got your mantelpiece runner 
you're also getting your stocking pattern you're also getting your Christmas cushion you're getting your huge Christmas advent calendar and you're getting your free Christmas hanging decorations so it was again the graphics are wrong you're getting seven patterns for $49.99 absolutely brilliant value for money and it's all coming to you under one post in packaging even though that is a way you see the post <laughs> on its way to you all of the templates are full size all of the patterns have full size templates um, no measurements it's all done by templates which makes it a lot easier for us doesn't it um, definitely make the most of those have a check out check out during the next few minutes we Fingers crossed are going to get that Brother Machine loaded in ASAP as well, so keep your eyes peeled for that on the website. They're working on getting more of those for us, so stay where you are. We're going to see Tracy at 11 o'clock, but joining me next, I've got lovely Becky from Crafters Companion, and we have a Crafters Companion launch. World launch. Not been on HSN, not even been on Crafters TV. We're getting the first look at brand new Crafters Companion products, so stay where you are. Becky's going to be joining us right after this. Hello, my name is Mark Francis and I'm a guest designer right here on Sewing Street. Uh, you may have seen me before. I don't know whether anybody has maybe tuned into the Great British Sewing Bee, but I was there for Series 6 reaching the quarterfinals. I'm now here on Sewing Street on your screens bringing you my very favourite sewing patterns for men, women and children. Uh, for dressmaking and tailoring. Uh, so you can fill your stash and your collection with my very favorite fabrics and sewing patterns, including my very own range uh, right here, exclusive to Sewing Street. Something you may not know about me, now let's have a think. A lot of this has been covered on the Sewing Bee, but uh, I am a Blue Peter badge winner. I know, I know. I haven't worn it in a while. Slightly too old to get into Warwick Castle these days wearing it. But you never, I don't know, do I pass for 16? I don't know, possibly not anymore. Um, and I'm also, hence the piano, uh, a pianist I've been playing since the age of seven when my school teacher at the time taught me a little under duress from my mother because he thought I would be terrible. Turned out I wasn't, but there we go. Such is life, you never know until you give it a go. <gasps> Have I just invented a new catchphrase? I don't know. You never know until you give it a go. Caption across the screen, please. Thank you very much. So do join me popping up on your screens on here on Sewing Street to bring you my very favourite sewing patterns uh, and fabrics from across the range, including my very own uh, range of sewing patterns from So Mark Francis, um, including this very Turlo shirt. Um, more to come on a regular basis, so do keep tuned for that. We have some exciting news. Sewing Street has been nominated in the Best of Craft Awards and the British Sewing Awards for 2022. We're so amazed that two years have flown since Sewing Street started and we couldn't have done it all without our Sewing Street family. Thanks to our presenters and guests for entertaining and inspiring us every day and for all of our viewers for tuning in for all the fun. We've been lucky enough to be nominated for two awards this year, which are the most loved TV shopping channel at the Best of Crafts Awards and the best sewing social media account at the British Sewing Awards. To vote, please head to our website to find out all the details you need to get involved. Thank you for your support and votes. Are you a fan of Sewing Street and Yarn Lane? Why not join our growing Facebook fans pages? Just search Sewing Street Fans and Yarn Lane TV fans on Facebook and click Join Group. It's that simple. Never miss out on the latest news and updates from our presenters and guest designers, special offers and plenty of chat with your fellow fans. Share photos of your mates, ask for advice, interact with your favourite guests and presenters and be a part of the ever-growing sewing and yarn community. See you there. Follow Sewing Street on Facebook and Instagram to keep up to date with what's coming up on the show, as well as being the first to know about our amazing offers. 
get involved with our competitions that are exclusive to social media. And pick up some top tips from us too. Sound Street have our very own app. You can now watch and shop from anywhere. Simply download the app from your app store onto your smartphone or tablet. Then log in or create an account and you're done. You can watch us live from anywhere, browse all our recently played items and pre-orders so you never miss out on any show deals and message the studio to say hello at any time. And remember, you can check out as many times as you want and only pay one PNP all day. Are you ready? I hope everybody's ready. Ben, are you ready? <laughs> because, I mean, how often do we get to say this? We have got a Crafters Companion launch. Absolutely. Like actual launch. Yep, total launch. So yep. like, this hasn't been on HSN? No, it's been nowhere. Crafters TV? No. <gasps> no. How lucky are we? <laughs> Becky, thank you. Right. So this is a really exciting launch, actually, as well, because these dies are Beautiful. They're cool, aren't they? they they're really, it, it's doing something totally different we've not done before. Um, and, okay. and they're really lovely. They, they are really quite addictive. When you start stitching them together and creating items, they are really, really great. Oh, so these are a bit different to what I've seen before, like yes. you said, because if I show you, you've got, this is one of them, you ready? You've got here these beautiful butterflies, but Becky, can you just zoom into this picture here? Because we'll have a good look once they're open. Whoa, 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 whoa. That was a good zoom. Um, <laughs> all of these little dots are actually little holes for you to stitch. Yes. Yeah. So it almost, once you cut out these pieces and die, it gives you those pre-punched holes to yeah. just do a running stitch round. Super easy to sew together. Really, really good for neat. someone that hasn't sort of done any embroidery. Great for kids. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, this is a really good, a good item to put in your basket. Oh, have crafters companion done these sort of dies no, before? No, they're new. Totally oh. new. Totally so new. So it's not even press. like, oh, these are new designs of a range that nope. we've done before. This is yep. all new. How exciting. So the butterflies, you can show us what it what, what they look like yeah. stitch as well. Here we go. What do you mean, Ben? Ben is saying I'm advising you to put it in your basket, but don't necessarily check out just yet. Okay, I'm sensing a a bundle. Oh. Okay, stay tuned. Watch this space. So this is what the uh, butterfly looks like, and look, just doing half with the wings, giving this echo effect. I bet so you had great fun playing making all these samples then as oh, the I first did. person in the world to I, do I it. I know it's quite well, I, I I would like I'd love to say I made all these samples. I haven't. <laughs> They've been made by the design team. But I, I putting together the, the actual demos, they are really, really lovely. They're gonna be great for all your little scraps of felt that you happen to have. Um you're gonna be able to sort of decorate all sorts of different things. So once we've done that little bag that you've seen over there, but we've done other things like this. <gasps> this is a really oh, lovely a rainbow one. You know, the rainbow one. You do use them for little you know, pieces of art that you might hang up and decorating quilts, all sorts of different things. Do remember that they are felt, so mm -hmm. if you're going to be washing them with ordinary cotton, they are going to you know, potentially, they might run, you just, just need to have a look at them. They're more for sort of decorative pieces on finished items, but they are absolutely gorgeous. Could I do this still with fabric? Could I cut out, have you had you, a go? You could, but it cut, it, they've been made to work with felt. felt. Okay. Yeah. Um, can I just show you, so on the back, you can see here, you've got the rainbow. But on the reverse, you haven't just got these rainbow dies. You've also got a cloud, you've got a heart, you've got a little teardrop, like for your uh, raindrop. Yep. But you could then make loads of those and make flowers. Like There's so many different options if you were just getting this. But just wait, just you wait, Ben is saying. There's the rainbow on its own. I've got the flowers, I've got the flowers. So this is a, a die set that's got, let's count how many, 12 pieces. I didn't need to count, it says it on the front. 12 piece die set, again, with all of the shapes that you need 
to create this beautiful cushion. This is your favourite, isn't it? I do love this one. Oh no, it was that one that was your favourite. Um, I, the, yeah. I think the butterflies are really, I mean, they're all lovely and they all work really well together because you can definitely put them all together. But I mean, if you look at this sample that I've got here of the flowers, <gasps> look at that. Oh, that is spectacular. That is really, really cleverly done. Oh. And it makes um, sort of embroidery, all you're doing is just straight, no, backstitch, or um, mm -hmm. you're going to be just doing um, a running stitch through there. Um, um, really really simple very easy for you to do um, and it makes it um, you know you can get some beautiful you know, results very very quickly that is so gorgeous mm. isn't it I absolutely love that so that's the floral one finally the hearts how popular is this one going to be? I find it really really difficult to cut hearts out yes me and making too. them look you know a heart shape and to have all the different sizes to have the swirls that you can then stitch it was almost like red work they would look so beautiful mm -hmm. white stitching um just 12 pounds 99 um what have you got there a little this is the, just a, oh. look this has been really lovely i only got these at the weekend because they're so new i literally picked them up <gasps> before i oh. came here so like a little um sort of needle holder yeah. you've got in here and that looks really beautiful but obviously on that packaging you saw that we've actually made them into a pin cushion yeah. um you know they're, they're decorating your quilts decorating your bags all sorts of different things absolutely oh gosh they are absolutely beautiful aren't they and remember the difference with these new dies is that you have got those little holes which we'll see in action in a bit so they pierce through and make all of those intricate little um little holes there so that you can the perforations really so then you can then stitch through it's already pre-punched for you so good okay so ben you've just told us to not potentially buy these on their own because you can get all four together um I mean, you always do this, Crafters Companion. You're so good to us. So not only are you getting all four, you're also going to get some free felt to try them out with. Ah, oh, amazing. What the, what's the felt bundle? There it is. Oh, it's one of these big ones. Next one. <gasps> yeah, so they're slightly different felt. So they're a lot, they're, it's more rigid, this felt. Yeah. And it, you can use ordinary felt, but they really lend themselves. They work really, really well with these dies. So you can feel they're just a little they're, bit more rigid. They're, they're good quality felt yeah. because a lot of the time, you know, if you purchase felt, um, you know, you know, quite cheap felt it can sort of fall apart whereas that is rigid that is solid that's going to be amazing to applique onto different products for 67 pounds and 95 pence right ben said watch the price today you're getting your special price of 50 pounds and 96 pence now obviously you're going to need the gemini machine you are yeah this is going to work with your die cutting machine um it's going to fit in all size Gemini machines, actually. If you've got yes. the little, even if you've got the little mini one. Yeah, even the little mini one. Um, you might need to, with a little tiny mini one, you might need to run it through a couple of times, depending okay. on what you're using. But yeah, they'll absolutely go through any of the machines. Amazing. £50, 96 pence. All four, brand new, hot off the press. Literally, Becky only just yep. saw them for the first time this weekend. Yep. That is how quickly our team have speeded these through to say, we want the launch of these. <laughs> we want the launch. Everybody who is loving their Gemini machine, um, here's some really great ones for you to try out. Uh, the felt pack alone is $15.99. Yeah. So if you want this, you can buy more. They're $15.99 each. Oh, this is a great price, really great price. And remember, little bags, applique onto the, the front of projects that are already made. Quilt, I love that quilt. Cushion covers, wall art. Oh, look at that. that isn't Beautiful. that pretty? That is, that's the thing from the packaging. So you can see we've just done a little tiny, almost like a, a, a table runner. Um, but you can see how effective that is with those little flowers and those butterflies. Really nice idea. And obviously with that felt, that's going to work beautifully. Oh, beautiful, isn't it? It is beautiful. Michelle just said, could you pass on my thanks to the customer service team at Crofters Companion for the help with the fabric dyes? Oh, good. So that's glad. really good, isn't yeah. it, as well? So now if you purchase one of the Gemini machines, we are going to talk about that in a moment for anybody who's saying, hang on, I've not got my Gemini machine yet. I really want these dyes, but I haven't got the machine. Yep. We've got the uh, machine coming up, the Gemini. Uh, but 
just to know that you are joining into a community not only here at Sewing Street but also the Crofters Companion community is huge. Yeah, absolutely. And that's um, one of the things you'll find that we've got Facebook groups. Um, if um, you, you have a problem with your machine, you contact customer services. Um, if they can't answer it, they contact us. Oh, um, yeah. So quite often I'm on the phone to a customer, sort yeah. of just you know, helping them out. Even if you've just got a question, you're not entirely sure how to use something, you can contact any one of us on our Facebook pages or our Instagram pages so yeah we're always available for brilliant. people to come through brilliant uh, 50 pounds and 96 pence um, the machine so yes. I know that we've talked about this every time obviously Becky's been here it's something that we normally only sort of solely do on crafters companion show so if you haven't yet seen it this is the OG the white version of the uh, the, the Gemini machine and it is 179.99 um, hang on Ben don't, don't, don't. Right, we've got to keep this under the radar because we were How? told, he's laughing in my ear. Don't laugh because we were told we weren't noticed? allowed it. <gasps> we were told we weren't allowed Fireflies Split Pay. We asked and they said we couldn't do it. This only system has gone and done it. He's even come out to say hello. Ben, that's crazy, isn't it? Okay. Oh dear. In all seriousness, we should not be doing Fireflies Split Pay because that was a special, special deal. That's crazy. <laughs> okay, you're still getting your freebies. Yep. So not only are you getting all three applique die sets, you're also, of all of your lovely animals, ooh, you're also getting your your clips as well. You're getting all of the bits and bobs that come as standard, but you can get this home by paying £35.99 today. <laughs> We just have to keep it quiet, in a way, yeah, don't we? Do. We, we so do no need one to knows. keep this on the download. So Are the office staff upstairs today? Yeah, okay, we need to, need to keep that yeah. on the download. But buy that, because that will be taken off split pay. Yeah. <laughs> oh, no. Right, enjoy. Uh, I can, Ben is saying, I can guarantee you that will be taken off after the show. <laughs> oh dear right if you want the brand new launch dies to go with your machine what an incredible incredible purchase that will be not only will you get your machine you get your brand new dies you get your free animal dies you get your quilting clips and all you're paying for your your machine today is 35.99 it's five way split pay that makes it so much more accessible doesn't it um i'm so pleased for anybody who has been i'm an anara about it you can do it definitely make the most of that machine on five by split pay um, it's also uh, all covered under our postage and packaging charge of three pounds 95 yep one p and b still all day how amazing is that uh, right so where do you want to start what are you going to show us Becky? well i'll show you how it works just turn, i'm just checking is the iron off i've switched, switched the iron off i've switched the iron off i've unplugged off. it Good. and i've switched oh, it thank off thank you Becky. I'm, I'm that organized <laughs> um, so i was going to show you what you're going to be getting inside the packaging um so that the there, there's there's plenty, these are, these are my dies, so obviously they're a little bit um, used is um, the term that I would use them for. Um, but if I give you loved. an example, pre-loved, pre yeah. So over here, you've actually got, and I might put a white, if I put that underneath there, then you'll be able to see that a little bit better. Um, you're gonna be getting these two dies. So each of these flowers have an outer die, and they also have this perforated die. And this is what's going to create those little holes in order for you to stitch through them. So we're gonna get two of those in two different sizes just down here so outer die and inner die you'll also be getting some um, little leaf dies they're going to cut the actual leaf shape but you'll also be getting this die here which looks a little bit strange um, but actually it's going to create the stem so you just need to put that through your machine it will create all those little perforations and then you just cut around the edge so you can make that stem as thick or as thin as you like and then of course you've got these other little dies now these are our uh, multimedia dies so they're, they're, they're made to cut through fabric they will also cut through paper if you want to so of course if you want wanted to do you're doing paper crafting you could run th these through the machine you could stitch through the paper 
yeah. uh, or the card and create the same kind of effect but in paper, paper. if that's what oh. you wanted to do but they have been created they're thicker dye so if you, you see can tell the difference can't yeah. you, when you look at them you've got they're generally a different color but they've mm. also got they're also slightly deeper um, so they they're not sharp so I can push my finger against these they're not gonna hurt me and um, but they just have like a little lip on them and that's gonna be when you run them through the machine that is what cuts the actual fabric mm -hmm. um, so they're very very simple to use they're not going to hurt anybody they're great for kids to use because there's no dangerous sharp bits to them so what we're going to start off with is we're going to we're going to use the big ones I think um, so we'll take this one first of all and I'm using my Gemini plates so um, with your Gemini you will automatically get a set of plates and we've also shown you in the past some fabric plates but you don't need those in order to use these particular dies so with the Gemini you get two clear plates which are these obviously your ones will look nice and clear and not like ours that we've been using for ages you'll get a magnetic shim you get an embossing folder which is kind of a rubbery self kind of silicon mat which I haven't got here you've got this metal shim and then you've got this frosted plastic shim now what we're going to do is we're going to put this one away because we don't need this at all when we're doing anything with fabric and we're going to start off with a clear and your, me your metal shim and I'm just going to put those to one side now I'm going to take my um, die and also my uh, felt. Now this is the felt that we've got on the show today which is much thicker um, than normal felt. It's more rigid um, and it really lends itself to this kind of crafting but of course you can use any other felt that you may have anyway. And what we're going to do is when we put our felt down we're going to do two layers. Is there a particular way that you need to put the die? Yeah you want the die facing down so you want that sharp edge which isn't sharp, that, that li slightly Lift. lifted edge um, facing down. So you've got this flat edge here and you want that cutting into the metal plate um, because that's where that's going to be what creates that cut. And then we're also going to lay this one in the middle. And it just takes a little bit of time just to make sure you've got that in the right place because you want that sort of fairly evenly um, set out between um, that outer die. So I've just got a piece of uh, low tack tape and I'm going to tape the two pieces together and I'm also going to tape it onto the actual um, piece of um, that metal shim and so I've got that all laid out there then I'm going to place on top this frosted um, plastic shim and then that final clear plate so basically you've got clear plates on either side then in the middle you've got a metal um, shim you've got your fabric you've got your dye and then you've got that plastic shim and then we're just going to run it through the machine Carol's asked uh, um, will these dies fit through the Gemini Junior please yes they will yeah, no problem at all. Oh, get them, Carol. You get all of them, and you get for a free bumper pack of felt as well to try them all out. And look, you've got all the colours that you're going to need for the rainbows, for the flowers. I've thought about which ones everyone gets as yeah. well. And I've just noticed, look at how beautiful this heart cushion is. So nice. You get the felt included, even the dream catcher. You've filled our set so beautifully with all of these. Look. Using the flowers, the dream catcher, how lovely that is to, to do bunting. And that's really pretty, isn't it? And That'd be you, really you nice can imagine for autumn as well. Yeah, you can it? imagine for kids' birthday parties, yeah. that kind of thing. It would work really well. So oh, that's I gone like through that my lot. Gemini. So I'm just going to take off that tape. And then you'll see that you've got these dies that have cut out. So I did two at a time. So you can see that's come out perfectly. Now, what you've got um, here, if I pull this apart, you will see that the top one comes off with no perforations, uh, all the perforations gone, more or less, and the bottom one has them all attached. Oh my gosh, so it's already taken them all out, because yeah. I know that some dyes that I've seen on our sister channel on Hobby Maker yeah. that have got lots of intricate bits, and um, you're probably still going to need a, a bit of time to poke through a lot of the, yeah. the, the gods, but you will actually, do. Yeah. I mean, you can just, you can see on this one, so this one's effectively got those little yeah. perforations for both of them. I'm just just pulling them off, yeah. but actually, you just know, I just pin. found a pin is the best way to go and just going like that and that will poke them all through but you can see that one's come out pretty much perfectly you haven't got any perforations left Gosh, that on so that good. so it's nice and easy to do so what we'll do is I'll grab one of the ones I've been working on so you can see so 
what you will do is you would place your um, you'll get your piece of fabric and I just use some of my embroidery hoops and you will place your um, your little um, shape on here and then it's just a question of using some embroidery thread to stitch through now what I've actually done on this normally with embroidery thread we would split up we would is six strands on your embroidery thread we'd normally use two or three but because the holes are quite large on here mm -hmm. actually you don't want to do that you want to try and use it as a whole piece so you can see this one here which I've already started stitching um, I will move that out of the way um, you can see I've already gone started going round um, with my embroidery thread and it's just a question I'm just going doing a bit of back stitch here um, along those sort of holes oh, so it you makes can it so neat it does I love embroidery I think it looks beautiful but I always I'm scared that my my lines aren't that neat and then you have to you know draw them on and all that faff whereas that's made it so much easier to get that neat finish but it definitely is because you're just you know just following that little hole that little gap in between which I'm really struggling to do right now I'm um, just through I'm just using my an ordinary um, embroidery needle with a fairly thick um, head um, here so you can see these ones I've done um, every every stitch this one here I'm just going to do every other stitch so you can see how different that looks but it's entirely up to you how you want to do it and it would look amazing if you had a variegated um, thread yes. that you wanted to use um, that would work really really well um, so you can see if I just do every other stitch um, going round um, or I can go back and I can make sure I cover all of those um, little gaps in between obviously I'd do it a little bit neater going all the way through um, in a in a line if I was doing it at home but it was it's really a lovely sort of activity to do and you can create all of the different designs that you want to with these dies because you'll be getting two different shaped um, flowers uh, in this particular one. Yeah, do you want me to show um, you the back of yeah. the die so you can see all the different shapes that you've got because you've got two flower shapes like you say then you've also got two different sizes of leaves you've also got your stems there um, you've got your diamonds and little teardrops you've got circles see these are all going to be so useful and you can see on the holes exactly where those perforations are going to be so therefore where your stitches need to be and you don't need to like you said you can create your own patterns using a different colour whether you're going to do a um, back stitch or running stitch across like that or you could do uh, one round in circles you could use the same colour going round all the first edge ones you can make your own designs couldn't you? You could absolutely and if you follow the patterns that we've got on the on the packaging you'll see that we, you're following this kind of shape particularly mm. this one you've got these little sort of petals and then you've got the salsa petal but there's nothing to stop you from using those perforations in a different way perhaps you want to do a bit of cross stitch on them you absolutely can do that it's entirely up to you but it just makes a really lovely kind of design and you can see here on this one um, I've already started I've put down um, I've used that sort of a little die that I mentioned um, which is just it's just like a long die which has got perforations on it this one here um, that you can see is one that you stitch you, you run through and then you cut the edge off so you can make it as thick or as thin as you like um, oh, to create nice. that stem and then the uh, leaves are made in exactly the same way with just a stitch um, going through all the way the center um, there so you can see how effective they look it's a very clever idea very isn't clever it? you know I, I have to say that the product development just come up with the most brilliant ideas they really do and yeah. I've always um, a so I, I have had these dies for a few weeks so I knew they were coming but I didn't know when but I didn't pick up the samples until yesterday and you look at the samples and like oh my goodness all these beautiful things that people have created and you can see from that cushion that we've just got there mm -hmm. that could be an ordinary plain cushion that you've bought from anywhere from a you know a cheap high street shop mm -hmm. and you just put some embellishments on it like those little butterflies and it totally transforms that cushion into something that you know would have been really plain and quite boring to something that is really, really beautiful. Yeah, there. absolutely. Embellish it with some beading, you know, as well. Yeah, that could look incredible. Well, then put metallic threads on here. Get really, you know, fancy with your variegated threads. There's some lovely different. There's lovely colours out there. But like you said, a bit of bead embroidery. Absolutely, go for it. There's nothing stopping you putting lots of seed beads onto your beading needle, popping yep. them through, and doing a beautiful beaded version. Oh, it look gorgeous. 
absolutely stunning. Remember, isn't it? really good. This is the world launch. Yep, not we never are... been seen before. I don't even launch. I don't launch it on Crafters Television until next Friday. It's going to go wild. So it's, it's it's crazy. It's going to go wild. But I, I'm not surprised. I, I think there's going to be a lot of people who, of course, follow Crafters Companion, love to buy all of their their new products, uh, have come into Sewing Street because it's very very busy today. If you have got them in your basket, remember check out as soon as you can. This is the first look in at these amazing brand new dies. Not only you're getting the flowers that we were just looking at with Becky, you're also getting these beautiful hearts. There's lots of great ideas um, dressed around the set of how to use them. Behind Becky is a patchwork quilt. Add on applique hearts with these lovely swirls. Obviously then, next year Valentine's Day makes, there's such pure, pretty projects you can do with those hearts. You've got the rainbow. You've also got in the rainbow two different um, clouds. You've also got your heart, you've got your uh, raindrops, you've also got um, well, everything that you need there to create that scene. Plus, you've also got your butterflies. And you haven't just got the full butterfly, you've got half as well, so they can be in flight. Yeah, let's turn around. Absolutely. All like we've done here, where you've created to this sort of shadow effect. Um, and then you've also got a flower there, a leaf there. What's this one here, Becky? Can you see this? Ah, this, um... oh, so. Let me get that one out for you and show you what that one is in the packet. So you can see here, these are actually little swirls, um, oh, extra cute. swirls that you've got um, here. So whilst you've got all these swirls here, we've actually created little swirls as well, again for you to use. So you could be using those, um, you could cut them onto a piece of like square felt and just um, you know, have, it, have it on a, a swirl on a square, but mm -hmm. you could equally cut chip a sort of trim around the edge the way we have done with the um, the stems to create a proper kind of swirl so we've given you lots of different options now with the heart one um, you've got lots of different dies on it um, again let me grab the um, white um, shim so you can see properly um, you've got so the heart one and um, the large hearts you see I've been very naughty and I haven't got rid of all of those little pieces that are stuck inside but you also get this outer edge and then this final finished edge here. So what you can do is you could do um, a just shape that. like that and just yeah. stitch around it, maybe with another, you know, one of the smaller hearts in the middle, like so. Oh, because you but, get a whole nest of yes, hearts, you could, really, yeah, don't you? All sorts of different things. Or you could get rid of that one, um, and then you could use it like this. Um, there's lots of different options or you could use all three of those together obviously they all nest in perfectly together you just need to make sure that you've just got them in the right place everything's sort of lined up but you'll get the same with the large uh, the, sorry the smaller hearts as well you've got these um, kind of shapes here with that larger heart going around the outside you could use them all together you could just use one or two and then you've got little tiny hearts for embellishing as well so you could just stitch along the middle on here or maybe blankets stitch and you've got those swirls in there so we've tried to make them as versatile as you could possibly need them to be you know there's nothing to stop you from taking all of those out and then filling this big heart with these ones um, maybe a couple of little ones around here like that hearts within a heart that would work really well oh, if you were going to be doing something like yeah. that. So you can definitely mix and match and use them in different ways. Um, they're really versatile. And of course, you know, these are going to cut. No, these outer shapes, if you wanted to cut these out of your ordinary fabric, um, I would say that sometimes you'd have to give it a try with the, um, the, the perforations and yeah. um, you might need to um, put some starch uh, onto the offset fabric stabilizer mm -hmm. onto the, um, the, the the fabric beforehand because it. It, yeah because it just you it, sometimes it's, those kind of perforations they almost can be a little bit difficult to sort of cut through but don't definitely persevere bear in mind though if you're going to be cutting them out of ordinary fabric you're probably going to be wanting you to use your fabric plates if you've got them don't use that that sort of um uh, the, the way I've done it here and you may of course need to add an extra shim in you just need to work and see how Have you're going to be doing play. it yeah um, well we had a question asking mm -hmm. I don't know whether this is going to be an issue or not but yep. could you put through your felt with bonder web through the Gemini I don't see why not now what I did earlier I did two pieces of bonder web um, I would say that you um, I would only put one piece with uh, sorry two pieces of felt um, together uh, I would say that if you're going to be doing bonder using web. some bonder web just do I one. would take yeah I wouldn't one do there. that but I mean if you're going to be 
I would have said actually if you're going to be used there's probably no need for you to use bonder web on it because um, you're going to be stitching it and you're going to be attaching it to the fabric or to whatever item so you're you don't need to stick it down no I mean I if you're a bit concerned about it moving around I'd put a little bit of fabric glue on the back yeah. or use some of our um, semi permanent adhesive spray yeah, um, yeah. just use some We've of that just to stick it just to stick it together um, but actually I found I put maybe when I was doing this one I did put a pin in it first of all but by the time you started stitching and I started stitching in the middle um, by the time I'd done a couple of stitches it was anyway, anyway. Yeah, oh, yeah so you don't need to worry too much about that thank you and thank you for your question any questions that you have like that there's no silly question get them in while Becky's here ask away especially I don't want to keep saying this but the the Gemini hasn't been taken off Five Voice Split Pay. <laughs> we were told that it wasn't on Five Voice Split Pay today. We asked if we could do it and we got told no. <laughs> Honestly, I'm waiting for that drop down thing to not come up. I'm panicking now. Come they on, can't stop it. it. They can't stop it, can they? Not now we're on air, um, surely. Surely. I, I don't know. I, I don't know. We don't know. Oh, okay, Ben saying no. I promise you, we'll make sure that it can last today. Fantastic. But that's it, though. That is it. If you're watching on a replay, the Gemini machine that is absolutely amazing still got all of its freebies with it from last time. Yes, we knew that. We're happy with that alone. You're getting all of these beautiful animal dyes. You're getting your quilters clips, but you're also getting it on five-way split pay, which I understand. You know, it's. Everything, especially as we're creeping towards Christmas, you're starting to, um, you know, think about gift ideas for people. This is an amazing gift for a crafter, isn't it? Yeah. It's a game changer in the world of, of paper crafts, yes, but in our sewing world as well. It's brilliant. And it's such a versatile machine, so you can use it for all sorts of different things. If you've watched the shows before, you've seen Sarah cutting um, a tin can, cutting leather, embossing leather, and there's so many things you can do with it. Whereas, oh, you know, I, I, I was the same. When I first heard of die cutting machines, I just thought they were for paper. Yeah. I didn't realize how much you could do with them. And when I started working for Crafters Companion and they sent me a load of stuff to play with, and it was just like, wow, um, you know, cutting out squares I mean they're boring aren't mm -hmm. they let's be honest but running them through the Gemini and it's no time at all and you can start building and putting and things together the accuracy I mean yeah. I, I, Crafters Companion and we will do those shows and support you throughout the shows yep. as well um, build a block a bundles different applique so when you went home last time you were yeah. on air we got Ben on air and Ben managed to cut through six layers of quilting weight caution he'd never Fantastic. tried one before live on air and he did it he said I've never touched this before we remembered your layers that you did and we did it on air together and it was amazing and it that's the bit that I find really laborious I don't yes. enjoy the cutting process no. but it's the bit that is very very you have to be accurate for your seams to meet etc especially when you're doing patchwork mm. so it is a brilliant addition but have a go with paper as well why not have a go with felt have a go yep. with like you say Sarah Davis came on air she got a Pepsi Max can and put it through it. You can do embossing. You can do oh, it's amazing. And you will get in the in the bundle or in the bundle in the actual box. You will get some other dyes. You, you know, yeah. anyway, you give we always give you a few different sort of paper craft dyes so you can have a go. You know, even if you even if you're just using someone else's card that they've given you, like the back of an old birthday card, and you just think, oh, I'm just going to see how that goes. You you know, you can do all sorts of things with it, and it is actually something that um, you know all, all of us all of us have got at least one one possibly three <laughs> um, in different sizes but it's something that we use all the time and particularly for me uh, doing fabric uh, I'm, and I'm uh, that th that machine is going all the time yeah. so much so my husband's going what are you doing up there and you're not going to need to replace anything on the in, in inners of it because it no. isn't a cut it isn't a knife actually in there. it's the motor that compresses the uh, the fabric together to do the cutting so there's nothing that you know you go it's not gonna no. be dangerous to you know your fingers can't literally fit in there no, no, you can't. You can't get your. I mean, you can. I can put my fingers just in here, but it's got like a sensor or three different sensors in there. So it means it's going to be really um, safe for people or for children to play with it. Um, you've got three different buttons on here. So you've got the on/off button, you've got the pause and the play, and you've got the reverse. So what you can do is, if you're just using a small die on a very um, small part of this, you could just put it through, and then you can reverse it. 
but the great thing is you can't break it I mean you could break it if you dropped it on the floor <laughs> um, but you can't break it by putting too much in because it will just put it back it. up it's yeah. brilliant honestly I, I was a bit scared of them when I first saw them but actually I'm completely converted and I think it's <laughs> absolutely genius idea and I think that what sort of really baffled me, one is that we are offering split pay, three split pays, brilliant anyway, but five split pays, so you can get it home, try it out, use it, 35.99. But when Sarah, so when I met Sarah Davis, obviously I'm a massive fan of Dragon's Den, Strictly Come Dancing, Sarah, she's amazing. She's a busy, busy woman. But she found the time to come into our Sewing Street studio, and my word, she is so passionate about her baby, the Gemini, oh, yeah. isn't she? Absolutely. She's so passionate about it. And I thought, do you know what, it's Sarah Davis, I mean, she, she said her dad, you know, was helping with the design of the motor, he's an engineer, and she's a businesswoman. And she knows that a lot of people are gonna come back and buy all the different dyes from us. That I think when they made it, they said, like your mobile phones, you should do something that then can, we can get a better one and a better one. She says, you won't get a better one than this. No. I want you to come back and buy all the dyes. I want you to come back and enjoy it and tell all your friends about it. Yeah. And I think she told me a statistic that it's something like every 10 minutes, somewhere around the world, someone's buying a Gemini yeah, machine. Yeah, I think that's right, yeah. It's brilliant. And, and the great thing is, like you say, well, you're never gonna have to replace it. We all use ours all day long yeah. you can imagine they probably our ones get more far more of a hammering than anyone else's would do nobody has replaced their gemini yeah no so one. good so so good sorry i need your foot uh, <laughs> right so five way spit pay just wanted to let you know as that really and that isn't me telling you that it shouldn't be on split pay we genuinely had a conversation before yeah. the show saying it's not going to be on split pay absolutely make the most of it Right, what are you going to show us next, well, Becky? I, um, I, as we've got the heart one out, and I think the heart yep. one is uh, is so beautiful, I was just going to show you what it looks like when you start stitching it together. So once again, I've put it on um, a, a, an embroidery hoop. You don't have to put them on an embroidery hoop. I just find it a lot easier. And again, we're just going to use, you've got all these little perforations, but you can see one or two, I just haven't lifted out. I'm just going to do that with my, need, my um, needle. I've got a couple of them that just haven't come out completely, but I'm just lifting those out. Yes. And they come out really easily. And you can see where those little perforations should be um, or will be because you can just see on that packaging um, where those are. Um, and again, just a full, um, full skein of embroidery thread and I'm just doing a back stitch. And this is a really therapeutic activity. This is great for children because everything is here. I mean, as long as your child is okay with a needle mm -hmm. um, and, it, and it does need to be a sort of fairly sharp, this is just an embroidery um, needle, um, so you can't use sort of one of those blunt um, ended needles you just need to go through here and just follow that pattern around and they look absolutely beautiful now this you can imagine this as a um, actually if you're going to be making a card you know yeah. you could stitch this and then mount it onto a card mount it into a um, maybe sort of part of a sampler embroidery sampler that you're going to be doing as a gift maybe for a wedding or something like oh, that that would be a lovely that gift would for be a really wedding. good you know i was going to say valentine's day is coming up soon it's not um it's christmas <laughs> it's like 100, 104 days to christmas oh gosh is that right something like that I, I, not I'm long. Not, I'm, yeah I, I don't know i think we're going to fact check it in the gallery it's, right it's now it's around about 100 and something um so i mean i'm already up my Christmas for me starts um, beginning of October. Yeah, it's, um, yeah. yeah. I start getting 102 days. Oh, 102 days, even even worse, whichever way you yes, look yeah, at well, it. Well, as a crafters, we have to think about it. Early, you do, we? you do, because you know, you it takes a long time. People don't, that don't craft do not realise how long it takes to make something. But that's why it's so rewarding when you give a, a homemade gift to somebody that does craft, and they look at something like a like a quilt, and they think, wow, that has taken them months yeah. to make they must really love me um, whereas <laughs> other people i know just sort of look at it go oh, yeah thanks very much have no conception about how long it's taking you to put that together um, and um you know you don't really they don't realize but it, it's the activity that we're doing um that we all love and isn't i it? find it very mindful i yes. think it's good to have that moment of calm especially hand stitching this is something you can do of an evening sociably watching the telly sitting there in front of the television away from your sewing machine and just stitch you don't need to think about the pattern because it's there on your felt for you now we do have some skeins as well who is it that's waving to Carla. us oh, <laughs> Carla. Carla's companion, no? No, Car Car Carla I used to know from another channel oh 
I uh -huh. haven't seen Carla for months. Oh, <laughs> they're waving through the studio and Auntie loves oh, waving no. to us too. We're on the telly. I know. <laughs> He's like, I know. <laughs> We have got some of the, uh, the skeins, by the way. If you do want to add some of these lovely colours, we've got soft yellow, we've got spring rose, sweet pink, dusky peach, we've got ocean ripple, we've got blue lagoon. They're and those are all colours. the ones that I've been using on the demos today. Perfect. So they're the, all the colours. Lovely. And you say you don't actually take any of the strands out because they're all six strands, aren't they? Yeah. Uh, I Eight found actually each. they work really well, just left completely um, full. So you can see just here, it's completely full there. Oh, they look gorgeous. You've got eight meters on each skein, and it does give it that really lovely chunky. Well, it fills it fills the the hole as well, yes, doesn't it? Yeah, you want and that's sure. what you want. Yeah, absolutely. Um, the other th I wanted to show you some of the other samples that we've got as well, so you can see. Yes, um, please. What, because actually, the the one the one that I, ha I haven't done the demonstration for is um, is actually my favourite, which is the rainbow one. <gasps> oh um, yes. But I just thought it was so, and I was trying to unravel this beautiful rainbow. Um, sort of a, a garland that I've got but I wasn't actually able to do that but we've actually used it in a slightly different way on here so we've cut out all the individual pieces of the felt and then we've hand stitched and we've oh, machine stitched them all together so we just put a little piece of fabric um, on the back uh, and then we um, sort of a spray um, adhered them on there and then we've just used zigzag stitch to put them all together but look how effective that is with that little um, sort of little fluffy cowd there. Jazz are you still watching? It's You've got Lovely. to make this for Teddy's nursery. How <laughs> cute is this? She is obsessed as well with the hungry caterpillar and lots of like this sort of rainbow theme. Yes, These yeah. are so gorgeous, aren't they? I'm thinking also, I know that it sounds crazy, but I'm actually thinking ahead for Maisie's second birthday party. Because I was, I'm already you've like got that. about how long? Six months? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah ages, April, yeah. April, yeah. end of April. <laughs> but I'm like, what thing can I do? I've got to start thinking. Yeah, rainbows. Yeah. that is so beautiful. Very and you know, really, really easy to do because all that cutting has all been taken into account with the Gemini. It's all going to be, you know, you can cut multiple layers all at one go, run them through the machine, and then stitch them all together afterwards. But you can see here, we've just done a little, um, little pouch with that rain cloud and those little raindrops. How effective is that that's just been stitched together um, just with um, a sort oh, of machine so stitching around the outside so this these these shapes don't have any of those perforations in there and you're getting not only you're getting the shapes with the perforations but you're also getting the other ones there and then this final one which I think is lovely with um, the um, little bit of art um, no sort of wall art that you've got there mm. with all of those embellishments on there they're really really beautiful um, and wall arts very yes. popular it's very in vogue isn't yes. it I went to a, a bar in Nottingham and they filled this wall full of wall up with in embroidery hoops. So I was like, ah, we're ahead of the curve, aren't we? Yeah. We are. I, that I looks quite, great. I like rude embroidery. What do you mean rude embroidery? It's like embroidery. rude words. I've always liked that and there's quite a lot of companies that do embroidery hoops with rude words embroidery on there <laughs> okay. as well. I know. My mum doesn't like it. She's like, my goodness, what on earth have you got in your downstairs bathroom? Uh, but I find it quite entertaining. Oh, um, that's quite funny actually. <laughs> but it, it's one of those things that's quite, it's quite interesting to do. So I can't demo that. No, I'm afraid not. <laughs> no, that's a no from me. Um, so I uh, also, before we, you know, sort of um, finish, I want to show you the butterfly one as well. So this is the final one um, so in here you're going to be getting again you're going to get those perforated little um, those perforated little shapes there uh, but you're oh. also getting that outside shape so if you had a big piece of work that you were working on you might not want to use these outer shapes you might actually just want to cut those perforations into the fabric that you're working on and you absolutely could do that so say you had a large piece of felt uh, maybe you were just doing everything in white felt you could place um, that piece of felt as long as it was big enough to go through the small enough to go through the machine you could just place that um, on the there and you would get all those perforations so if I show you what I mean I can do that on this piece of um, fabric here and um, so we're going to use two layers again of the pink um, felt and I'm not going to use those outer dies so these are my, our inner dies I'm not going to use them these are the outer dies that we would use here and um, so what I'll do is I'll do one 
one way and one the other so you can see how they're going to work. You know the, um, the, the sample that was made up, this, the photograph on the front of the packet yes. that we had here, I thought that was using both the flowers and the butterflies but actually you've got the flowers and the stems and the leaves yes. and the centre and everything all included as well so it's butterflies and flowers in this one isn't it? Yeah, yeah. we've tried to you know, give, give you as many different options um, as we possibly can with this um, but yeah we've, actually, we've, we've got um, little stems on this one as well um, so these are the additional um, pieces so you've got the flowers here you've got little tiny butterflies as well and um, little petals little circles that you could use for decorating or put them in the center of the flowers and you've also got that mini stem in there too so I'm gonna run well I've put that through on the wrong piece of that's no good I don't want it on that don't do that it's because I had that in the in the in the way we're using your clear plate your metal plate then we're gonna put that there and then that there then we're going to put this frosted plastic plate over the top and then the clear plate just here and then we'll thread that through thread that through the machine you know what i mean <laughs> feed it through the machine so this is how the um, shapes would look if i'd use that outer edge where we've got these here right but now that one, crackling noise by the way is just the felt the fibers isn't it yeah you it's will electricity. you will often get a bit of crackling or a bit of a bit of noise coming from the machine anyway even if you're cutting um you know cutting ordinary fabric but yes absolutely with the felt you do get it almost sounds like a crackle of ele electricity but it isn't it, mm -hmm. it really isn't you shouldn't you shouldn't be worried about it it just sounds a little bit scary it's just how all those fibers are moving um so this one here this is the one where we've cut the outside out of the butterfly. So once again, we've got the, um, we're just gonna pull it apart. We should find that most of the perforations come off the top piece and they're all stuck in that bottom one. We just need to give it a rub uh, and maybe sort of poke them out, but they will all come out, all those perforations. Now this one here, we've just done the perforations. We've not cut the outside of that. So if I open that up, you can see you've still got that beautiful design here, but it's all contained within oh, that yeah. piece of fabric. So if you had a large piece of a larger piece of felt, you may want to have all these different shapes out of that piece, one piece of felt, cut them all out, and then um, you know, then sort of finish it off by stitching around the actual shape afterwards rather than cutting it out of the individual um, design. So you can see if I was going to pop that onto um, a, a piece of fabric that would be how it would would look it would stand proud but actually this is another way of using that um, and again they all look really really um, sort of I interesting and beautiful designs so you can see here this is one this is one I did earlier um, <laughs> so I've already started stitching this one together this is oh. um, the butterfly you can see you're just following around all of those perforations so I've already done one half of that um, and I just continue around the same colours again yeah, from the, the so same, lovely signature yeah. collection. Yeah, they the really colours. pop on the yellow, don't they? They do. The, uh, that blue Laguna blue. What's that one called? Yeah, blue Laguna. Yeah. And you've got some beautiful bright colour felts in yeah. that pack that go really well with those embroidery threads. So you've got all the colours that you could possibly need for all of those different designs. You know, you've got the colours that are going to work for um, a, 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 a rainbow, um, but you've also got all those floral colours in there. And of course, we're always giving you a couple of greens so you can finish off those florals and they with are the stems. How big? They are 24 centimetres by 22. So they're big pieces of felt as well. They're going to go they a are. long, long way with these smaller dyes, aren't they? They are. Absolutely. Lots of butterflies. Yes, loads of butterflies. And you can see, you know, they make really beautiful um, uh, no, items. I'm going to finish this one off and give it to you for a piece of wall art. Oh, thank you. Yeah. Are you going to put a rude word on it to put in my downstairs? Shall no, I? Shall yeah. I put a rude word on it? <laughs> it will be something you won't be able to show, uh, show uh, no, on the show in the future. just for me. Just for me. <laughs> I won't put it on the fan page. You should have found it already. No, no um, exactly. Thank you ever so much. Is there anything else that we needed to mention, Ben? Yeah. Yeah, should we go through should we go through the Gemini yes, again? Please. Yeah, we've so, got time, haven't we? We've got loads of time. I thought you were rounding us up then, Ben, did you, Becky? I did, yeah. Was like, it was like thank you very come much. On. Thank you guys. Thank bye. you. <laughs> And I'll show, you, saying, I'll show you some more samples as well so you can have a proper look at those. So your Gemini machine, when you first get your Gemini machine um, home in the box, you will get a, a, a selection of different dies, just a, a couple of different dies in there. Um, you're also going to be getting your plates. So you get a mixture of different plates that oh. you... Sorry, carry yeah. on. But would you tell me the combination so I can remember this yes. in my mind? Yes. So this is a combination, for, a combination for felts. Yes, please. Um, so I find, so you, we sell fabric plates as well, which are absolutely 
key for you if you're going to be cutting lots and lots of fabric in one go. Are they so the really rigid ones? They're the really rigid ones. Yeah. So they are like this metal shim, but like, I, I don't know how much thicker, but you can't, I can't do that with them. They're mm -hmm. really, really strong. So they are key for if you're cutting lots of um, layers of fabric, um, like cotton fabric, and you're doing lots of um, things with patchworking, which we're going to go, going to go on to next week. We're all doing a thing about patchworking oh, next week. But oh yeah, you, you're only here for one hour today. I know, you? I know, I know. But I haven't been home for a week. Yeah. So it will be quite nice home. to get home. So in here, you're going to be getting your two clear plates. Now these are our plates. They are well used, well loved. And um, your ones will be you no know, pristine. Shiny, you know. But we we use them a lot. Um, but they, these these are all consumable. So these are things that you will replace over time. And um, I can't tell you how long it's going to take you to replace them because it really depends on how you use them uh, and the kind of things that you're running through your machine. But you will you will end up replacing these at some point. Now what we do say is. Um, it, we suggest that you flip and rotate your, um, your your plates when you run them through your machine. So if you run them through the machine this way, the next time you would re re move them around and rotate them. So you've got them going through a different way. It just means that you're sort of you're sort of using them um, all over in a different way, mm -hmm. um, rather than just running them through in exactly the same way each time. So you get your clear plates on them. You'll also be getting this metal shim. You'll be getting your um, sort of frosted plastic shim as well. You'll also be getting a magnetic shim and you'll be getting an embossing folder, which is like a silicon kind of mat. The silicon mat and the embossing fo and, and the magnetic shim, you do not use when you're doing um, sort of something with fabric. You use those for paper crafting. Don't throw them away because at some point you'll think, oh, I'm going to make a matching card to go with the quilt that I've just made. And you can absolutely do that. But if you're going to be using these dies, you want to use your clear plate and you want to use your metal um, shim and then you want to take your piece of fabric so we go clear you'll get in this Ben clear yeah you might have to do a demo later again <laughs> clear, we'll have to have you in metal. to do a little demonstration definitely so felt. we've got we're going to be using I'll use this little um, so I've got two layers of this felt and this is the thick felt we've got there it depends on the kind of um, fabric you're using if you're using really thick tweed um, you might only be able to cut um, one layer or you might need to run it through the machine twice it's a case of trial and error and you'll work out what your machine actually needs so we've got two layers of uh, felt here we've got our die and we're just going to put a little bit of tape um, on there just to tape it down Use it. I'm always really, I, I, was, I was laughing the other day, I always reuse my tape and I've got no idea why. You what know, do you mean you reuse it? Well, I use it once and I stick it on there and then the next time I'm, look, this, there's tape there all go. over here where I just keep reusing Reuse the tape. It. It's only tape. I don't know why I just don't throw it away, but you know, I'm just, you yeah, know, you frugal is what my mum would call me. So, clear plate, metal plate, your felt, your die facing downwards because you want it cutting into the fabric. Then we're going to use this frosted plastic plate over the top and then we're using the final clear plate and that is our sandwich. So, very simple to do. Um, you're basically using everything apart from that magnetic um, shim and that embossing um, shim as well and then you just pop it into your machine you don't need to press any buttons no it just will just take it, it. yeah just offer it in now this takes I think 18 seconds is that right I think that's right yeah I mean it's no time at all is no, it no, how long would it take you to cut with scissors or you know if you're doing lots of layers when you're well, doing your fabric and those perforations perfect. I mean you'd oh, yeah. never do that would no, you no. you know no. be there sort of jabbing at it with a, a needle forever you couldn't you couldn't do it you, it's impossible so then we um, everything's sort of being taped down so I just move the tape away and then you will see see I'm going to keep that tape because I don't know why because I'm you know, almost finished but you can see around here that that has cut out just got a little sometimes with the little um, fibers um, it's just you just need to give it a little bit of a well, have a you gone through a couple of layers there? I have gone through a couple of layers um, and I uh, yeah, just caught on those two little pieces there but you can see now if I pull that away most of those perforations on that top piece have come out and they're attached in there but again I just need to give it a little bit of a, a wiggle they'll come off or I can use um, a pokey tool or a needle just to poke those little um, pieces out and you'll get those beautiful designs there it's really it, it, it's 
honestly, you, there's so many things you could do with this. Very I mean, clever. If I show you a couple more of the, the samples before we sort of finish, you can see um, how effective they look. I mean, oh, look at that one. And it's we, we just used all those little flowers, again, with those little flower um, shapes that come with that particular butterfly dye. It looks absolutely beautiful. Really it elevate your, your makes. I love that. That's so pretty. Remember, you're getting all of them. You're getting the butterflies, you're getting the hearts, you're getting the rainbow, you're getting the flowers. You can get them individually, that's fine. But when you're getting all of these and your felt bundle, £50.96, worth making the most of it, isn't Absolutely, it? Absolutely, definitely. I'll, um, no one else has got these. You're first no, to have a play with I them. I know, I know. And, and it's, it's quite nice. It's exciting to come here and have a, have yeah. a, real, a, like a real proper launch because no one has seen this. <gasps> I love no that. One. World launch. World launch. Crafters Companion, your cut and stitch dies. £50.96. They're individually underneath us on the website. How much are they individually, did you say, Ben? Um, Bear in mind, look, your dies, that one's got, they're 12 99 So if you want to dip your toe in and have a go, I understand. Yeah. Uh, the felt 15 99 though, as well. So overall, you're making a saving of 16 99 uh, So you're making a saving, you're getting the felt for free and you're getting a pound off for your... Um, your dies as well which is brilliant if you do want to be doing lots of embellishing if you've got your gemini machine on split pay add this to your order uh, by the way with your gemini machine today we've had a play with these before becky haven't we we have and they are gorgeous these are multimedia dies aren't they and they're quite big you know don't be don't think the packaging is showing you the size of these these are quite big i think they're like two and a half inches is that yeah about right? some of them are like nearly top. five inches the dog for example is three but three point eight inches by four point eight inches the horse is four point five inches by four point seven so they're good size animals mm. Look, you've got your little giraffe, little panda lion, and then you've got your unicorn, your little froggy, and, oh, we've had a play around, because it's almost like fuzzy felt, so you get yes. all of the different individual uh, parts, and of course then, you can put them all together, yep, that's make your right. own little unicorn pigs if you want yeah, you could unicorn pigs i love that <laughs> you do there's a theme for a party unicorn pigs and rainbows <laughs> <laughs> yes oh i love this uh, yeah i mean i think this we have to, have to show this again because this is just so beautiful so this is one of the items that the design team have made with all of those little flowers and um, that come in that collection and it looks so effective and um, so it's a bit of um a sort of uh, quilting in the middle there that you've got uh, but it looks really, really effective there. And then you've got a dream catcher showing it used in a totally different way. Yeah, well, even I'm looking at these part, the, the parts that are, uh, are dropping down at the bottom. They're the leaves that yeah. have been then stitched together, blanket stitched round them together to create these three dimensional shapes as well, uh, using the diamonds as well and the flowers in the centre. Uh, there are so many different options. Mm. And again, you don't have to fill every perforation. No. Leave them bare if you want. It's giving that completely different look again. Um, just just leaving them bare uh, using the holes to stitch them together you've got three flowers all stitched together yeah. to give it really lovely structure yeah they're great aren't they thank you Maxine for making that one it's gorgeous um, the garland again yeah lovely it, it's really really good doesn't it really lovely I'm excited for everybody to get these home and have a play um, because yeah you look like you've had great fun playing with these it's been brilliant <laughs> what are you back with us becky i'm back next tuesday okay um, and we're starting a whole series of um, demonstrations on the builder blocks we're starting right at the very basics so it's an initial builder block system so squares half square triangles and quarter oh, square triangles and i'm going to show you all the different things that you can well not all the different things because there's too many but i'm going to show you how to use the gemini with those and we're going to run through a couple of projects as well Oh, lovely they are absolutely genius idea as well uh, especially half square triangles how many times do we use those mm -hmm. in squares perfect thank you very very thank you. much nice to see you. you go home now can't you i can i'll go home Have and i'll relax. finish your little um, embroidery oh, yes, in for next time. thank you <laughs> um right don't go anywhere because i'm joined by tracy from uh, the owl and the sewing cat up next we're gonna do some dressmaking this time we've got lots of lovely patterns uh, in fact i think we've got all of the patterns all of the patterns including that beautiful kimono uh that tracy was wearing in the last hour don't go anywhere we're back after this very short break Hello, I'm Emma Bradford from the Swift Quilting Company. I've been a quilter for 25 years. I began sewing and quilting by hand, but now I offer long arm quilting services 
and I run patchwork and quilting classes. You can see me regularly on Sewing Street demonstrating patchwork techniques. My top tip is there is no right or wrong way, only the way that works for you. There is no such thing as the quilting police. Outside of quilting, I am a qualified botanist and I enjoy riding my motorbike around the country. I hope to see you soon on Sewing Street. Are you a fan of Sewing Street and Yarn Lane? Why not join our growing Facebook fans pages? Just search Sewing Street Fans and Yarn Lane TV Fans on Facebook and click Join Group. It's that simple. Never miss out on the latest news and updates from our presenters and guest designers, special offers and plenty of chat with your fellow fans. Share photos of your makes, ask for advice, interact with your favourite guests and presenters and be a part of the ever-growing sewing and yarn community. See you there! Stuck for ideas for the perfect gift? Why not get them a gift card? You can buy Sewing Street and Yarn Lane gift cards loaded up with anything from £10 to £500. Shop our gift cards online at www.sewingstreet.com or www.yarnlane.com or purchase them via our UK call centre on 0800 001 4433. We know that shopping online can be a confusing and sometimes daunting task. And sometimes all you want to do is talk to a human being. Our family-run customer service team are on call 24-7. Full of friendly, warm-hearted individuals, all trained to make your shopping experience as easy and enjoyable as possible. Not only will they take your order, they'll also help and guide you on your shopping journey, so you never miss out. Have you heard about all the different ways you can shop on Sewing Street? You can shop on our website, sewingstreet.com, and you can also order by phone by calling our friendly UK customer service team. Just call 0800 001 4433. And don't forget about the Sewing Street app. Here you can shop all of the Sewing Street products as well as watch the live shows from anywhere. You can download the app onto your smartphone or your tablet by simply searching Sewing Street in your app store. And one final thing, no matter how many times you check out on Sewing Street in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. Happy shopping! Sewing Street have our very own app. You can now watch and shop from anywhere. Simply download the app from your app store onto your smartphone or tablet, then log in or create an account and you're done. You can watch us live from anywhere, browse all our recently played items and pre-orders so you never miss out on any show deals and message the studio to say hello at any time. And remember, you can check out as many times as you want and only pay one PNP all day. Hello, welcome back, welcome back. I love this pattern. I absolutely love it. We're back with uh, Tracy from Owl and the Sewing uh, Cat. And it is just beautiful. You saw this on Tracy in the first hour. I pinched it because I really wanted to try it on. Isn't it lovely? So, Becky's off on her holidays tomorrow. This is one of those patterns that could take you from summer do it in beautiful summer, bright fabrics. And of course then, through to winter, this is something that you could wear of an evening, going out. I still like that I feel nice and comfortable and covered. I think since lockdown, um, I've definitely become not great. I'm going out um, the weekend for a friend's birthday for dinner. And I'm re I really don't like, I don't enjoy the process of getting really dressed up anymore. I want my comfies on. This is so comfy, but I love the fact, I don't know if you could see it on, on camera, but it has also got this tie front detail. I always think as a beginner dressmaker, 
kimono is a really good place to start but I love the fact that this has also got that tie around the waistband as well which is gorgeous absolutely gorgeous all the way around so the pattern the pattern those of you that um that watched the first hour then you have seen already that the uh, the the packaging that tracy brings you provides your pattern is beautiful so when you've cut your patterns out or when you've you've got your patterns you can keep them all nice and neat and tidy in your envelope as trust me this isn't going to be the first and only time that you make this now i've got one two three four five different patterns tracy this is beautiful it looks <laughs> lovely you. as well with the contrast of the band yeah and, the quite nice. and of course we've got them tied in but you don't have to you can have this just open you don't even need to put the tie on it it's a simple thing that you add at the end the tie if you want it but right i tend to sometimes just have it open and tie those in bows or you could just leave that off completely that's optional yeah and as you say it's the kind of thing that would take you from summer through to winter going i'd wear this at christmas maybe with a long sleeve top yeah. underneath it yeah or whatever if need be but yeah uh, what level skill level dressmaker do i need to be to have a go at this you don't need to be a skilled dressmaker. These are easy, simple to follow wow. patterns. All of them that you see here are really easy to, to make. There's nothing that's that difficult. We haven't got darts, there's no gathering, there's no zips. It's really simple, straightforward sewing. And and actually, quick. it's really forgiving. So if you're making it for a gift, you're not worried about, you know, having that ease. Is it going to fit? Is it, it's not a fitted garment. You don't need to worry about that. No, exactly. Because I like to wear things that are just loose fitted. Yeah. My shape changes like lots yeah. of us <laughs> throughout the year. And I want things that I can just make and throw on and just That's enjoy, it. but look like I've made an effort, but they're really easy to make. But all, everything we're bringing you today is size 10 up to size 28. So whatever pattern you're buying, you will get all of those sizes. Fantastic, fantastic. So you don't need to say like 10 to 14 and then 14 to 28. No, it's all in one pattern. Yes. So this is the pattern that you need. It's only £13.99. What sort of fabrics are going to be suitable for the kimono? So you want like a floaty fabric, something yeah. like viscose is good. I mean, you could make it in jersey. The one you wear wearing is all in the same fabric. This one, I put the contrast trim, which is quite nice because then it draws your eye down. Then we've got the, sorry, to my side here. We've got the spotty one as well, which we did as a kit. That was lovely. Um, again, with that contrast band down the front. So it just depends what look you're going for. Enjoy the process of choice in the fabric. There's so many dressmaking fabrics out there oh, now. They're beautiful ones. I mean, you could even do like a cotton lawn. You could yeah. do a silk if you say yeah. this, you know, yes. satin. I've got a nice black satin one that will take me into, you know, evening wear as well. So yeah. Could you lengthen it? You could, yes. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, you could you lengthen could. it. Um, you've got all of your size uh, requirements. All of the measurements are in your pattern. And look at how beautiful this pattern paper is. It's lovely quality pattern paper because I suppose you're designing this for people to make time and time and time again. Exactly. I want you to get value for money. It's a really nice capsule wardrobe that we've got here. You've got a really nice selection of styles that you can make look so different just by changing up the fabrics. The styles that are going to suit all shapes and sizes as well. So we want you to use those patterns over and over again. So heavy duty pray for their printed on. Oh, Becky wants to wear this over a bikini in Marbella this weekend. Oh, God. That would look amazing. Um, <laughs> ben saying, you're not there yet. You're still on cameras, Becky. <laughs> Work harder. <laughs> um, and you've also got full instructions, step by step, with photographs as well. Yes, taking you through every step of the way. So it's like having your own course there of dressmaking. These are things that we would teach in a course, and it's going to take you through it step by step. Brilliant. All of your sizes, everything you need, your pattern pieces. And once again, these envelopes that you provide mean that you can keep your patterns yes. right Safe. really close. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Ben. It looks really good. This is lovely fabric as well. And like you said, you can have real, real fun playing around with the different fabrics yes. that you choose. So did you pick two fabrics then to do? Do you do a separate one for your... Yeah, so just use a separate black for the, for the band in, the same on here, just a separate fabric piece for that but it's entirely up to you you can do it all in one or you can do it with the contrast sometimes i think the contrast is flattering it kind of draws our eye straight down when we're it is. Our waist. <laughs> um and yeah so yeah done it's some contrast and some all at one i love it absolutely love it um now we've also got by the way the evie cross um top we've also got the sphere top we've got the long summer jacket and we've also got the um bag do you want to start by what should we do should we do um 
have a look at them individually first maybe yeah. to start with right costume change going on over here that was <laughs> quick just, change quick, my quick. word so i thought we could do a quick run through and i'll try and Great. try them all on if we get a chance oh lovely um, so what is it that you're wearing show. now so this is what we call our long jacket here our long summer jacket so it kind of cocoons at the side really really quick make this one i'm going to make in the demo in this in a minute so no. this was less than an hour it took oh. me to the one that i'm wearing now it was a new fabric coming in i thought oh quickly rustle one up um, so yeah, very, very simple to make, but again, flattering for all shapes and sizes. Something that you can wear for the summer, mm -hmm. something you can wear with a long sleeve top going into the winter months as well. It's one of those things, again, that you just throw it on and it looks like you've made a real effort. If you want, you could belt it in as well. So just have fun with it. We've got on Alan Sewing Cats um, on our website, there's a hack to put pockets in things. So there's a pocket template there that you can use if you want to have pockets. You were mentioning in the, the last hour, actually, you have a very good sort of online presence so you uh, regularly update your blog you've got lots of hacks yes. on there yeah because we really do want everyone to enjoy these patterns and not to be scared I know some people maybe you haven't done dressmaking before or for a while and I appreciate it can be a bit scary so we put blogs on how to work viscose fabrics how to cut your fabrics out how to neaten the edges how to work with the US you know USB the PDF patterns that we now do so all sorts of help is there for you this is a lovely pattern actually like you said again another one that you can transition from summer to winter one that's going to suit all sizes this is a pattern that's all inclusive from size 10 to 28 um, hack of how to put pockets into it love the idea of putting it with a belt as well just 13 pounds 99 and one that I think is going to suit every age as yes. well yeah and a very very quick make we've got the shoulder seams and we've got the side seams and then the hem in Wow. Really, really simple, quick, wow. quick make. That is lovely. So that is summer jacket. As you say, we are going to do some demo on all of these, but I just want to run through what we've got on the show today. Um, so that is the long summer jacket. Shall we have a look at the Sophia top, yeah. which is the one with that really lovely tie, isn't it? Yeah. You might it need is. to pull it a bit towards you, maybe. Oh, are we all right? Are we in that no? We have a little bit of a, <laughs> a blank mm. space in the middle. <gasps> there That's it is. Strange. Thank you. Can you see it? <laughs> So talk me through the techniques we're going to learn in this one. Okay, so this one's got a neck binding. Right. Don't panic. It's an easy, easy, simple one to do. Again, hopefully we'll get a chance to show you in the show. We've got small little cuffs as well on this, so oh, the raw edge is hidden on the inside, so we'll teach you how to do that. We don't have to do any set-in sleeves with don't this, do we? Don't have to do any set-in sleeves. You don't have to do any darts. You're just going to let the style fall off your shoulders. It's like a basic shell top. We have got these ties at the bottom, but you could do it without. I've got one okay. that I'll try in a bit just to show you. So you could have it. It's just your regular a shell top that does it have wear. any fastenings no 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 Good. it's the kind of thing that i'd wear in sometimes t-shirts you can get hot and sweaty and whatever something like this you won't it's just a really nice basic um that's why i think this is a great capture wardrobe because you could make this in plain white to go underneath the top that i'm wearing or plain black you could wear it for the office you could wear it for lunch you could jazz it up as and how you want so you can put the ties on there if you want to or you can have it just as a regular t-shirt just, just from the three that we've seen so far, like you say, actually, these are really good wardrobe captures. These are all ones that you could have as your sort of staple parts of your wardrobe. Make them in lots of different fabrics. They're going to look really different. I really like the detail with the tie as well. Yeah. That makes it a little bit different. Leave it off, though, and it's your sort of regular top that you can put under any of the kimono or under the summer long jacket as well. Thirteen ninety nine again, size um, 10 to 28. Size 10 to 28. Will this work with jersey? Yeah, you can make it in jersey. Just give an idea. I mean, how they look so completely different depending on what fabric you choose. So again, have fun. We've done it in lots of patterns, but equally as good in a plain fabric. So just enjoy that process. But yeah, it would work in jersey. Yeah. No problem. yeah. Oh, brilliant. Um, make the most of all these patterns. They're all flying into baskets. Any questions that you have? If you're a beginner dressmaker, don't panic. There's gonna be some really lovely patterns to suit you, all of these in fact. Give them a go, especially with Tracy's guidance and her step-by-step -step pattern instructions. The thing is, we all, watch Great British Sewing Bee or you get frustrated from going into shops and finding things that all look the same or, or ones that don't fit you correctly. The joy of being able to make things especially for you is being able to find your favourite fabrics and make them to fit you perfectly. But um, we all know someone who wants to get into dressmaking. These would make really lovely gift ideas for people because if you purchase a dressmaking pattern, you know, you run of the mill, um, old school patterns, they presume you know everything 
everything. Yes. They produce, they, there's a lot of abbreviations that I can't work out. And it's now like, now just put a sleeve in or now add the facing. And I'm like, well, hang on, what, yep. is, what is that? Yeah, so we've taken all of that out. None of our designs here even need interfacing. They don't need zips. You just need the fabric and the thread. They're that, that simple. Um, we're not doing any of those technical things that, and really when we look around at what's on the catwalk and what's on the high street, we're not wearing those tailored dresses anymore. These are the kind of styles that are everywhere. So let's make That's them enjoy I like. them themselves. Yeah. yeah, this is the stuff that I want in my wardrobe. Yeah. <laughs> Comfortable, easy to wear, like you said. It still looks very fashionable and looks like you've made a real effort. Yep. And even just over a simple t-shirt and a pair of jeans, your kimono or your long summer jacket or your t-shirt, it's going to look really lovely. Yeah, lots of nodding going on from uh, <laughs> Becky. She's loving all of these. We then also have, now this is a bit different. This one looks more difficult to me, is it? No. Is it it's not? really not, no. I know it looks more difficult. Yeah. So it's this top here, so it has a twist at the bottom. If we get a chance, we can show you, but we have done a YouTube video as well, so don't worry, we're there to help you every step of the way. But basically, you stitch the bottom bit of the hem, and then we twist it around, and then we stitch the front bit here. And oh, then so it's like a bit of our army. Yeah, <laughs> so we're just turning it and turning it, and then you just put the front and the backs together and do the shoulder seams and the side seam. Same sort of principle for what I'm wearing. But yeah, again, we've done it in plain red there, and then we've also done it in a nice pattern fabric, and they look so different. And again, you'll have seen this all over the high street and all over the catwalks as well, this little twist, because it's not on the waist, it's below the waist, so it's very flattering for all shapes and sizes, which is what what we kind of want. We want patterns that will suit everybody. Every, you know, I think mm -hmm. you can, different age ranges and obviously different sizes as well. So we've gone from size 10 to size 28. You'll get all sizes, whether you're buying it as a printer pattern or whether you're buying it as a USB, you'll still get all those sizes. Nice length sleeve on this one as well, isn't it? Yes, I don't like my upper arms. No. So I always think Always design ones arms. that are there, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's what's great, isn't it? You, how long have you have you been dressmaking for then? Oh, forever. It's, so yeah. I learned sewing when I was about nine or 10 and then I started fashion design when I left school. And, Oh. Yeah, four years and yeah. This is what I love is when <laughs> patterns are designed, you know, by sewers and by real women who know what real women like to wear. Yeah, because we all change shape and yeah. we all, we want to look nice, or oh, I do, but I also don't want to feel constrained in a tight yeah. fitting outfit. I want to just throw something on and feel like I've made an effort. And also want to be able to make it quickly. I've spent a lot of time teaching these classes to people who sometimes feel they're a, a bit intimidated by dressmaking and it's just breaking that down and going actually do you know what it's really not that difficult find a fabric you like you've got a really nice selection of styles here that you can choose something that mm -hmm. will suit that fabric a couple of meters of fabric and enjoy the process of making it and certainly enjoy wearing it and knowing that you're going to wear something that nobody else is going to wear if i was going to a wedding wearing this i know no one else is going to be there in the same outfit that's and a I good point on if i want to make it a bit shorter if i want to make the sleeves a bit shorter I can do that without traits in the high street, trying to find something in my size, mm -hmm. in my shape, in the fabric that I like. Just enjoy the process of, you've got nice styles to choose from, and grab some nice fabric. You will get, the first time you get a compliment on something that you have made, it is the best feeling ever, oh, isn't it? so lovely. Yeah, and it never so wears nice. off. Like if someone asks you, you know, oh, where'd you get that? And you can say you made it. Oh my gosh, it's an amazing <laughs> feeling. But um, like you said, as a beginner dressmaker, it's quite daunting to start, open a pattern and get going. Whereas if you know that you can do this in an afternoon, yep. Then that satis that the the feeling of satisfaction that you finished a project. Yep. Oh, it is so rewarding, isn't it, to be able to just do it and finish it. So that is the the twist top. Again, beautiful. We also have a bag on the show, do we or not? We do because that's going to be yeah. a freebie. So if you're buying these as a collection, what? so you're buying all four together, okay. you're going to save you're going to save money and you're going to get a free bag pattern as well. So you're saving whatever I think it's like fifteen pounds or the other, and you've got including the free bag pattern too. Right, are you ready, Ben? Bundle. If you want the Evie Cross front top, if you want the Sophia, I, I love all of these. As I said, I think these are all great staple pieces for your wardrobe. Quite often, we'll do dressmaking shows. We all have different tastes. We all have different styles. This is probably the first time that I would say, get all four if you can, because these are all great individual items that are going to all be very, very great. Well, they're gonna be lovely to make again and again, aren't they, in lots of different fabrics. 49.99, so go on then, do the maths. Oh, you're saving about 15 pounds. That's really good if so. Plus, you're getting your free bag pattern as well. 
you're getting all four of those dressmaking patterns plus you're then getting your free beach tote bag as well for $49.99 absolutely amazing anything that you need to uh, know any questions that you have get them in uh, but you said even if we don't get chance to get to the Evie cross front top pattern there's a YouTube video there is showing you how to do the twist bit on the front Fab. Yes. so there's so. also that visual guidance as well with with YouTube video on that trip twist front and um, 49.99 for all four of them so you've done the USV version again haven't have. you for us yes fabulous so I think go on you've got two codes Do the other one. Do the other one first, Ben. Okay, so this one is, I think basically they, they might have put two onto the website. I think what's happened is there are two codes that have been put onto the might website. Be extended dispatch. Yeah. Yeah. So is that USB. in case one of these sells? Yeah, because last time it sold out and then we had to go to extended dispatch. So, so if you have bought the extended dish dispatch on the website swap it for this one because you'll get this one now this one is there it's ready i think there's people who have checked out on all sorts who have grabbed what they can um, if you check out on the code that's on your screen which is vho197 then these are ready to go is that yes. right as long as you get the collection number that's right is that one collection five yeah collection five. yeah collection five so make sure you just collect click in the collection five because we have got other ones on the website as well but what we're showing today is collection five yeah we'll underneath sure is on the, the web right one. they are both collection five they're both collection five the other code that we have is it does say extended dispatch so just don't worry about that one as this one is in stock this one will come straight to you and it's got on here everything that you need again your paper pads you can just print off yourself you can just print them off yep the nice thing with uh, the dressmaking when you're going to do that on a USB is that you could then say you want to print this one in a size 10 to 12 and then you want to make one for your friend and maybe she's a 14 to 16 because the sizes are joined like that so you could print off the size 10 to 12 and then you can go back a month later and you can cut ah. print off the size 14 to 16. Obviously with the printed patterns it's great because they're already full scale because there are going to be a lot of pattern piece, pieces mm -hmm. to stick Much together, together right? obviously to get it to big A0 size um, but um, Obviously, once you've cut your paper pattern out, if you've cut the smaller size, you then can't go back and cut the bigger size. So that's why people sometimes quite like the USBs because yeah. you can print it over and over again in the whole variety of sizes. Yeah, that's a really good point. I always say if there is a pattern that's you know physical like that, trace it out and make your own patterns anyway. Yeah, you so that. you may as well get your USB. That's a really good point. So here you've got all of those patterns that we've just been looking at. Um, you've got here your long summer jacket, your Evie top, your sphere top, your front tie kimono and your free bag. Don't worry, you're still getting your freebie, all $38.99. Um, yeah, I think our team were quick to preempt that we're probably going to get a sellout with this one and did you also an extended dispatch. So don't worry about that one. Just grab this code that's on your screen, VHO197. $38.99 making a saving obviously because you're not getting it all physically printed out and um, but it's this is going to be like a crash course in dressmaking isn't it exactly and you can take it as fast or slow, slow as, as you want, want. but yeah. yeah I mean if we were selling this as a as a dressmaking course, course. over this you know you'd be looking at kind hundreds of, of pounds uh, exactly <laughs> yeah it would be it wouldn't be cheap oh yeah, yeah. Oh, well I've been to a dressmaking class and you can pay you know 50 60 pound for a class whereas you know if you're going on a workshop if you're going on uh, a course where you're going week by week learning all these different things you pay hundreds of pounds uh, here you're getting them all on USB you don't need to leave the comfort of your own home. You can stop. You can, of course, have a look through, start again whenever you need, pick it up and put it down wherever you want to. Just $38.99. And you say, you change size, you change shape, pick this up, get the next size up if you want as well. Um, they're all on that one USB, so you don't need to choose the size today. It's right from size 10 to 28, yeah. all on the USB. Yeah, all on the USB. Even if you're buying the printed patterns, you don't need to choose the sizes. You will have all sizes sent out to you. So I was asked, am I able to take it to a copy shop and they'll print it out for, for uh, you? No, because it is done with a on A4 size, so it does need to be on an A4 printer. Yeah. If you want the full scale one, we've got the, you buy the printed versions here because then you've got it all on that heavy duty paper anyway. Thank you don't you. need to take it anywhere else. You just, just print it off on your own home printer yeah perfect exactly. um right where shall we start shall i start by making the one that i'm wearing yes that's a quick quick easy one to show you okay so what we're going to do is you've got a back panel 
and then we've got two front panels. So we're going to lay that with the right side facing up. Then we're going to grab our back panels and we're going to put those together like that. So they'll line up here at the ends where our sleeve is. And I'm going to pin that into place. So what I'll do is put one pin at the end here. So this is our shoulder seam running down here. That one and this one. So here I'm using a twill fabric. So it's a little bit heavier as we go change through the season. Um, but yeah, you could do it in jersey as well. You could lengthen the sleeves if you want to. I'm gonna pop one here and just do a few. So this is gonna be our shoulder seam. So I'm just gonna whiz that. It's one centimeter seam allowance. So I'm just gonna stitch down there now. Bear with me. Just normal straight stitch. just going to change the length of the stitch just so it gets it done a bit quicker because there's so much I'd like to show <laughs> if we get time oh yeah don't you worry so I'm going to whiz down straight seam and don't worry with this fabric um, it does not matter with these sort of styles if your stitching is not dead straight if your cutting is not dead straight it really won't matter because it just flows and falls my stitching won't be straight here today my cutting, <laughs> and my cutting certainly isn't okay so that's a shoulder seam and now i'm going to line it up and do the side seam okay so this is going to be my sleeve so i don't want to stitch there and this is going to be my side seam so this is my sleeve, this bit here. Yeah. And now I'm going to stitch the underarm all the way down here. No pins? I'm going to put some pins in okay. it, yeah, because it's a floaty fabric. And you do kind of want a floaty fabric to do this. So I'm going to put a few pins in it. At home, um, I would do them kind of every sort of three inches. I might cheat and do a bit less here because I know this fabric doesn't slip around too much. And we'll do it like that. And I'm actually stitching straight with the pins. There's no need to tack it or anything like that just go straight away with them and it's a very forgiving size um, shape rather and it kind of cocoons at the side which is quite flattering uh, this is the long summer jacket pattern by the way for anybody who is just tuning in you can get them all part of a bundle with a freebie pattern of a bag um, or you can get them individually the paper patterns or the usb whichever way you want to do it the bundle on the usb or the individual paper patterns and they do come in this lovely wallet that you can keep all of, you know, which you've cut your patterns out and you've got them there so you can come back to it because you can do this in so many different fabrics. It's gonna look completely different. I do really like the fabric that you're wearing it with. But let's yeah. have a look and see what's on the website. It, um, it came in yesterday and I was like, oh, quick, I need to make something. And that's the nice thing is you can, you know, take one of these patterns and run it up and wear it out in the evening. Yeah. And they do not take that long to do. So that's one side done. Okay, so I've done my arm and I've done, done my shoulder and now my underarm. And now I'm just gonna repeat the same thing on the other side. So just bear with me while I do that. And you'll see the shape is coming together. So I'll take this one and pop it on here. Always right sides together. We've cut it as a pair, meaning we've got a symmetrical pair here. So right. to do that, if you have your fabric folded in half and put your pattern piece on there, then obviously when you cut it out, you will end up with a pair. Um, if you're unsure, haven't done it before, just go onto our website and have a look at the blog. So go to alanstonecat.com and there's lots of blogs and help on there if you are a bit nervous. But there is no need to be. It is dead so simple. Pin pins here. So I'll pin this, I'll pin the side as well so I can whiz both of those. So I'm just repeating exactly the same thing and this will be the main construction done then. I like that all the way down and just have fun making these in a variety of fabrics and if you get a chance to send us some photos I always love seeing the photos oh yeah it's great to see people actually making them using the patterns and the fabric choices that everyone chooses different fabrics which is um, a really nice thing you can really make something to suit your shape and style I mean it's the kind of jacket that is perfect you know if you're traveling but also if you go into an event, I would wear this to a wedding. You know, oh yeah, it looks great. Dress. And it's always just nice to have something to throw over, like you say, your arms, if you feel a bit uncomfortable, especially going to a wedding. It's a long day, isn't it? You do want to be comfortable. Yes, definitely. It's all about comfort for me these days. 
So I'm just going to whiz down that side there. At home, you would then need to neaten these seams. So you would do that. Um, again, there is a blog at alanstonecat.com, but um, mm -hmm. you can neaten it by using an overcasting stitch, which this machine has a great one. So we're using the Brother FS250 today, and that has an overcasting stitch on it, as most machines do these days. What um, is going on with our machine, by the way? Her probably making literally still stolen in the mall. Tracy, <laughs> it's your fault oh, going really? over to the sister <laughs> channel. We will definitely it was, get it, don't we, for 12 o'clock? It was very popular. Oh no, was it really popular? I'm really scared that they've sold them all and um, they're just avoiding us now, not telling us. We've been trying to load it into our system and it, 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 it's still on the uh, Hobby Maker website for some reason, but we will get it onto our site very soon. Because we love this machine. I know a lot of people, I think there was a lady earlier, what was her name? Um, Da, 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 da. who messaged on Facebook saying that she really wanted this machine. Oh, here you go, Margaret. Thanks so much, Tracy. I'm looking forward to purchasing the new brother machine. She says, I love the reliability of them. Yeah. So, I mean, that's what I remember Stuart Hillard when he first bought these in and he said if ever he's running workshops or classes, you know, you can often spend a lot of time trying to explain to people how to set the machine up, what to do it, but this is so intuitive people just get on and sew exactly so it makes it much easier we can then just get on and have fun with the machine so yeah it's a great machine so i've done that so what we would need to do say is neaten those edges you can cut it with pink cheese if you want the old-fashioned way you can use an overlocker you can use an overcasting stitch but you'll see then that's the shape of the jacket now the other thing we've got to do is obviously we need to hem all the way around so you could start on the sleeves which is the straight bit and then work your way around the curved edge with the curved edge i would just press it first so what you've got to do is fold it under by a centimeter and under again and press that and then machine all the way around around the neck curve just take it nice and slow because it is going to be a curved edge there but let me show you i'm going to just go for it on here so we fold it under and under and i'm just going to machine down a little bit just to give you an idea and then you would do this around the whole raw edge and you would be finished so yeah i'd made this one in less than an hour yesterday brilliant i mean that is crazy isn't it that you can you know find some of your favorite fabric and like you said they've been wearing it out on the evening exactly if i put that one on you'd obviously press it as you go along it's really important when you're dress making to do that so i wouldn't normally wear two together obviously but just to give you an idea yeah the shape of it and how quick yeah that looks it lovely. just falls so you'd need to hem the whole thing but then uh -huh. other than that it's made oh it's, it's brilliant there is to it so you can belt it in if you wanted to yeah oh yeah. i love it so it's that is it. the long summer jacket pattern if you do want it on its own individually already printed out for you on your a0 um, pattern paper Full instructions included as well. How much is this on individually, Ben? Right, it's 13.99 on its own. You can get this on its own. If you're loving all of these different patterns, the main graphic is for the bundle on the USB stick. So you've got your long summer jacket. You've also got the Eevee top, the Sophia top. You've also got your Thai kimono and you're getting your free bag pattern included as well. All of them are on there for 38.99. Um, very, 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 very popular indeed. Another one that's really popular individually is the top, the um, Sophia top. Now that's the one that you're wearing is, without yes. the tie, yeah, isn't it? Yeah, without the tie, yeah. So you can either have it with the tie, like this here, or if you want to, you can just not put the ties on. So for this one, I just thought I'd just wear it as just a simple shell like top. Yeah, like an alternative to a t-shirt. Really comfy to wear. I can move around in it. Covers my upper arms. Yeah. Again, it's not a difficult one to make. Do you have any darts in that? that? Uh, no darts no? at all. No, you just have it hanging. It's to do with the cut, of the way we've cut the pattern. Yeah. So there's no darts needed in it at all. Wow, that is lovely. <laughs> um, so if you do want to do that tie detail, you've got those two options, whether you have it on or whether you have it off is that another skill that's um you know a bit more difficult if you've got more or, or is something we can all do yes yeah, it's, it's really simple you put the two tie pieces together and stitch around leaving one edge open and then turn it through and with the instructions it really takes it through absolutely step by step as though you've never sewn before so don't worry if you haven't done any sewing you know if you advance you may be able to whiz through them but yeah it really is taking it through it step by step so i'm just looking at that pattern that you've got in front of you on the desk and that is exactly what, what i find really frustrating about dressmaking patterns i went on a dressmaking course a couple of years ago i went to dig out the 
pattern. I thought, I can't even use that. It's all crumpled up. You never up. want to use them again, exactly. No. And I went through it earlier. So sorry if, if you saw it earlier, but I think it's important to show. So yeah, this is what we're trying to avoid. It's patterns like that. Use it once. doesn't matter how many times you iron it. Or they never fit back in the envelope. You never want to use it again. So that's why we've done the two different options. So ours come, as we saw, and there's nice you know envelopes they're gusseted so you can fit the pieces back inside there it's got a nice washer on the back that you can close that back up with keep the instructions on the front because it'll tell you how much fabric you're going to need for each of the projects as well and then you've got a nice way of storing all your patterns in there and then hopefully you will use them time and time again because if you've seen this top looks so different in so many yeah. different fabrics and it's about creating a really nice wardrobe capture wardrobe for yourself that you can just then enjoy the process of buying the fabric and not worrying you'll know what size fits you there's a nice size chart in there the sizes are generous and it's um like they work size 10 to 12 it's a small 14 to 16 is the medium so they work up like that right. so there's plenty of give you don't have to go oh but i'm a 10 here and a 12 you know 10 on top 12 on the bottom it doesn't matter they're just going to be more generous sizes as a lot of the shops do these days small medium and large yeah and uh, i think it's important when you're dressmaking anyway no matter what patterns you're working with it's to get used to measuring yourself as well and seeing which one that you sort of fit into because if you send if you seem to think oh I'm a 14 to 60 on the high street you never know you might fit into a different category with um, one of the, the the dressmaking patterns so it's always yeah. get, worth getting into the habit of measuring yourself isn't it, it is and once you know then that's great because then you can just make them all over and over again rather than traipse around the high street trying to find something to fit which pattern have you got there so this one is actually for something else it's for a clutch bag but just to give you an example when you're printing the dressmaking ones, obviously there are going to be lots of pages because we need to create a big pattern piece. Right, this is for the USB option. This is for the USB option. So printed patterns is one we just looked at like that. You get it full scale, heavy duty paper. You don't need to do anything. You take the pattern out, choose your size and cut around to that. That's all done, heavy duty paper for you. So don't worry about that. But if you want to do the USB version, then they come like this. They're all on engraved USB sticks with a collection number on there because there is a lot of collections that we're doing um, and even more to bring you as well. So that will um, then work Put that into your computer, any computer with a USB port, no problem. Um, and then you've got two files, one with your instructions and one with your patterns. So the instructions, I tend to not worry about printing those off. You can just work off your laptop. You can print them if you want, it doesn't matter. They're just an A4 paper. Um, and then you'll print your pattern. So you just select the top that I'm wearing, maybe the Sophia top, press print and it will print it out. The first page that comes out will be this one here. And this is your guide, okay? So this particular pattern is a smaller one. So it only has six pieces of paper. The bigger ones obviously will just have more and it just shows us which way we need to do that. It will then print those six pages for us. You then take your six pages and they will look like this. So there's, you're not losing, using a lot of ink. Most of it is black, it's a tiny bit of red line every now and again, but the majority of it is black and there's very few amount of ink on there, so it doesn't really, you can use any paper, you could print it all blue or green, whatever you've got uh -huh. in, your, in your stash. Then to put them together, we're gonna to fold it over to that dotted line and we're gonna line up those two triangles there, like that, and then run a piece of tape down and then that's your first piece. And then you carry on until you've completed it as per your guides and you will then have your whole pattern stuck together like that yeah ready to go ahead so so with the dressmaker ones it's particularly nice on the usb because you can then print them over and over again so that's why we started doing pdf versions on our website and then we did it as a collection here which has been really popular put it onto a usb and then you can print whatever size you want you can print you know the extra extra large for a friend and then you might want to have the medium for yourself and you can do that that's and it's no fine problem. doing it on you know really affordable cheap photocopy paper exactly i would rather you've got five patterns on here yeah. on the usb or five crumpled like that in your drawer that just annoys me <laughs> oh absolutely absolutely oh christine we are going to talk about the brother machine don't you worry she just says i have this machine she says it's great anybody who has got it in their basket don't panic i know that you can't check out just yet but they will be allocated asap we'll keep you updated we will keep you updated this is the usb um, that we're talking about and it's actually engraved as well isn't it so you can see which one it is keep it in its little um in its little box as well make your little collection this is collection five where you're getting your long summer jacket jacket your evie top sophia top your tie front kimono which is the one that i'm wearing absolutely love it which one are you going to look at now so i'm going to make the one that i'm wearing now okay. so the sophia top perfect yeah. 
So what we're gonna do, we've got a front and a back on here. Very, very simple, we're gonna put those together. So very similar to the other one, really. There'll be some principles that are the same, but then we've got lots of finishing that's different. So you always want the right sides of our fabric to be facing each other, so right sides together. I'm gonna to start by doing the shoulder seam. So I'm gonna pop that on there, and I'm gonna pin along just like before from there to there. So this looks so different in a classic navy floral print here to the one that I've got on. And that's the really nice thing. Once you've got these basic shapes, which we all wear all the time, <laughs> and once you've got a good pattern for it and you know that you can follow it and that it fits you well, then you can enjoy the process of choosing the fabrics. It is addictive though, be warm. Oh, like you said, there are some <laughs> lovely fabrics out there, aren't there? <laughs> really nice. So what are we gonna do? Well, that's something that you're wearing. It looks very sort of mint velvet vibe. Yeah. It looks very expensive. Yeah. Does look very nice. And again, so I made, it took me just over two hours to make this one and the other one together. Gosh, really good. Yeah. That's the problem is I'm like everyone else. Well, if you see a fabric, you can't help. No. And I ordered them and they came in at the last minute. I was like, quick, quick, let's make those. So I'm gonna do, just like before, the shoulder seam comes across here. Uh, down there and then our underarm here so we're not going to stitch our sleeve obviously so i'm just going to whiz that together so i'm just doing one side first now you're just using a straight stitch because there's lots of different dress making feet attachments and stitches on this machine aren't there there are uh, which are going to be for different processes and different things because this is a viscous fabric i'm just using a regular straight stitch a regular needle um same needle that i was demoing the machines with earlier on today um, nothing special at all. If you're using a jersey fabric, you might want to put a jersey needle in there and there is a stretch jersey stitch as well. But to be honest, the style, it's not really using the stretch, it's a loose flowing mm -hmm. top. So you might want to make it in jersey, but really you'd be making it in jersey for comfort. You don't need to worry about making it um, for the stretch. For stretch, yeah. Did you do the show with Stuart when we launched this machine? Yes. yes. I did. I thought you did. I yes. thought I recognise you from somewhere. I recognise you the telly. <laughs> so, yes, if you do love um, this machine, I know that uh, you can't stay with us for the 12 o'clock hour today, but if you do want to watch the show back on YouTube, you did a whole... I think it was we did two, two hours, hours this morning. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Six till eight we did yeah. this morning. And then you had the show with Stuart as well when you launched it here on YouTube as yeah. well. And we've done things like Get to Know Your Sewing Machine, um, videos as well on YouTube from Alan Sewing Cat and that's been done on this particular machine oh, as well. Oh fabulous. Just to get everyone sewing because um, it's such a lovely hobby. Oh I know. And it's really nice when people do go do you know what I'm going to give dressmaking a try. I haven't done it since I was at school it was all a bit scary then now I'm going to give it a go and they kind of get their machines out and sometimes people don't know where to start if they've not done it before or can be a bit intimidated so we like to try and break it down for those that are new to it. Okay, so now I'm repeating exactly the same on the other side, so across the shoulders and down the side. So bear with me when I do that. You would neaten these seams at home, like we were saying earlier. So either do it on an overlocking with an overcasting stitch or a zigzag stitch, um, or even pinking shears. But an overcasting stitch is the best thing, and this machine has a great one, as do, in fact, all of the brother machines. And the shoulder seam. So you can see it's not going to take long before this starts coming together, just like the other top. All the way down. Yeah. It's very quiet, isn't it, the machine? Yeah, it is. I don't know if I'm used to seeing some bigger machines over the last few days on the show, but that seems really lovely and quiet, <laughs> but very speedy. Yeah, and it's nice and bright as well. It's got really great light with that. Okay. So that's our front and back put together. So we've got the essence of it, we've got the shape. Now we need to start doing our finishing things to it. So we've got, um, on the edge of our sleeve, we've got little cuffs. The pattern pieces for those as well? Pattern pieces, everything is there. You do not need to make your own patterns or cut anything with measurements. I don't do that. I always make a pattern piece so that you can just lay it on. This would be nice to it. do as a plain with a fancy cuff, wouldn't it? Yeah, exactly. Or vice versa. Fancy yeah, one wouldn't really do a plain nice. cuff. Yeah. And it's nice to wear under the kimono too, if you're looking for something to go with that. Or if you bought the one that we did last month that went crazy, thank you everyone who did buy it. We've seen lots of lovely photos as well. And that had a really nice pair of trousers on there as well that was really popular. So that was collection 11. I think it's still, still on the website actually. Um, lots of these will work really well with that. My mum mm. did the trousers and then this top as well. It looked great. Oh, they all work together. Like I say, they're actually, um, you know, real wardrobe builders, aren't they? Great 
clothes that we wear every day. Exactly. You're That's not what looking we want. at tailored prom dresses that you're going to wear once ever. These no. are all ones that you're going to buy and wear and wear and, uh, and remake in different fabrics all the time. Exactly. So we're talking about having essential things in your wardrobe that are comfortable, that are going to shoot, suit your shape and style. Mm. And you can style them up how you like. So these are the cuffs. So what I've done is folded those in half with the right sides together again, just like before. And I'm stitching that small bit here. So there are raw edges. So I'm just on one. I'm just going to do the other. And these are going to be our small cuffs. So it's teaching you again a different process to the other one, different way of edging it. So you could, you know, you could use the same process and just turn it under and under as we did on the long summer jacket but i think it's nice just to have this little cuff just make it that really nice little detail on the sleeve like that so we've got our cuffs like that so i'm going to fold those now so that our right side is on the outside like this so it forms a loop and we're going to go like that now i want my seam to be on the seam underarm seam like that so I'm going to pop that and pin it into place. Now I'm putting it on the inside of our sleeve because it's going to turn up and under, up and mm -hmm. over to the outside. So line those seams up and put a pin through it. Find the centre. You can do that just by folding in half. I don't do any uh, notches or anything like that on the patterns because people always get worried and cut the wrong place or do their notches too big we don't need to we can find the center of something just by folding it in half and pin in there like you say it's really clear concise instructions isn't it yeah it's not making it over complicated for the sake of making it over complicated i always think when people think of dressmaking they just hear all these different fancy terminologies and think i just can't do that or, it's actually really quite logical isn't it yeah i mean the fabrics never used to be as great as they are now so we used to have to do a lot of darts and fitting and the machines were never as good as we've got them now so the, it, you know it was harder when i learned to dress make definitely um but now we have these lovely floaty fabrics and what i've done is found styles that i like wearing that i find are easy um and then broken it down into ways that because i've taught classes a lot you kind of realize the steps that people need, what help they're going to need, the bits that they're going to find particularly difficult. So um, we, that's why we have such a great following, which is lovely, of people who've made from the crafts. I mean, we were doing the, the Christmas projects earlier. Yeah. Um, it's going to be the same level of really easy to follow instructions. So what I've done is I've stitched that cuff it all the way around. So the cuff is on the inside. You would then neaten that edge, same as we've done before, and then just fold that cuff up and out and onto the right side. You'd press this at home as well. So you'd give that a little press. You can see that cuff there. Now what I do is it's nice to do a little tack to hold the top of the cuff into place. You could do that on your, by hand, or I'm gonna do just a little forwards and backwards on the machine. Just a tiny little, I'm talking about two or three steps, uh, stitches is all we need just to hold that. And I'm gonna do the same on the underarm just because I haven't pressed it. And just a tiny little tack, say, so, or you could do it by hand. Kirsty says, I've made several Sophia tops. She says, I didn't use the ties. And on one, I used some of the Japanese uh, tiger fabric on the front and just plain black on the back. Oh, and nice. she said, um, oh, a plain black on the back and the neck and the armbands. And she says, I love them. Oh, thank you. That's so lovely. Yeah, there's nothing stopping you doing contrast fabrics. Exactly. Using two different fabrics. I've never done that, but actually that's a really good idea. That's the whole point. We can now all play and be designers. It's yeah. Okay, so that is one cuff done in there. I won't bore you by doing the other one, but you can see that cute little cuff there, which gives us the detail that I've got on the one that I'm wearing. So you'd repeat exactly the same on the other side here. How do you finish your seams on the inside? On the inside, you could do it, say, with that overcast and stitch, like we were talking about is earlier. Is there one on the brother machine? There is, yes, yes. Yeah, really nice one. And it comes with a great foot for doing that as well. So on this machine, I'll do stitch number eight. If you forget, say, just go to Alan Sewing and Cut, look at the um, Get to Know Your Sewing Machine and it will tell you on there. But that's a really good one to use. Um, so yeah, you need to all your seams. So we'd repeat that cuff, obviously, on the other side here. For the bottom, the hem, just like we did on the kimono, the long summer jacket rather, you're going to fold it under and fold it under again and press and stitch that to hold that. Okay. Ties, you can add the ties if you want to on the bottom or you can leave it off. 
And then the other thing that we need to do is the neckband. So we've got this raw edge here, we need to neaten that. So we're going to fold our bias, you've got a neck binding piece here, which is cut on the bias, meaning it's cut diagonally across the fabric, mm -hmm. and then we have some stretch. Again, there's blocks on that available as well. Fold it in half so the right sides are facing, and I'm going to stitch that small edge just so we've got a little loop, which are going to, will then fit around our neckline. Take that one, put it out of the machine, and what I want to do is I want that to go in the, the seam, to go in the centre back of my top. So to find the centre back, I'm going to fold it in half, I'm going to line up those seams, finger press it, and I'm going to put a pin there in the middle to mark the centre back. I'm going to do the same on the front, so I'm going to fold it this way, and I'm going to line up those seams, and then I'm going to put a small pin in there, just to hold that like that. Okay, take my bind in, turn it so the right sides are facing out, and I'm going to pin that into place. So onto the back, like that, because I want that seam to be at the centre back. Okay, I'm going to fold that in half, and then I lay my centre here. Put a pin in there and then we'll pin that all the way in. So I'm going to flip it that way around and then I can make sure I've got it the right way. So this time we are working with the right sides facing out. I know I'm whizzing through this but don't worry because the instructions will take it through step by step and it's exactly the same instructions whether you're having it on the USB or whether you're doing it as a, a PDF off the, um, oh yeah, PDF or a printed pattern rather. So the now just... main graphics is for the, the uh, USB version, by the way. Okay. So I'm just going to line up all those raw edges. It's easy, slightly easier if you press your binding piece first in half. So like that. So because it's cut on the bias, it means it's got a little bit of stretch, which we want to use. So you just stretch it very slightly to make it fit, because that will make it lay flat against our neck as well. And then repeat the same on the other side. There are different ways of doing the binding. Um, it's nice that you don't have to use any interfacings, you're not needing to go out and purchase any other extra bits. No, nope. it's just your fabric. Yep, your no, pattern. nothing else is needed. No, just going to make it really, really simple for you. Simple styles that just float and hang. That's what we want. Let the fabrics and our shape do the work, kind of thing. Pin that in. Just got to make sure that you've got all your edges together. If you press it in half, then it's um, certainly much easier to do that bit. All edges together. On the um, pattern, we do advise to stay stitch the neck first, and that means doing one line of stitching all the way around, just to stop it stretching because the neck is on a curve, so it might um, stretch a little bit. Okay. Um, so that's on there, but it tells Does you that, exactly how I to I know that it probably since the name stay stitching. Does it stay in? Is that is it isn't like yeah. a, a basting stitch that's within your seam? It stays in within yeah, your seam allowance. Yeah, it does because yeah, exactly that. We make sh yeah the distance that we say to do it means that it won't show at any point. Okay. Um, I mean, if you've done a lot, then you'll be able to do it without stretching, but the stay stitching just helps if it's your first time kind of doing it or you're working on a very stretchy fabric. Um, it's good to get into those habits anyway, isn't it, for when you're working with different fabrics? And yeah. And it doesn't take a minute to do, so it's good practice. You might have seen them doing it on the sewing bee sometimes. I know they often have to do that. Did you know that the Bake Off started last night? Oh, I did it. I I did it or not? Is this a rumour? Because I, I I don't know if it did, but everyone was telling me last night that it was on. I think I might have seen it advertised, so maybe it is. Mm. Okay, so I've taken all those pins out. Then you would again neaten that edge the same as before. If you don't want to do it this way, you can stitch one side and then turn it over and hand stitch it on the mm -hmm. other side. I'm just lazy. Okay then you would press that into place. Okay, so if we turn that around now, all that we need to do is to press that so that it holds nicely into place and that is your neck binding done.
very simple so that. yeah that's not it, when you see it you think oh gosh that's going to be difficult don't worry about that part that's and a lovely finish as well yeah it's really nice so as you say that would obviously be neat um everyone has got a different process mm -hmm. and different steps in there so that you are if you're new to dress making so you are learning, learning different process, or if you're recapping you know we haven't used any of that difficult terminology that they're used to using the patterns we've kept it very very simple amazing so yeah so that's how you would make your top really you've done the neck you'll do the same thing on both cuffs and then the hem as we said turn it under and under again and then you can attach the ties if you want to or leave it without like the top that i'm wearing just as a long basic shell top yeah yeah it's gorgeous isn't it and that's mm -hmm. when you get to experiment and play with different fabrics lots of different <laughs> fabrics and um, also included in that bundle is the kimono top which is already really really popular individually if you do want it as part of the bundle that's available is there anything that you wanted to mention about this one I know we haven't got time really to do uh, much demo um no I mean it's not a difficult one to do okay. um really nice again for all occasions um you can tie it up if you want to as we saw earlier or you yeah. can just have it loose fitting like we've got here and don't forget if you're buying it as a bundle that is the bag there that you're getting oh, for free yes, as well that is the beach tote bag oh, so you're great. gonna get the pattern to make that as well which is again a really popular one people love bags so if you're thinking of making presents for christmas that's a brilliant one to make um so you'll get that for free if you're buying it as the collection and, um, uh, and that's on the usb or on the physical pattern yeah. option as well so yeah. you will get that included which is brilliant um, which you say i think it's saving about 15 pounds isn't it if you yeah. are getting your bundle today main graphics has been there all um hour for your usb which is the most popular option remember Strangely, there are two uh, patterns. I think our team upstairs, after the demand last hour, preempted that this potentially is going to sell out today. If you want it, grab it now. If, when you come to watch it, maybe on a replay later on this evening and it's sold out, then um, there is also uh, a, an extended delivery option. Get the one that without the extended delivery option. You can get this right now, which is collection five you can see you've got the summer jacket on there the kimono that i'm wearing you've got the top that we've just been looking at you've also got that cross top as well and your free bag pattern included um for 38 pounds and 99 pence print off your own patterns on home just on your nor normal printer um, and stick them all together to create whatever size you want and that's the cross top it as is. well yeah Yep, so that is the one that's got the little twist at the bottom. So we've got it here in plain red, which is great for, you know, coming into the season, into mm -hmm. winter. So we've got different necklines as well for you. Um, that same really easy floaty sleeve, as you'll see on the one that I'm wearing. Don't be put off by the twist thinking it's difficult. It's really not. You just do one seam first at the bottom, then we turn our pattern pieces, twist them around and make them become a front again. Do the center seam and then just like the one we've just done, front and backs together, shoulder seams, underarm seams. So a lot of the principles are gonna be similar, but you get that really flattering twist that lays below the waist. So it takes your, it just draws your eye down. So mm -hmm. that's why I think this style is great and flattering for lots of shapes and sizes. They're all in sizes 10 to 28, so great size range as well when you make it again. And the great thing about having USB is that you can print off accordingly to whatever size you want. Um, thank you so, so much for today. It's been amazing <laughs> to meet you. And yeah. thank you for all of the tips as well on the Brother Machine. What we're gonna do is we are going for a break and we're gonna try our best to get all of the stock back for you because there are loads of you who've got it in your basket after the demonstration um, with Tracy. I think there are two that you can get now. If you want to get them, you're desperate to get it, grab it now. There are two on the pre-order website. We'll get more after the break. Plus as well, the embroidery machine. I know you love the embroidery oh, machine yeah. as well, don't you? It's, a great, it's an amazing price. It's got Disney designs built in as well, but yeah, it's a fantastic price. Don't miss out on that one. We well, can get both of them for less than a thousand pounds. That's what crazy. I find crazy. Exactly. Well, you can pay a thousand pounds just for your sewing machine or just for your embroidery machine you can get both separate machines not combi both machines less than a thousand uh, pounds um we also have by the way a bit of a a surprise i i've heard from Haley. she sent something down she's got a bit of a surprise resort as a manager special we're going to do it after the break so stay exactly where you are when are you back with us tracy oh i can't remember the you date next now month? but it is yeah next, next month. month follow us on social and we'll put the date up there but yeah once a month we come back with different designs and, and you run as well a club the owl and the sewing cat yeah, club we as do well, a monthly subscription which is fantastic so brilliant. people sign up and then every month they get a project out in the post to them so oh, we're nice. cutting christmas projects now <laughs> brilliant yeah check out the website um owl and the sewing cat for more details on the subscription as well brilliant thank you so thank much you. 
you today. Thank, Thank you. Um, check out of your baskets on all those bundles. Your USBs, your patterns individually are all underneath us on the website. I've got to give this kimono back now, haven't I? Um, don't go anywhere though, because we've got a special treat for you after the break. We're going to remind you about the Gemini machine, which is on five-way split pay, and of course we've also got our two brother machines to bring you all in the next hour. We're going to try and get all of that in. So stay where you are. We're back after this. Hello, I'm Catherine Wright from Leicestershire Craft Centre based in Market Harborough. I'm delighted to be part of the Sewing Street family. I've been sewing since the age of seven when my mum taught me to sew. I particularly enjoy dressmaking and all through my childhood I made my own clothes uh, including dancing costumes and my prom dresses. But I also enjoy patchwork and bag making and hand stitching and embroidery and really anything textile based. The thing I particularly love about fabric and textiles and stitching is that there is always something new to try, there's always a new technique or a new skill to learn uh, and I really enjoy doing that. My top tip for new sewers is to uh, be friends with your iron. Your sewing also always looks better when it's been pressed and it's not like ironing your own clothes, it's much more, much better than that. And also to uh, build your skills up step by step. Don't launch in with the, with the wedding dress first off. You know, start with a simple dress and build your skills up and then you'll see good results right from the start and feel enthusiastic and carry on sewing. So really, just have a go, have fun. It's all about having fun and enjoying it. Um, so happy sewing. Miss the live show? Don't worry, we recorded it for you. Never miss out on your favourite presenters, guests and makes ever again. Head on over to our YouTube pages to watch back the day's live show and enjoy your favourite demos over and over again. Subscribe and turn on the bell notification so you never miss a show or video ever again. We have some exciting news. Sewing Street has been nominated in the Best of Craft Awards and the British Sewing Awards for 2022. We're so amazed that two years have flown since Sewing Street started and we couldn't have done it all without our Sewing Street family. Thanks to our presenters and guests for entertaining and inspiring us every day and for all of our viewers for tuning in for all the fun. We've been lucky enough to be nominated for two awards this year, which are the most loved TV shopping channel at the Best of Crafts Awards and the best sewing social media account at the British Sewing Awards. To vote, please head to our website to find out all the details you need to get involved. Thank you for your support and votes. We know that shopping online can be a confusing and sometimes daunting task and sometimes all you want to do is talk to a human being. Our family-run customer service team are on call 24-7. Full of friendly, warm-hearted individuals, all trained to make your shopping experience as easy and enjoyable as possible. Not only will they take your order, they'll also help and guide you on your shopping journey, so you never miss out. Follow Sewing Street on Facebook and Instagram to keep up to date with what's coming up on the show, as well as being the first to know about our amazing offers. Get involved with our competitions that are exclusive to social media. And pick up some top tips from us too. If you're a Sewing Street or Yarn Lane customer, no matter how many times you check out in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. So don't wait to add the item you want to your basket and check out. You will only pay one PMP even if you check out multiple times in one day. Keep up to date with what's on Sewing Street as well as all the latest news and special offers by signing up to our email newsletters. Head on over to www.sewingstreet.com, scroll down to the bottom of the home page, type in your email address, click the envelope, and you're done. 
never miss out on the latest news and special offers ever again. Are you a fan of Sewing Street and Yarn Lane? Why not join our growing Facebook fans pages? Just search Sewing Street Fans and Yarn Lane TV Fans on Facebook and click Join Group. It's that simple. Never miss out on the latest news and updates from our presenters and guest designers, special offers and plenty of chat with your fellow fans. Share photos of your makes, ask for advice, interact with your favourite guests and presenters and be a part of the ever-growing sewing and yarn community. See you there! Hello, welcome back, welcome back. Okay, we have got an hour. We've got so much to talk about, so, so much to talk about. I've got the embroidery machine in front of me. I've got um, the Brother Sew machine as well in front of me. We've got both of them here. And I think our stock, my word, that was touch and go, wasn't it? Um, I blame Laura. Laura, 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 my friend Laura. She's um, <laughs> been on Hobby Maker this morning and she stole all our stock of our, our sewing machine. But anyway, we're not bitter or anything because we've got it back, we're fine. So, if we have a look at the sewing machine, it's the one that Tracy's been using all day today. She is a huge advocate. She, in fact, launched the Brother Sewing Machines um, here at Sewing Street. If you have any questions about these machines if you're on the fence if you're i mean you're if you've had them in the basket and you've been waiting to check out now is the time to do it now i want to go through everything and this is slightly sort of um selfish reason but my really good friend jazz she is watching and she wants this machine and i told her that i would talk her through all of the features and functions right now at 12 o'clock so jazz this show is for you and for everybody else who's been looking at this machine and um, just quickly this was now sold out We've got a different code. This is how we've had to do it today. Oh, it's the same code. Oh, this is so, this is so confusing. Don't, you don't worry. You don't worry. We are now in single figures of this machine. Now I can go. Are you happy? So the reason I love this machine and the one that I would recommend this one to my friends is because one, it's really lovely and portable. So if you don't have a designated sewing space, this is one that's brilliant that you can pack away. You can put um, in a different bedroom. You can take it up and down the stairs. You can take it to workshops and to classes if you want to learn to um, do quilting. As I know Jazz does, she's going to start a quilting class. You can take this with you. Um, and I love that you can grow with it. So yes, I'm not going to lie to you if you go to a supermarket you can buy sewing machines in supermarkets but it always bothers me that I think uh, who are you gonna call if something goes wrong what's the customer service team like you're not gonna be able to have that split pay option are you going to be able to get the results that you want can you grow with it um, you can buy a machine for a couple of hundred pounds the reason that we have this as our most affordable machine is because we're confident that you're gonna get the results that you want and come back and still sew with us and buy different projects have a go at different projects from us so it is one that is very intuitive it is user friendly it will do everything that you want it to do in terms of um, stitching uh, bags dressmaking we've seen it today with Tracy we've seen it for crafting for um, you know for, for, for Christmas makes for um, toy making it is going to be able to tackle all of those different kind of projects that you might want to try. And as you watch Sewing Street, you may say, I'm solely a dressmaker. Brilliant, because it's got, I think, seven different attachments, different feet that you can um, include for, for dressmaking and a huge array of dressmaking stitches as well. Um, but what other uh, element is, is, is great with this? Here you go, look. So you have got a huge array of utility stitches, dressmaking stitches, uh, buttonholes, applique stitches, quilting stitches. You've even got a separate guide up here which you have got your alphabet. So 
If it is showing sold out, refresh your browser on the website. Um, we have quantity back, but you have to just refresh your browser. Uh, I love as well that look, you've got three different scripts. So you've got your um, out, uh, your capital letters, you've got your script font, and then you've also got this one, which is like bubble writing. It's amazing. So this is for monogramming. It's not an embroidery machine. We have got the embroidery machine on the show today. Um, this is a sewing machine that has got the ability to do your monogramming. So for quilt labels, for um, names on school uniforms, for just personalizing small projects, for on soft toys and things like that ideal for dates, for names, for wedding, bits and bobs, you can do it. It's got 250 stitches, which are all, I'm just gonna move this across so you can see it a bit clear over here. Um, you've got here 250 stitches, um, all listed on the stitch chart right in front of you here, which you can navigate through really, really easily. So it's all in different uh, sort of modes. Now we'll have a look at the, the, the top of the machine if that's okay here. So you can see all of these buttons that are your sort of quick access buttons. So you have your variable speed control. This is one which you can slow right down, not necessarily just because you're starting sewing, but maybe you're getting to some real crucial corners where you're wanting to pivot, where you're doing intricate seams on, on your dressmaking, maybe some sleeves or something, but you want to slow it right down. If you're going around tight corners for a plique, slow it right down. Yesterday, Janet Clare um, slowed her machine right down to be able to do curved piecing, so you don't get any puckers. That is really, really useful. You've then also got here three different buttons. So you've got your reverse stitch, you've got your needle down, and you've also then got your locking stitch. Um, or is that your start and stop? I think that is your, I think that's your start and stop, which won't let you do it unless you obviously, um, you've got your foot down and, and start going. That one's your start and stop, so you can use it with or without a foot pedal. Uh, now, it is very intuitive. It's really user friendly, so it won't let you do anything that you, you, uh, you it won't, won't let you break it basically so it won't let you do something that it's not able to do a lot of people fear going from a non-computerized machine to a computerized machine because of that word computer please please know that that is there to help you out so it means it's more intuitive it won't let you do anything you're not allowed to do it also means that as you go through all of these 250 different stitches it will automatically move the needle to where it needs to be positioned and default to the recommended stitch width and stitch length it'll also tell you what foot you should be using for that um, for, for, for that stitch there are a lot of feet that come with this machine which we can go through in a moment in fact actually we go through them now because Charlie's got a list of them here so they all come in the little pouch you've got your zigzag foot your straight stitch foot your zipper foot your gathering foot your five pin uh, five pin tuck foot I mean these are all feet that you don't get as standard on many machines you know non-stick foot you get adjustable bias binder you get your narrow hemmer you also get a buttonhole foot a zipper foot overcasting foot a blind stitch foot these, these are foot, feet that you were f more familiar with your monogramming foot a button attaching foot you also get an extension table if you are looking at more affordable machines ask yourself does it have an extension table does it have this array of dressmaking feet? Does it come with a three year warranty? It comes with all of these feet, which are brilliant. I mean, look at this. And then you are still going to be able to grow with it. So this machine, no, it doesn't come with a free motion foot or a walking foot, but do you have the ability of adding one if you want to? Yes. Whereas my first sewing machine that I had, once you'd sort of used the capacity of the machine, you'd use, you, you couldn't adapt to it. You'd have to buy another machine to then do um, a walking foot, to then have a go at free motion. And let's face it, watching Delphine Brooks, we're all a bit inspired, aren't we, to have a go at putting our free motion foot on. Even if you think, oh, I don't know whether uh, I'm gonna be a, a free motion quilter, I just wanna have a go. You can buy a free motion foot separately and because this machine, if I spin it round, has got the ability of dropping the feed dogs at the back here. So this button, you just pull it across and if you watch under the feed dogs, they then drop down. Now if I try and pull it back, don't worry if they don't come back up. If you start sewing, they lift up. Don't pat it. Because I thought, oh my gosh, I've broken it. First time I did it, I thought I'd broken it. You haven't. Also, you can take 
this off completely and use it as a, a free arm. So if you do bag making, you can sew in the round. If you're dressmaking, you can sew sleeves and cuffs and trouser legs. That is brilliant. It's got a drop-in bobbin with a really easy threading guide. It's got extra storage inside here. And look at how neat and tidy this is. See, that is a lovely, really, really lovely um, uh, little box to keep all of your feet that are standard, but then they're all your extra dressmaking feet that we had a look at earlier. You've got your quick and pick, your button um, buttonhole foot there, everything included um, in that price of just three nine nine or split pay. Remember, today you can use the split payment option of just £133. This is the extension table that comes as standard as well with it. Um, yes, to answer your question at home, once you've paid that first split payment, you will receive the machine. How good is that? Interest free as well. So, your feet come out and then once your free arms off that literally slots into place and if you're working on you know larger projects it's good to have that extra bed space but anything that takes pressure off the needle itself is always useful so if you have got the space to keep this on when you're sewing go for it absolutely go for it so going through the stitches here where am I looking? It goes in tens and single units here, so you can easily, quickly navigate through your stitches. And notice, if I just go back to um, my first few stitches, it will tell you what foot to use. So here it's telling me what foot to use. It's got my recommended stitch width and stitch length, which you can still override. So if you want to override your stitch width or stitch length, it will tell you if you, um, if you can't go any wider on that certain stitch. I think this goes up to, let's have a look on just a straight stitch. So if I'm back at the start, let me go back to the beginning. If I'm back at my ordinary straight stitch, my default for a normal straight stitch is 2.5 stitch, uh, stitch length and obviously it doesn't have a stitch width because it's not a zigzag. But if I go up, it goes up to a 5 stitch length and up to a 7 stitch width, which is actually, I think a 7 is what the NX7 Dukey machine, which is over a £3,000 machine, that's the, the maximum stitch width that they want to go to as well because they said that you then start to lose um, a bit of the, the definition and, and the, um, the clarity if you start to go wider with machines. So, I mean, they've got so many amazing positive features and I just feel for that price, if you are spending less than £500, get this machine. It's crazy, it is crazy. Uh, now we are in single figures, we are in single figures, so if you've got any questions, it comes with an incredible user manual. Normally, in my house, if I get a user manual out, it means that I've, uh, I've, I've lost. It means that I haven't completed it very well and I need to get the manual out if I'm putting it together. But don't, don't see it as that. Use the manual as a guide and help. It's got lots of great instructions of setting up your machine, um, lots of troubleshooting I, uh, help as well on dressmaking. It's got lots of help and guidance. So use this um, whilst you've got it here. It comes with that as well. A collector of Merseyside say, I love that the machines on Sewing Street come with extension tables. My old machine didn't have one and they're quite expensive. Some of them, I remember there was a machine that I used to sell and you would have to get it made. So you would have to pay a lot of money to have it made um, uh, alongside it. You can use twin needles with it. It's really beautiful and compact. Uh, it's lightweight so you can take it with you, but it does come with a nice hard cover. So yes, thank you for all of your messages about the Brother Machine today. A lot of people loved it when um, Tracy was using it earlier. This is the machine that he's been using it. If you want any more information, we're live until one o'clock. I can answer any of your questions on Facebook, on the website, or of course you can speak to our in-house customer service team who are here 24 hours a day. So have a serious think about it, but don't wait too long as we are now in single figures. We've already had lots of sales on that one this morning. Um, okay. Brother has got a very reputable name, hasn't it? It's a brand that we know, it's a brand that we love, it's a brand, oh, it's a brand that is newer to Sewing Street. It's not something that we um, have bought for very long. And it was actually Stuart Hillard's input who said, you have to have Brother machines on the show. What baffles me is the fact that you can get a great quality sewing machine and a great quality embroidery machine 
for less than a thousand pounds. If you're getting them both, you can buy a sewing machine and pay over a thousand pounds. And does it have all of the features and functions that you have with the brother? Um, you can buy an embroidery machine, singular, that's over a thousand pounds. I mean, it's amazing that you can get these two. And my my bugbearer is combination machines, if I'm honest, or not necessarily combination machines. Combination machines that are like a tumble dryer washer dryer do you know what I mean all in one because I feel like mm, is it going to have to sacrifice something to be able to bring you that combo so to be able to if you have the space and you like doing your embroidery if you're sewing something you don't have to stop sewing to then put it onto embroidery mode to then do your embroidery bits whereas with this you can keep sewing and you can do your embroidery now if you just want to do embroidery I know you're watching a sewing channel but maybe you don't sew Maybe you know somebody who doesn't sew. I know people who have started up their own businesses just with an embroidery machine and have bought, you know, plain baby grows, pillowcases, towels, bags, sportswear, workwear. This is what is brilliant. The possibilities are endless. And if you have a look on Etsy, if you have a look on Not On The High Street, if you have a look on any of those websites where people make and people sell or people uh, have their own businesses and their own outlet to sell online, eBay. If you just have a look at how much it costs for things to be personalized. I didn't realize until I got married and I thought, oh, I'd love to have lots of like handkerchiefs all embroidered with the names and dates or napkins embroidered with names and dates, favors with different names on. And my word, it was a fortune. And in the end, um, I managed to use an embroidery machine, do it myself, and my word, I saved myself a fortune. Saved myself a fortune. You could do beautiful hoop art. We were talking with, uh, we were talking actually with Becky, and she says she loves rude words on embroidery, <laughs> on hoop art. She has it in a downstairs bathroom, which is hilarious. Um, but with this, it comes with a huge array of built-in stitches. And yeah, it does. I thought it did, but I didn't want to say until I saw it. If I spin this round, it has got a USB port. Now that means that you can upload your own designs, logos, workwear um, logos as well. You could do your own merchandise, hats. You could do um, jumpers, you could do anything. Now, anybody who has got grandchildren, children, siblings i mean what am i talking about children for i am obsessed with disney i sat i said yesterday i watched pinocchio cried oh i love it i put on my instagram the other day the trailer for the new little mermaid film that's coming out i am a, a real disney fan this is amazing with this brother machine firstly i mean how cute is this this is the official look mickey mouse classic mickey you're seeing Jurassic Park. Is that Disney? No. So, firstly, you get a full operational manual. So you get your full operation manual. You have everything that you need to know to set up your embroidery machine, how and when to use stabilizers, all of that demystified. You do not need to be able to sew. It is not a sewing machine. It's a solely embroidery machine. You just leave it and go as well, it does it for you. I mean, don't get me wrong, I love hand embroidery, but on here you've got designs that look like they've been cross-stitched. Let me show you. So, we'll have a bit of a flick through this book because there are loads in here. You've got fonts, you've got amazing monogram options, but big monogram options. Um, You've got all of these different alphabets on there. Now this is just solely your personalizing options for your alphabet. Yeah, you've also got, keep going, keep going. I wanna find some of these, um, I think it's at the back actually, the, the different charts. These are like borders, oh here we go. So you've got different lovely borders, you've got stars, you've got Christmas patterns, you've got butterflies in here, you've got cupcakes. You've got little birds, you've got, um, look, a little cat in a teacup. You've got a little dog wearing glasses. So these are all ones that you can use to make to sell. You can, Ben, you can use these ones. All of these you can use to make to sell. Now, what is just for you and for your friends and family is that Brother are also giving you licensed Disney 
embroidery designs that are built into the machine already. So there are hundreds before you start even delving into the fact that you can put your USB in. I really want this machine. I really want it. Oh, I love it. I love personalising things. I think it's so lovely. You know, if someone's getting married, someone's special birthday, someone's had a baby, just to be able to personalise it. And I mean, I went to Disneyland Paris. If you buy a Disney t-shirt, a Disney baby grow, a Disney anything, obviously it can't, you pay pretty penny. These are licensed official Disney, which are just for you. You can't download these anywhere else. They are just uh, for this brother embroidery machine. And look, You've got all the princesses, Snow White, Belle, you've got Rapunzel, Cinderella, Jasmine, we've got Ariel, See, we've got Winnie the Pooh, we've got Mickey and Minnie Mouse, let me keep going because look there's even more, you've also got, oh yes, you've also got Frozen, Alice, Tinkerbell, um, what's this one? The Fox. Who's the fox? Robin Hood. Robin Hood. Cars. Toy Story. Monsters Inc. Finding Nemo. All of them are included. And then this. Right, no, 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 no. Have you ever seen anybody using a water soluble stabilizer? So you can do lace work. This is jewelry. You can make Disney jewelry with this machine. You're thinking how, 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 how? So you basically let it do its thing, select the design, it will do its thing, but it's the stabilizer that you use and then you soak it in water, it will get rid of like the fabric that you're stitching it onto basically and just leave the stitches so you can make the bracelets, you can make little pendants, you can make all of those included as well. I mean all of those, it's, 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 the, it's the same with all of them. So if you do for example um, butterflies, you can make three dimensional butterflies, like lace work, it's just gorgeous possibilities are endless and really easy to use comes with different size hoops as well um, everything that you need oh I don't think the, I think the hoops been taken out but you get all of the different size hoops that you that you need it is you know still something that you don't need to necessarily have out all the time it's weightier obviously because of the the carriage that it's got on here it's a weighty carriage but it's still able to be sort of packed away we have got some storage bags um, in the hour as well if you want to have a look on pre-order but I just think for that price for that name for the fact that you're getting all of those oh all of those Disney uh, uh, motifs as well oh, wow what an option I love it when we first bought these on they sold I mean tenfold there were so many people who managed to get them so I'd love to see what you've made I would love to see what you've made right do you want a little surprise I've mentioned this all day. Come on, you might have seen it literally sneaking in the corner here, but I did not see this quilt yesterday, not yesterday, last week, and it is spectacular, isn't it? I love, these are my, um, these are my color palette. I'm really into my soft grays, my nice cream tones. This beautiful blue makes me feel like I'm being quite bold. I'm not just sticking to my grey palette. I'm introducing colour into a bedroom or however you want to, to use it. But isn't that just gorgeous? It's a massive quilt as well. Finished size is, let me see. Hang on, it's not the right one. I'm going da 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 Right. Look, this is the one that you're getting. It's so similar. The colours are so, so similar. So, you are getting this one, still with those lovely grey toes, still with the dark blues. Um, the finished size is 100, uh, 211 by 211 centimetres. And you are getting, how much fabric have we got here? Um, it says you're getting not over nine meters in total over nine meters in total everything you need this is what you're making sorry about that this is what you're making 169.99 56.66 on split pay as well it will all come beautifully packaged with your full instructions your piecing technique your full um, 
fabric breakdown, your cutting instructions, your assembly, quote assembly diagram there, how it's constructed, which it's constructed in rows on, uh, on the diagonal, and then all of your fabric. All of your fabric is included in here. Now it's 169.99 or 56.66 on split pay. There were loads of you who missed out on this last week. We've managed to, I don't know whether we've managed to get more. I don't know whether there are a couple of people who, oh, okay, this is it. This is everything that we can get, the single figures. To be able to get that much William Morris fabric is just, so, oh, indulgent, isn't it? It's gorgeous. You've got the lovely blues, you've got those beautiful greys. Look at that one. Absolutely stunning. It's going to make a massive quilt. Now, this was demoed, I believe, last week. Um, do you know what date it was, Ben? 19th. And was it demonstrated? 19th of August. We'll have a look and see whether it was demoed or whether it was just showcased because quite a lot of the time when we have projects like this, they might not even get a, a chance to be to, to be demoed. So do make the most of it as we are now in single figures. That was our surprise from Hayley. She's let us have the final 10. 169.99 or 56.66 on split pay. When was the last time we had a William Morris quilt that size? Gosh. You are getting a huge amount of fabric, over nine meters of fabric. Shouldn't this be like over 200 pounds? 180 pounds is our price on this, 189 actually. So we've taken it today to 169 99 169 99 56 66 on split pay. Um, three split payments have a serious think about it it's absolutely beautiful really really beautiful if you've got them in your basket remember we are now down to less than 10. it's all free spirit fabric as well in here you are getting all wrapped in ribbon i don't really want to open it because i'm scared that this is going to go to somebody and i'm never going to be able to get it as beautifully uh, presented as this all of these fabrics all included 169.99. Did you do this, Ben? Not I don't think I don't think Ben demonstrated this, but I think Ben was here. Fabulous, thank you. It was on with Stuart. Um, if you do want to watch the show back, it was back on the 19th. Sorry, the 10th. Here we are. This is it. This is the one behind Stuart. Oh, isn't it amazing? So, 169.99. They were talking about quilting clips there, I think. But you're getting all of these fabrics, and you saw it there behind Stuart. There's another corner of it. Oh, oh, nearly. Hang on, there it is. There it is behind Stuart. It's another absolutely beautiful quilt. And actually, the piecing itself and the cutting itself, they're all squares. Squares, and obviously then you need your triangles around the edge, so for your border. So it's literally just you know, your four inch squares. You've got oodles of fabric here. Oodles of fabric. There are less than 10. We are into single figures. Absolutely make the most of that whilst you can. Thank you very, very much to our Hayley, who is, um, I mean, these normally only come out on very, very special occasions. So we are very, 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 very lucky to be able to get those in. Right, don't forget the Gemini machine is on five-way split pay we're going to get it on in a moment shall we do the sewing machine bags because it's always worth now people are going to workshops and classes having a good storage bag for your sewing machine now the machine the brother machine comes with a hard case the Anna 550 560 570a all come with a hard case um which is great for storing away but i love these bags and i've not seen them for ages the turquoise one's lovely so it's got a really lovely 
hard base, really lovely secure bottom with your um, feet on the bottom as well. So when you're lifting it up and down, obviously you spent hundreds and hundreds of pounds on machi your machine, you want to make sure you protect it. So you've got those uh, feet at the bottom, oh, there you go. Then you've also got your reinforcement on your handles with your Velcro, you've got that really lovely zip pull with your key ring and your scissors. It's one that's nice and sort of wiped clean. Now when I did a bit of research, I found a very, very similar bag on John Lewis's website, I think it was. And you're normally looking about 25 to 30 pounds for a bag of this quality from my experience. I think it was a wax cloth one, whereas this isn't, it's uh, more of a canvas, but it's still wiped clean. Then you've also got your double zips. And that's going to be able to zip right down to be able to access your sewing machine. Now this will fit easily your brother machine. Let me show you. So I've tried it before with your 550s, your 560s, your 570A of your Elners. Um, your brother, let's have a look. Yeah, absolutely fine, no problem. I've got a feeling if you've got the 680, it fits in at a squeeze. I'll give you the measurements in a moment if you wouldn't mind finding them on the website, Ben, so we can test for our, for our, um, so we can test for, for your sewing machine at home. But you've got oodles of room in there, loads of room. So it's 32 centimetres high, 46 centimetre width, and 21 centimetre depth. You've just explained that, the best I've ever heard that, Charlie. I always get bamboozled with heights, width, depths, but no, you did that lovely, thank you. Um, so there you go, smaller sewing machines, brilliant, but even up to your 680, at a squeeze. I mean, I've got room in here to be able to fit some fabric, my foot pedal, you could even put your, let's have a look, your extension table, oh yeah. They go, ready for the workshop, extension tables in there. I could put my, my foot pedal, my user manual, my power cord in there. Probably fit some fabric and a pattern in there, couldn't you? And take it all on the move. So I love this one. It's nice that it's a neutral colour, but that little bit of a pop with the, with the aqua. Really nice, isn't it? Also does come in a purple. Very, very good price, by the way, at $15.99. Very good price, those of you that have seen these elsewhere. I think I've seen these exact ones for £20. $15.99. Um, this is the other uh, colourway. Sorry, Ben. Other uh, colourway. This has got those lovely feet again. Solid base at the bottom. Fits all of your smaller uh, sewing machines. It's got the Velcro handle, the double zip, the extra pocket on the front for £15.99. Have a look online, do your own comparisons yourself, but trust me, that is a very, very attractive price. I'm sure that they were 20 pounds. They used to be, I think. Um, today we've got them for 15.99. And look, it comes with a nice little scissors. How cute is that? I'll take that off and put it on my keys. You got your little key ring as well. Just 15 pounds, 99. Uh, is it all right if I bring over the Gemini? Just because, I know that I've been told I shouldn't really mention this again, but don't you be carrying that, I'm coming for it. Oh, Becky's not lifting heavy things, sorry. Bear with me, I'm over here. To me, to you, to me, to you. Because it is weighty, this is a weighty machine. Um, it's a really durable machine. It's one of those that you're not gonna need to buy twice. Um, if you have watched any of the Crafters Companion shows, I actually did the launch of this machine with Sarah Davis, and my word, it is a brilliant machine. And it's her baby. This is something that I know <laughs> there's so many um, paper crafters that have this machine, but it's completely changed my mind now when I think of how it would change your world for sewing. So next time you see Becky here, she's actually gonna be doing patchwork demonstration um, with Builder Block. So they, it comes with lots of different dies anyway, and we've done a bit of a giveaway today as well where you're gonna get a plique die set, a 63 piece applique die set, and also some quilters clips. So that comes today as a free gift from Crafters Companion. But what we have done, which is something that, um, <laughs> I'm not gonna lie to you, right, we had, we did it as a one-off. Why was it? 
We asked Scott, didn't we? We went to Scott and asked whether we could do it on five-way split pay. Um, because Ben was starting out his journey here at Sewing Street. He's sort of making friends. He says, I can't use that excuse forever now. So it was a one-off. And after midnight that night, it was supposed to be taken off. I don't actually know if it's been on for a long, long time. And um, for some reason, the system has put it back on. Even though we asked today whether we could do it, if we knew that we'd have had it on five-way split pay, I would have told you at eight o'clock this morning. Um, we said it. Um, hang on. We kind of joked saying that somebody might not have taken it off. It's there. So the benefit of using split pay is that you don't pay any interest. So you're paying 35.99 and you'll get the beast home, the Gemini machine. Now we went through it on air. Um, I don't know whether, has Becky left the plates? Have we got the, the, the shims to, to show you? Um, so you get everything that you need as standard with the machine. So you'll get all of your clear plates, you'll get your magnetic shim if you're doing paper crafting, uh, if you're doing paper crafting, if you're doing um, um, fabrics, you get your metal ones as well. They all come as part of your, your, um, your Gemini bundle anyway, which is always £179. But if you're just paying £35.99 today, you're also going to receive these within that first payment of £35.99. So you can get making straight away. You can get all of these animals, all these different dyes, and you're also going to get your quilters clips as well. It will go, it will work with paper, yes, but the joy of us putting this bundle together is that you're also getting your um, multimedia dyes. So you can run these through with felt, you can use your quilting weight fabric. We put this to the test. Last time I was on air with Ben and we had our five-way split pay, he came on air and we put seven layers of quilting weight fabric through and it cut through, it cut through fabrics. I mean, it's amazing. Thank you, Becky. So in here you have, you'll get brand new ones so they won't be all sort of bananaed like this. Eventually they will get like that. You can still use them, it's fine, but you might want to replace these. The machine itself, you won't need to replace. It has heat embossing, it, you can use it with uh, all sorts of mediums. Uh, leather even, cork. So you have your two clear ones, which work as like the bread of the sandwich. You've then also got your magnetic shim, that's for your paper. It also comes with a silicon shim, which is again for your paper, so you need to put that aside. And then you'll get your metal ones, and I don't know whether you get one or two of these that come um, as standard with the machine, but you'll use those plates. They look like they're, they, they've got sort of indentations on, that's absolutely fine. They say to rotate them each time you're using them uh, to, to get, make them last a bit longer but you can still use them while they're indented and you can purchase even more sort of heavy duty ones from Crafters Companion as well if you're doing lots of cutting um, of fabric but these are the ones that you get as standard today though as I said it is all about not only the freebie of getting your applique dies but also the fact that we're offering five-way split pay it will not be on five-way split pay tomorrow it won't um, now the three buttons on the top are really, really easy to use. In fact, you don't even need these buttons. You don't need it because the, the machine itself, it's got a sensor on it. So it's on, I put my fingers in and it's not going to take my hand through. It's not going to cut my hand. The way that it works is it, it, it works on pressure. So it knows the, the width of the sandwiches. It's got to make sure that it fits the right width and then it's the pressure of the motor that is going to cut and the shape of the dies that actually cuts the fabric as opposed to anything being really sharp in here. So it's safe to use for anybody who is, you know, unsure about using rotary cutters and things like that. It's really, really safe to use. Now, you don't even need to press these buttons, but it does have a pause and a play. You can press play if you want, press pause if you want, and you could also rewind. So reverse, if you're only doing a little, if you being really impatient <laughs> and you want it to do it really quick. It takes 18 seconds from front to back um, to be able to cut through, you know, the whole, uh, all of it. If you put this up against a wall maybe and you just want to do a little bit of cutting here, you can then use that reverse button and it will feed it back out. Um, if it doesn't like what you've put in there, it will spit it out. It won't let you cut anything that it can't manage. It's not going to break it. This is why Sarah was like, explore, have a go, put leather through it, 
Put seven layers of cotton through it. The worst that's going to happen is that it might not cut it as efficiently and you just have to do a few less layers. Cork, even um, a Pepsi Max can. Have a bit of a play. Put it through, see what it does. Um, it comes with a great instruction manual, but what I love about Sewing Street is obviously our community, but also Crafters Companion are uh, a huge, huge company worldwide that have got a massive social media following, lots of tips, lots of videos, lots of content online on videos of how to use it. Um, and even though this is relatively new to us here at Sewing Street and we're still sort of finding our feet with venturing out from the traditional ways of our quilting cutting techniques, this is going to be so helpful and so useful in our, um, in our workroom. And it looks nice, it looks the part, doesn't it? I like that it looks like, you know, it's gonna sit nicely alongside your printer maybe in your office it's going to be brilliant for not only your your patchwork but your applique it's going to be brilliant for fussy cutting it's, 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 it's going to just eliminate that laborious process that potentially you don't enjoy um, which I always find the cutting process the most difficult and the most scary part because I'm worried about the accuracy and precision that I get from my cutting whereas if you're relying on the the Gemini then you know it's going to be so final time I'm just gonna let you know and then I'm gonna put it away it is $35.99 and you can get it home today I mean how amazing is that in the next three to five working days it will send, be sent directly from crafters companion but we're covering the postage and packaging if you've bought any of Tracy's dressmaking patterns today if you bought any of our fabric anything from our website that's still covered into one P&P of £3.95 even though I mean, I'm not going to lie to you, it's a weighty machine. It's got a really, really powerful motor in here. There are other die cutting machines on the market. I actually went to a craft fair in Devon uh, a few months ago and there was a lady who had a beautiful paper craft stand, gorgeous cards, beautiful boxes and everything that she'd made. And they were talking about the Gemini. And you know when you just hear a word and then you start just ear wigging in on the conversation. And I was desperate to go over and say, oh, the Gemini is amazing, isn't it? I, I, did, I did restrain myself and I didn't go over. But um, I did just have a little smug grin to myself of thinking, oh yeah, we're so lucky. We've got the best one. We've got the best one here. Um, it is known as the sort of world leader of the, the most powerful Gemini die cutting machine. Um, and it's just 179.99, which is a great price anyway. But the fact that you got it on split pay is brilliant. Okay, so enjoy, thank Ben later, absolutely fine. Make the most of it whilst you can. So don't forget, not only today, have you got the chance of getting that amazing embroidery machine at just 599 on split pay with the warranty, with those free Disney patterns as well. You've also got the sewing machine, which I've put in the sewing machine bag, haven't I? I can grab it for you. I've packed it away. One second, let me grab it. It does fit in those little uh, sewing machine bags. Here it is, here it is, here it is. To me, to you, to me, to you. Um, th the great thing about it is it's easy to manoeuvre. I don't have a designated craft room. Um, if, if you don't necessarily sew every single day, then this is one that might be one that you're looking at. Maybe you are upgrading your machine from one that you've had for for the last 30 years, maybe you're after your first computerized machine. If you want to purchase one for somebody who's um, learning to sew with you, maybe. Maybe uh, you've got a, a, a big Juki NX7 or one of the bigger brother machines and you want one for a second home to take to a caravan or take to a holiday home or take to relatives houses and you obviously don't want to be lugging one of your big brother machines or your, your Juki machine or you don't want your grandchildren having a play on it. Um, don't get me wrong, this is still, I don't like to call this an entry level machine because it's not, it's got so much more than that. But at this price, it means that hopefully we're gonna get new sewers creating beautiful results with their sewing. So I mentioned about how you've got that easy threading guide, you've got the option of doing twin needling, you've got your independent bobbin winder there, there at the top, you've got your drop-in bobbin at the bottom, you can detach your feet really, really easy, you've got your um, extra foot lift at the top, so if you are working with bulkier fabrics, if you're working with big heavy quilts, you've got that extra lift as well. 
there is literally YouTube demos where I think Tracy and Stuart actually spent two hours talking about these two machines. So there is extensive demos, there is extensive, um, uh, you know, there's extensive videos on our YouTube channel alone, let alone if you look at the FS 250 elsewhere. The FS 250 is the model that we're looking at, and it is one of those machines that it's just so user friendly it's innovative um, it has got a three year warranty brother have obviously got a, a really fantastic reputation we've got a great customer service team but they also give you here you go look on the top of the machine you're not even having to root around on the internet trying to find a number to call them um, uh, let me tilt it forward because it's on that side so I'm not obviously going to be able to open it for you to see but there you go you've got the customer service helpline there as well so if you do want to give them a call um, with any problems that you may have then you've got that accessibility if I just plug it in I want to show you as well I didn't show you the first time around um, obviously easy to plug in you can use it with or without a foot pedal oh everyone who's got it in their basket if you checked out that's it it's gone in fact, we're slightly oversubscribed. So if you have got it in your basket, um, have a serious think about it. This is your mode button. So you've got your different um, modes here. You've also got your alphabet. So if you want to use your monogramming, I mean, it's just there, it's all on the screen. It's really easy to navigate through. It instantly moves your needle where it needs to be. It will tell you what foot pedal to use. It will tell you what stitch length it recommends it is. It's easy to navigate through all of the 250 stitches there on your screen. You've got your speed vari uh, variation control there. You've got a really well lit machine as well. That was one thing that Tracy mentioned earlier on is that you can see very clearly on the needle bed exactly what you're saying as you've got this really lovely bright LED light right on the uh, the needle plate there. I mean that makes a difference especially when we're starting to lose a lot of light here in the in the evenings. I mean it was what not even eight o'clock and it was dark last night. This morning really dark when I was getting up when I was driving into work this morning. Each week I bet Becky you've seen such a difference. Becky's been off for two weeks coming in this morning must have been a shock to the system. Um, but those of you that are sewing into the night, I know a lot of people, you know, struggle sleeping on the evening, like to sew in the evening. It's also very quiet, which if you are sewing in the evening, maybe I know my Jazz, who's got in this machine today, um, she's got little Teddy, he's only one, and she wants to make some quilts for him. I mean, she's an amazing knitter and crocheter anyway, but she's just getting into sewing and she wants to get into quilting. But this is really quiet, so you're not worried you're not worried that um, you, you know you're gonna wake anybody up it's nice and portable it's really lovely and light and it's nice and quiet 133 pounds three-way split pay 133 pounds use the split pay I mean it's not necessarily um, it's not necessarily something that we benefit from as a company uh, because it's zero percent interest so we're not making any money over the fact that you're you're spreading that cost over three months it's just solely so that we understand obviously with everything that's going on in the in the world at the moment that hopefully you can make the most of uh, of spreading those costs out and then you can get sewing enjoy sewing i mean we've known it for years haven't we but i love the fact that more and more people are sort of learning that sewing is really mindful and it's so important that we still stop slow down even if it's just 20 minutes half an hour a day i think that's what a lot of people say to me is their reason they don't get into sewing is because they haven't got time and i say that's the reason you should get into sewing because you need to make time even 15 minutes a day if you just set yourself 15 minutes half an hour a day where you could learn a new craft do something new we're talking about sustainability a lot uh, reusing upcycling having a sewing machine i mean I've, we've as a family always had a sewing machine in our in our family i've always had one in the house i've always just liked to have have one even if you're not using it every day even if you're not planning on making you know the big william morris court this week it's just nice to be able to do little projects and especially as we talk about making to sell 
for one split payment, £133, you could find that you make some projects, you go to a craft fair leading up to Christmas, you make that money back before it's time to pay your next payment for your brother machine. So yes, have a serious think about it because I understand it's still a considered purchase, but use the split pay. You have also got the option of getting the embroidery machine as well today. And if you are buying both of these machines, it's one post in packaging and it will be less than a thousand pounds. 250 beautiful stitches. It also comes with today that huge array of dressmaking feet as well. Here it is. All of those dressmaking feet come as well. Go on. Ben said, I'm being blunt with you, Vicky. Go on. The stock that you've got left is six. Six machines. There's nearly double that in baskets. We're not here to pressure or to rush you at all just letting you know all the information. So if you are umming and ahhing about it, I know a lot of people this morning were messaging on the Facebook and messaging on the website. They were wanted this machine this morning. I don't know whether we've, has it been out of stock or we've not seen it? But it's, it's strange, we've had a lot of messages regarding this machine, whether it would be Tracy coming on air. I know that she's a huge um, advocate of this machine. In fact, on her Owl and the Sewing Cat um, blog on her website, she has a great blog, Getting to Know Your Sewing Machine, and she uses this machine as the example on her blog. So if you do want to see lots of videos, there are plenty online. Even though it's relatively new to Sewing Street, um, it isn't a new machine out there. You can go and find this elsewhere. Absolutely have a look. Does it have that split pay? Does it have, uh, you know, our customer service team? Does it have our p, &P? Just three pounds and 95 pence one PMP all day and it's worth having a look back through the website it is worth having a look back through the website and seeing what's available because we've had a jam-packed day today haven't we jam-packed day five-way split pay on the gemini both machines very very popular indeed and did you say the six or five now remaining have a look five have a look on the website if you're watching on a replay, which I completely appreciate, especially obviously this week, a lot of people are watching at all different times throughout the day and just catching a minute when they can. So please, if you are watching a replay and you know, you're serious about these machines, then speak to the team and fingers crossed there's one left for you. Um, we are very, very limited now though. Right, so, um, right, we have got tomorrow's show. Who's on tomorrow? Is it lovely Stu back with you tomorrow? And Cara Ackerman's going to be joining you. So do you know what your early bird special is yet? It's a surprise. Tune in. It's always a surprise. Tune in 8 a.m. to find out the early bird special. And you've also got a fabric hour with lovely Stuart at 9 o'clock. Quilts to make in a weekend. Wow. Um, that's with Cara. She's got some great tips as well. She's always a lovely, lovely, lovely guest uh, at nine o'clock. 10 o'clock, we're going to slow it down again. I'm going to do some embroidery, some hand stitching. Uh, that's always one of Cara's favourites, but Stuart's going to be leading you through all of the different products that we have for you. 11 o'clock, we've got the Harvest Fabric Collection with Cara. We're getting very autumnal here, aren't we? It's scaring me slightly. This is it, summer done, isn't it? Um, at 12 o'clock, as those winter nights are drawing in, we're gonna focus on lighting and making sure you can see what you're sewing with all of our beautiful lighting collection and extra sewing room tools. So it's another jam-packed day with lovely Stuart tomorrow. Hobby maker, Jamie's in the... Um, green room he's here with creative expressions today and they've got new halloween stamps at one o'clock oh so laura said to me that this is the biggest launch that hobby maker potentially have ever done it's a brand new guest new guest american crafts and an airbrush maker oh half past two or two o'clock they're going to be doing that at three o'clock you've got felt flower making Oh, that's going to be good with your Gemini. If you've bought the Gemini today, have a watch of that. That's at three o'clock. Four o'clock, more brand new guests. Brand new, more from brand new guests. Uh, American Crafts. And at five o'clock, they've got Halloween dye collections with Creative Expressions and lovely Jamie. Um, thank you all so much for your company. Don't forget, have a look back through all of the website. You can shop all day long 
only pay one p and p across all of the brands across all of the categories there are our best sellers today obviously the brother sewing machine there's some of the owl and the pussycat and of course those brand new crafters companion products the early bird is 404 today there's still some of those available if you then scroll down you'll see everything is now run through have you done it all ben <gasps> that shopping trolley is amazing by the way the sewing machine trolley lots of sewing machine bund uh, uh, fab uh, needles for you you've also got quilting feet there you go was that a, a free motion foot that might even go on your brother right don't panic that that says sold out where's the other one Oh, the other one's at the top of the web, so you can get that on the, the top main page, on the top um, of our Watch Live page. Keep scrolling down, you'll find everything from today's show all there. It is all there. Um, we're about to hand over to lovely hobby maker. Thank you so much for your company today. Join Stuart Brighton early tomorrow morning at 8 a.m. Speak to the team, and we will see you tomorrow at 8 o'clock. Bye.